damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadence, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs> The mother rhino is giving birth. <laughs> Mommy. Hey, hey. <laughs> cool. No, we have to get out of here. If you think you can graduate from this school without kissing my cock, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Oh, well, what would you, what would you fuck? <laughs> Chrissy, have you ever heard of the comedian Basha K. Ali? No, that sounds like something you yell at before you blow up a plane. <laughs> 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 Remember cock? Oh, please give me cock. I want a cock. Please give me cock. Hi, I love Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo's my favorite game ever. I love Nintendo. Geeks und Gamma. Distract Fuck you, bitch! One more, one more! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run! Oh my god! The Microraptor is now the hunted. I think we should start uh, with some acknowledgement here. Wait, uh -oh. wait, wait, wait. Uh -oh. I want to uh -oh. I want to uh -oh. uh, give a shout out, a strong shout out to our diversity, equity and inclusion uh, chancellor, uh, Ryan Kinnell. I think he deserves a standing ovation from the Canadian Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> we all need a stand. We got to stand, man. I got to use my legs. How much. many people actually? Wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually wearing pants today. Yeah, I'm right. being honored, so I don't have to stand, thankfully. Uh, <laughs> standing up business is fuck my camera. <laughs> I was, was wondering where the hell you're going with that. I'm like, That's I don't remember doing anything. You don't stand today. much. <laughs> well, you're going to get a lot of work today. Because, Gryffindor, two points. Quite frankly, I don't know what's worse giving a standing ovation to a literal Nazi or producing Robin Hood. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm going wow. towards Robin Hood because I saw that. Good thing we have a couple of Canadians here to explain themselves. I feel yep. like at this point, promoting Robin in the Hood might do more to push like hate 
than an actual <laughs> Nazi, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong after watching yeah. it. You're not wrong at all. I, uh, I saw one comment that said, stand up, X-ray girl. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you just calm no. down there, chat. <laughs> <laughs> you're just a snake not wearing any pants. Bonk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. That guy's I'm thinking now. Go to holy uh, jail. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Friday Night Tights! Woo! Woo! So excited to be here. Uh, Woke Hollywood is almost back to work to ruin more franchises after a nice refreshing summer off. Can't wait for that. Uh, I have watched Ahsoka and completely forgotten about it. So hopefully you guys can. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that difficult to forget it. Yeah. And uh, I think I saw the worst show ever made. Uh, yeah. So we'll get into that. What's up, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers? What's up, everybody? Friday Night Tights. Honestly, you know, I don't watch a lot of these uh, dog shit shows, but Robin, Robin uh, in the hood. Robin in the hood. Yeah, Robin yeah. in the hood sounds Robin the fucking hood. awesome. I kind of want to watch it. It sounds <laughs> awesome. Uh, Basically, I, uh, I, I'm, I've been told it looks like uh, it's just a night out at Philadelphia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Funny I was wondering why they were losing a Target store at the beginning of the show. Well, yeah. it's funny that you mentioned that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we might have some exclusive footage from Robin in the Hood in a oh, little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. no. Exclusive clip uh, from the show. Clip. I got to say, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan does they a great job here as our, uh, <laughs> as our inclusive, uh, our diversity inclusion officer. So he had a long talk with me. And he said, Jeremy, mm. going to need you to step your racism up uh, just Ow. a little bit. Uh, he's been really unhappy with my level of racism. And uh, clearly everybody else on the panel has been doing a good job. So, Well, he's I'm trying thinking, to get you a standing ovation in, in yeah. the Canadian Parliament. <laughs> yeah, Listen, exactly. we're, like, we're like fucking cops at the end of the month. We got quotas to fill, all right? Yeah. <laughs> September 29th. Let's fucking go. Let's talk. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about I got Nazis. two N-words and an L-word left. Uh, check. Yeah. Check. <laughs> but anyway, happy to be here. Let's get the party started. Friday night, Tice. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Az. Uh, thank you for getting that video up promptly. I had work to do, and I needed to yeah, watch it before good. I got to my work. So uh, how is uh, Robin in the I, I had work to do. Thank you for delaying me even more <laughs> to getting to my work. <laughs> I put it on video. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Robin in the hood is like um, if Fisher Price did racism. <laughs> it, it, it's it's you know it's like Tommy racism. Uh, it's it's written by I mean what well, it's directed by Director X who does music videos. Oh, doesn't he have mutants is, to look after? I was gonna say it's a bit awkward. No, that's Professor X, oh, not Director sorry. X. Uh, uh, this is his black cousin, Director X. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he he's the one that directs the kids to the school. I don't know. That's the whole like uh, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. He's like, if I call myself director, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be one. I'll be <laughs> one one day. <laughs> cool he directs or something, music videos. This director, yeah. yeah. I nearly wow. vomited at the beginning of the show because of the camera. It was so bad. But uh, yeah, it was. Um, we robbing. It's good to know that the spirit of Batwoman lives on. <laughs> it certainly does. There's a you lot know, of DNA in this. There's nobody, a lot of DNA in this. No terrible mm. shows are ever really gone. <laughs> no. They just, go to, they just go to Canada to die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I like, like people. <laughs> my favorite bit, my favorite bit about the whole show was how all the white people were bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every cartoonishly bad at that. One of the, somebody gets their gun out. And just shoots a bitch in the fucking stomach. <laughs> there was there was an Arabic cop. That yeah, was the guy. He, that, that was I was guy. surprised. He, he, he wasn't Allah right. Akbar, and then he, he then he let rip and shot her in the stomach. And what then later the in the episode, team? they said we're looking into it. What? There uh, what was, was with the, what was the, with the police witnesses. chief? What was with hmm. the police chief taking off her boot and then hoofing the guy in the nuts? Yeah, she hoofed the one that didn't do the that didn't get the drone destroyed. Hang on, hang on. 
Do we have a different definition of hoof? Because I'm well, starting to get okay. mixed messages. We're, we're no, getting, is that like we're, picking? Well, we're getting yeah. way As is talking like people actually watch this show. We have to like, <laughs> provide. <laughs> we have to present okay. the context yeah. of the show. Nobody has seen this show. <laughs> imagine, imagine a guy just walks in front of the TV screen for 45 <laughs> minutes and goes, I hate white people. <laughs> That's Robin in the hood. <laughs> isn't Ryan? Isn't this the guy that responded to it? To Josiah? Yeah, to Josiah's me, he did a, video. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he did director, an Instagram nice. video on me. Director something. Xavier. Oh. Director X. Oh. Director X. Yes, yeah, Director X. So I remember yeah. that. Now. No relation to Malcolm. <laughs> no, but he's, <laughs> he's the son of I'll, Ibrahim X. Kendi. I'll let you. I'll let you into a scoop. I'll let you into a scoop. He wanted to speak before uh, last week, uh, a couple of weeks ago. He wanted to just, he's like, let's get, let's get me on his show. Let's talk. <clears throat> and uh, I said, uh, I need to see the show first to see whether or not I'm going to waste my fucking time with you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he wanted, he, he was clearly desperate to get some sort of publicity yeah, it was you, going. It was you and Josiah's videos, I think, that he responded yeah. to, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I remember yeah. Now. He, yeah. Where, where he put his little camera. His little phone <laughs> camera on the table. The director. In a terrible light. Yeah. yeah, the director with a terrible light, terrible angle, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. had abysmal audio that I ended up just giving up watching it because I couldn't hear what he was fucking saying. That's awesome. Director X. Brand X. I, I, I don't X think gonna get I don't, it to you. Yeah, I don't think. I think it'll be an X show pretty soon. Uh, Do yeah, you yeah. like the mural of... of Jesus George Floyd. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wasn't and it's sure. lying hard. Okay? Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure It'll, if it was Black Aragorn or Jesus George, <laughs> George Floyd. It'll probably get nominated for more awards than Oppenheimer because it has yeah. diversity. Okay, so there you go. It has all the you diversity need. in it. Dude. It did have Wizards of the Coast under that mural. It did. It did. <laughs> Magic the Gathering, Wizards of the Coast. No, my favorite part was the girl, as Disbrew pointed out, uh, eating her eggs without a fork. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> making a sign that says "Feed people, eat the rich." Yeah. I know. <laughs> in, in a show that probably costs—I mean, let's be real—tens of thousands of dollars. We're not going to say millions. Uh, it's Canada, by the way. Uh, that still could have fed probably a lot of people. A lot of uh, yeah. a lot of people right before Canada euthanizes them. Yeah. Come on, Gary. You know, you know the drill. It's not about actually doing something. It's about doing a pretend thing that pretends that you're doing something. Yeah, yep. virtue signaling. And they yeah. are euthanizing him. It's just slowly throughout the show. Yeah. Well, well yeah. I wanted to kill myself uh, wanted, by the yeah, end. I was going to say it. Yeah. Yeah. You I, I wanted to euthanize me. Canadian healthcare at the end. Uh. <laughs> it's basically the pipeline to Canadian oh, euthanasia. Hey. 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 That, hey. I think that, I think you just uncovered something, Gary. That's the plan to reduce yeah. worldwide population. Make enough cringe that people just want to Exactly. And there we go. Sponsored by the Trudeau government. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, hello, Ryan. What? Hello. Um, I, I have not had a chance to watch Robin in the Hood yet, but I can't wait. I got a lot of things on the list that I still need to watch. I'm a little behind. I got to watch uh first episode of Continental. I want to watch the Fucking creator fantastic. at some point this week. One Piece. One Piece. No. One Piece. That is that that is on yeah. the list, but it's not on the list of things to watch. Uh, <laughs> on the list of things I'll continue to ignore the more people ask me to watch. <laughs> the Continental trailer looked lame. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, oh, looked right. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm interested fantastic. in John Wick prequel, Mel Gibson. Anything Mel Gibson. Yeah. Don't give I'm going to try it out, but that, that trailer was bad. Like, legit bad. Maybe the show's good, but it was not a good trailer. We, look, we went over it on Real BBC. And it looked horrible. So we'll see. You liked it, Ian? Yes, I did. It was fantastic. It was very good. It actually told a story. It had, uh, you know, everything you want out of modern entertainment. Um, good storytelling, relatable characters, uh, fantastic action. Transgenders. Why did I watch that no, instead no, of <laughs> Robin no, Hood? No transgenders. No, uh, I mean, it takes place in the 70s. Uh, uh, it looks like 70s New York. Did it remind you of 1984 at all? Uh, no, actually, it, <laughs> it did not. That's, that's the one thing it did not do. Okay, it just, me just checking. Okay. All right. 
Uh, this show's so uh, off the rails. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? How is this off the rails what? from anything? This is literally every do. week. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> every intro is like yeah. this. <laughs> Honestly, this was a little more. This was a little more like yeah. As is letting people talk in the first ten minutes. Uh, I know. So we're we're basically structured. You, if you don't fucking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've almost got through half the introduction because that was your introduction, comics division. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fifteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just as short as he is. I feel robbed now. Shad. Gary! <laughs> Gary! So, fun thing happened to me this week. Yeah. I legitimately forgot Ahsoka existed. Yes. Like, wow. I, 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 nice. like, it is, when you say it's forgettable, you are <clears> not <throat> kidding. I like, well, I was, oh, that's a show. That's a show that, uh, and I actually also forgot to watch it. So, um, there we go. Uh, and then, but I did review Wheel of Time. It's as bad as usual. Actually, this episode is worse. So, th there's that. Uh, but there's another show everyone's forgetting exi that actually exists. I forgot and, that one, too. Yeah, yeah. I, that's so. a, Wheel of Time is a show that's beating Ahsoka in the in the Nielsen ratings for right now. now. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, and I think that was probably bar. Wheel of Time's first episode out and Ahsoka's yes. second week of release. Ahsoka fell out of the top 10 and they fell behind Wheel of Time in original programming. And, and, and as you pointed out in your video, Ryan, Ahsoka should have beaten it because it had more episodes, more people watching it, more minutes watched, and it still dipped over the one. Well, how many episodes did they release of Wheel of Time? Just one or two? Maybe they Probably one uh, of Wheel of Time. No, I think that was three episodes. Three. Okay, episodes. so that's oh, why I beat it. That's three, why I beat it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, it clearly it, has a bigger budget. This, this yeah, season. yeah. But uh, in comparison to its viewing numbers of season one, I'm hearing reports that it's like half of hmm. what season one was for Wheel of Time season two, which makes sense because there's so little interest in this show, and uh, it's it's an absolute dumpster fire, as as you would expect. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's me. Well, hey, thanks for being here. I loved your One Piece video. I might actually use that clip in my video a little bit. That, that was pretty good stuff, dude. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. Uh, uh, my teeth are intact. Uh, that's so good. To, that's yeah. good. I, I, I mean, we don't know where that sword's been, but I won't ask. <laughs> uh, <laughs> quarter Black Garrett. Yo, uh, I have, you know, I have limited time, so I didn't get around to watching Ahsoka, but I, I felt like I should watch the one that spoke to me was Robin Hood. I didn't know oh. Continental was around, so I could have watched a good show. Uh, it's depressing. It's very bad. It's everything you'd expect Robin Hood to be. Uh, which is Robin lesbian, in the hood. In the lesbian. Hood. Uh, oh yeah, for uh, in the hood. Yeah. Well, uh, lesbians, girl bosses, uh, evil white men, yeah. cops they, shooting black people, and of course they, uh, traditional you know. English folk tale. They're all black. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and then and Robin great. Robin Hood obviously is a black woman now, and and Mary. <laughs> And Mar Mary Marion is a lesbian <laughs> lawyer. If you were to take a guess, that's so hard, man. If you were to take a guess of every single character that's not either race swapped or gender swapped in some way. <laughs> If you were thinking that it's the main bad guy villain, yes, you would be correct. Yes, yeah. uh, <laughs> Prince, Prince John has now become John Prince, John Prince. a real estate mogul. <laughs> and I wonder who that crime, could be. His crime is that he wants to get rid of the fucking lazy bums <laughs> and yeah. who aren't working uh for a living and he wants to replace them with the hard-working people from the town over it, that actually have some money and do something for a living what sure, a criminal. Sherwood, sherwood is a project by the way it's a, yeah. It's yeah. a project yes, it is. it's it's jane and finch in toronto uh -huh. toronto say toronto uh, toronto, toronto. 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 Canadian Toronto. thing I don't know. I was know just about. Canadian. I, was I'm, Canadian I'm, I was Toronto. born here. I'm pronouncing it correctly. So you don't uh, say the other T. You just go Toronto. No. Toronto. That's how you know you're not Toronto. from the area. Toronto. It's not Toronto. Toronto. Documentary. Just FYI. Oh, don't even talk, now, UK now, guy. Okay. Life's just who, a who sir, 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 who sir, square. Who of you, <laughs> oh, you say recognize without the G? Recognize. Recognize. You better recognize. 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 Yeah, you better recognize. Recognize. I, no, I know how to say it because I watched time. Robin Hood. No, you're quarter black. <laughs> like when I say, if I say it like <laughs> Toronto Raptors, I say Toronto. Yeah, that's correct. Toronto. Yeah, yeah exactly. Toronto. Exactly. But the Toronto Raptors. I don't say shit like that. The, uh, no, it's the quarter Toronto black. Raptors. Yeah. Quarter black. I wanted to ask you a question. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe you would have had time to watch Ahsoka if you weren't chasing a crackhead around your neighborhood. Hey, look, it it happens. I had to make sure he was okay. All right, but. 
by right, my but, own. Right, but when, but but you're still talking about Robin Hood, right? No, no. Chasing yes. No, no, Corner Black Gary <laughs> decided, heard somebody screaming. He told the whole story on No More World. Uh, he heard somebody screaming out of his backyard, so he goes out without pants on and leaves his phone. <laughs> and I left my phone. To go, <laughs> to go help and a crackhead. To chase a crackhead in your backyard. I, th he was screaming. Like, you help me, it. help me. No, he didn't. I, well, I don't know. I didn't get close to him. Was he black? I'm not you stupid. Have a was he black? <laughs> Robin, was it Robin Hood? Was, was, dumb. It, was he black? No, he was Mexican. So, okay. you know, pretty close. A couple non-white people running around in the neighborhood. So yeah, 2 a.m. No did Sounds he look like at Robin you and go, me. what's up, Ese? Tell me, Ese. I ushered him into safety. I did my part. I'm a, nice. I'm a here that wears no pants. By safety, you Not mean all the heroes US wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> Into the arms of the police where he just got shot. So. <laughs> I, I did my part. Oh, shit. I'm doing my I'm part. Doing my part. <laughs> you want to know more? Would you like to know more? Uh, <sighs> what, people? Hello, x <laughs> I just can't get... I Hi. Can't <laughs> I can't breathe. Is that, is that what you're it sounded like you tried to use all nine of your words in one. <laughs> Should I stand up now? So you redeem yourself. <laughs> Chat always wins. Oh, that's mm -hmm. true. That is yeah. True. <laughs> if I want Gary's channel to stay, I won't stand. <laughs> Oh. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a second. Uh, is, there wait, something we need to, is there something we need to know? Gavin? <laughs> Transgender time. <laughs> Don't you threaten me. Hold with a on, good Wyatt. Time. Yeah. Where's it at? Where's it at? The, clip. the whole chat now. Excuse yeah. me while I whip this out. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, listen, we all know. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> We we all know oh. that Gary is the official thought of this uh, channel. Yeah, right. I can see the chat going. I have the weirdest boner right now. I'm not sure if I want extra girl to stand up or not. <laughs> Don't break the illusion. Don't break the illusion. Schrodinger's cock. I didn't want to make a mistake. I wouldn't hold it against them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mock them mercilessly for fucking. I, I like the idea of Schrodinger's cock. Is it hard or soft? <laughs> we'll never you know. know. We'll never know. It's both hard and soft at the same, at the same time. time. At the same time. <laughs> oh God! My God! It sounds like it sounds like a soaker level of writing that does. <laughs> <sighs> I have the force with me, but yet at the same time, not at all. Oh, okay. Okay. This I think a... he just knows that Sabine's such dog shit that she needs it more than he does. It's complicated. <laughs> uh, it's so complicated. Uh, what isn't is Paul. Call me Chato, hey. uh, former network executive, joining us on a great week. Thank you. Uh, particularly, for for, yeah, I think you know having your parliament do what they did is a, it's a great week to have you. No, <laughs> I can talk about Nazis in the parliament. I can talk about ass Holka, but yep. um, uh, the 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 one thing I wanted to mention was last time I was here uh, to uh, acclimatize myself. To you Americans, I went and looted a Target. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so, so this time, uh, I started taking puberty blockers and I. Um... <laughs> Wait, and I, highlight I... that. Oh! He's got... <laughs> what the fuck? I am so proud of you. Ah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, see, this is the stuff I. Oh, by the way, my <laughs> We're just getting more representative on FNC with every week. Every week. Yeah. Yeah. How you qualify for the Best Actor Award. Yeah. The, the, the puberty blockers are drying my throat severely. I just have to say. It's <laughs> all right. I just had a tit job. <laughs> I've been I've been wearing standing to attention. Yeah, I hope I hope that the black magic marker comes off. That's all. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, call permanent marker for a reason. It will not. Uh oh. Once he goes back. <laughs> you, you, you always go service the joke. That's nothing's uh, more important than the joke. 
What so, if he yes, doesn't? It's a, pleasure. it's a pleasure being here. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into all that stuff. Now, you, someone was talking about finding someone uh, uh, loopy in, in their uh, neighborhood. Oh, yeah, you, uh, Black Garrett. So, yes. long time ago, was <laughs> all black. One quarter, all black, Gary. It's not yes. like Black Lightning, but more Gary. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Black Gary. And uh, one time we came back to our flat um, in, in Toronto, like three in the morning, and found a, a woman completely blacked out on the lawn. And we picked her up trying to figure out what's going on. She couldn't talk. I reached into her pocket and found one of those paint chips, but not the kind that you find off the, uh, you know, at that, uh, at, uh, you know, Walmart or whatever. It's a chip that someone would peel off a wall, like just peel Red. off a piece of paint. It had an address on it. We took her to that address. It was an hour and a half walk dragging her there. We opened the door. Loud screaming music was playing. She roused herself at that moment and she said do you want to come in no <laughs> <laughs> and you said yes it's like it's yeah. party time party time. Yeah. party time round two <laughs> so what are the chances that she had written her address on a paint chip that crumbled Perfect. in my hands i'm guessing this I has happened it. before <laughs> yeah you're, you're probably the 10th person that month to drag her ass back home <laughs> She just wanted to go for a walk. I think so. And then yeah. pass out on our lawn. Back to the party. Back to the back party. To the I party. would have rolled her ass into the street and left her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was gone. She was totally gone. You know who's back to the party? Oh, shit. <laughs> what the gave writers. it away? <laughs> I think the being passed Segway. out and drooling and yeah. uh, having your address written on a paint ship. Um, that's, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Paul, uh, I it's pulled up. I pulled up from work one uh, day, coming back from the comic shop, and uh, there's a guy boning a chick in my driveway, right behind my <laughs> wife's car. <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, son, just get open air." I, I'm not gonna ask what you're doing. I'm just gonna ask why you're here. <laughs> He's doing a tailpipe inspection. Yeah, he was doing I'm gonna tell you to stop. Just relocate. Yeah, as as I, I heard your joke. I do. Scott, I'll give you credit for it. <laughs> wow, that's what I asked. Did he him stop? To did he stop when you roused him? Roused yeah, him? they. I got him the hell out of there because my kid's in the house. You know, it's like get the fuck out of here. Welcome yeah. to California. It, it, well, well, San Francisco, man. That is San Francisco. Three said, "My daughter is moving to San Francisco." Ooh, why? Oh, good luck. Yeah, uh, wow. her, my her condolences. husband has got a fellowship at a at a hospital for one year. Okay. Well, he'll be busy. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, he's he's going to get he, hepatitis. He's, he's doing a tour. And... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, is it only for one year? Because that's when San Francisco closes down. <laughs> well, that's, no, that's yeah. when they put a wall around it. You know, yeah. I, I remember yeah. Jer Fran Jeremy, you saw Twisted Metal. San Francisco mm -hmm. has a wall around it, but it was mm -hmm. like the outside was still too clean. It wasn't as mm -hmm. dirty as current San Francisco is. I'm like, you no, know, this isn't real at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I actually I haven't been to San Francisco in a long time. I, I'm I'm actually interested to go to document it. I want to see how bad it really is. Uh, I wonder if it'll be a massive culture shock. I'm going for back for the end of the year. You want to come I want to go. Yeah. I've only ever driven through. Like I I've I've just driven through San Francisco, like on my way up to a little bit northern. I, mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever spent any fucking time there. Just zoom through as quick as possible. I have to go get the rest of my stuff. Yeah, I still have stuff there. <laughs> if it really? is still yeah, there, it's, it's still well. It's in a storage yeah. building. I hope it's still there. I don't even know what the hell it is anymore. Some comics. Uh, What's that? I mean, and again, from an outsider's perspective, I mean, California generally, like, what is it? Maybe eighty percent of it's just beautiful and amazing, but it's just bogged yeah. down by the oh the ninety percent of it. Is yeah. beautiful and amazing, especially the northern part, which is actual mm -hmm. the actual northern part of the state. San Francisco <laughs> still in the like central part of the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mostly beautiful. It's just run by uh, retards, and it's uh, all the cities are a zombie apocalypse. San Diego is, is even crap now. So <sighs> you go like you go like forty five or minutes or an hour north of San Francisco, and you're in wine country, and it's it's Freaking fucking awesome paradise. There. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Not yeah. a lot of diversity up there. Not a, not, LA's not the a ton of diversity. Not a ton of homeless people. Um, a hey, hey. lot, lot of fucking rich people. Marine so. County yep. was very, very liberal until they were going to put a BART station in their neighborhood. And they said, oh, no, no, no. And they put, shot that down because Richmond is right across the bay. And Richmond is Oakland, but worse. 
So uh, they didn't want to be John Oakland. Prince was like, not in my not town. Not in my town. No, no, no. He <laughs> took a wrong turn once on your the crazy highways that are there. And we ended up in Oakland at an underpass. And, <laughs> oh, and how, how, how were you supposed to be? Well, you didn't someone have ran, money to pay for ran the up. A, a black guy ran up and said, you got to get out of here. <laughs> get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and we asked him, like, where do we go? And he, and, and he just pointed and he said, everything out. He, he, <laughs> he was like <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Exit sign. Uh, that was very, very nice of him. <laughs> it was. Very, very yeah. Nice yeah, somebody tried to carjack me in Oakland. Wow. Jeez, yeah. Like what, run into you on purpose? No, they ran to my truck and tried to open it, but my door was locked and I would have run their fucking ass over. So I ran right <laughs> through the red light and they got out of the way. Yeah. Wow. I wasn't, I wasn't going to be all, here, you can have my car, sir. No, it's like, no, I like my truck. I, I, ran, a, I ran a red light once, uh, a, a squeegee guy. Uh, in the summer, naked with uh, nipple rings and uh, metal in their head and rings on their their uh, you know elbows and hands. Try wanted to you know uh, wipe my window clean. I'm thinking he's gonna fucking wreck my paint job on the car. Yeah. So booted it <laughs> yeah. through the red light. Yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not my windows nipple. are clean, but now I have like three thousand dollars worth of damage Crunches, on my yeah. paint. <laughs> car, yeah, <laughs> and his nipple rings are all, and that's just from his cock ring. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Don't get yeah. your windows washed in the Castro. That's that's you keyed not... my car. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and stay the hell away from the Folsom Street Fair. I'm just saying. Uh it's not a fun place to be. Well, but people bring their kids there. So there you go. Uh all right. You want to start with the writer strike? Let's do that because sure. like it's been over. Well, it's over now. Officially, yep. they voted on it. The actors aren't back yet. I think they're gonna talk on Monday. Uh, hey, but Kimmel, Kimmel and Fallon and oh, it's going to so on Monday, happy. baby. They're back. Yeah. They're my, oh YouTube, my YouTube feed is going to be full of them. I, oh. I'm, I can't but, but, wait for the recommended but who, video. But who are going to be the guests if the guests are on strike? Uh, they'll just the talk bad about. They'll just talk bad about. No, no, vaccine yeah. scientists. No, they, they can have. They can have musicians and shit. No, it's gonna stuff, be. It's so, gonna be. Yeah, uh, four. Uh, four white guys going up. You can't tell the difference. Going Trump. Am I right? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Applause break. Right. Mm. Applause break. Right. 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 You know what? I bet there were some writers who still weren't allowed to go back to work. That's who Chris Christie had working on that Donald Duck joke. <laughs> oh, oh no. God! We're gonna call you Donald Duck. God, he looks like he dude. ate. Please clap. Twenty Donald Ducks. Please, please yeah. clap. Tweeted out a please picture. Of couple hours. It was just for a reason. Jeez. It, it was the worst thing. I, I I reacted to that live. I didn't hear it. Like, and I just heard the sound bite. You know, because I, I was like, oh my god, did he really fucking that, that's, say this? That's please clap, but maybe worse. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, maybe worse. <laughs> uh, was, Thursday, you know, his Thursday, if you guys, I know you guys, uh, you know, aren't Obama fans, but do you think he was? capable of like when he did the uh, uh the the reporter dinners and he delivered his monologues don't you think he did a good job as a stand-up he was, Obama's, Obama's a good entertainer. Like he's, he's good at being up there and talking to people. Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's a good time. Yeah. 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 He's he's a phenomenal I, I resent that you said that uh you guys probably aren't Obama guys. I found him to be a very considerate lover. <laughs> <laughs> So did Mike. Play that music. <laughs> Big Mike. <laughs> well, when you go Obama, you never go back. There you go. Well, he's, he's, uh, he's, yeah, a I, you know, he's a cuddler. Oh, God. Look oh, at the response bro. from Danny. <laughs> 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 uh, I can't believe he's like doubling down on it. <laughs> Whatever, God, oh. dude. So no, back the whole, to the strike. All, all yeah, of yeah. the replies, dude, are so bad of Chris Christie getting annihilated. He's a joke. He's been a joke. Uh, but yeah. we said that about Biden and 81 million <laughs> votes later. Mm, uh, all right. So uh, back to the strike. Um, yep. The, the thing about like you, you just brought up the late night hosts, and I love when we see the four pictures of them, and it's just like the diversity is obviously their strength. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> do, you know, do, you, do you know how many writers each of them have? I think they have like what six? Ten. No, uh, it's like higher than that. 20? It's like twenty something. It's, it's like it's, twenty. It's it, it varies between a dozen to twenty each. Good yeah. lord, yeah. man! Wow, yeah. oh, they really wow. are talentless hacks. They really are, and you know, like the world legitimately felt better without 
he seeing them on my feed and yeah so, it's like a yeah. pressure was lifted and now it's put yeah. back onto us uh so uh, uh, 148 day strike has been a disturbance in the force um <laughs> it appears after you know give, giving it a good look over um they got most of what they wanted but uh mm -hmm. as i was told by a very good source it's this offer is really not far off and we're talking like it's it's 90 percent, maybe more of the offer they got three months ago <laughs> so they sat on it for three months and they didn't talk in the produce the producers <laughs> did that the producers <laughs> like okay we'll come back and talk in three months after force <laughs> majeure kicks in and we can kick out half your contracts mm. you know and that's exactly what's going on so that's house, funny house always wins baby uh sure we'll give you a, some control over it by the uh, by the way the writers have control over ai which will last about <laughs> 10 seconds uh because nobody's going to be able to control ai uh, so now they're using it they have been Perfect. using it i said that in the beginning of the strike these fuckers <laughs> have been using it because you get writer's block we like we make videos we get no like, i do i i disagree look i disagree they were not using it because ai would write better scripts uh, well no they rewrote the ai and made it worse so <laughs> uh, but what no when they were when they need to get a pitch together and if they're they have block you go to chat gpt you throw some things in they can reword it it's their uh, believe me they're all fucking using it they're all using it. That's why they were freaked out about it. They're all, wait a minute. Oh, this tool I've been using can actually replace me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's kind of like getting a $20 minimum wage in California, and then McDonald's introduces automated fucking tellers. So uh, it's weird how that works. Well, the, the, the thing that's going to put them out of work with regards to AI is their own personal work is so dreadful, they're going down to the level of AI. That's the yes. problem. Yes. It's, yes. it's not a question of them punching up. It's a question of them working down. <laughs> and, Ayo, and that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And, uh, and the thing is, they are, they are the fault that AI is going to replace them because they can't do better than AI. You're right. Mm -hmm. yep. You're absolutely right. And, you know, when we get something uh, like One Piece, when we get a good show or House of the Dragon, uh, or when Better Call Saul was going on, we get that rare good show that just schools everything else and makes everything else look embarrassing. Like, absolutely embarrassing. Like, Ahsoka is an embarrassment, which we will get to. Uh, it's an embarrassment of writing, acting, directing, editing, all across the board. Um, not I would quite quit. As as Robin I would, if, I got, if I got the job on that, I probably would have left. I, I, it's so painful. I feel badly for the actors because I think... Deep inside, they're all going, this is horrible. Yeah. Well, I, 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 if you would have gotten the job, you would have. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. Is this, Dad, is, how do you feel about this? Is, is, as? How you I, feel I, about I, this? I ain't going to lie. I'm a little bit confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> my head's saying no, but my heart's saying yes. You know? Wow. <laughs> My mind's telling me telling no. Me no. <laughs> my, my body. My body. Telling me yes. Yes. Oh, God. Never do that again. <laughs> Never do that again. <laughs> as you as didn't do Kelly. this on drink oh, I had, I had last night, did you? Yeah. Fuck as you know. Kelly. As Kelly right there. Oh, <laughs> my, extra go. my mind's telling me no. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Extra I got a that entire that thing out. was about fucking children, by the way. That's Wait what the song was about. <laughs> who did that? Who was that? Uh, our Kel oh, who did My that? My mind's telling me no. <laughs> that was, was that you? Oh, okay. my gosh. Oh, yeah. Extra girl. I got, I got a shit. That was good. Good timing. Place, good timing right there, QBG. Well done. I keep really it on I'm wow. really proud of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 the most exactly. really As I get very confused. Uh, Garrett, Garrett, for the folks in Spotify, please ex describe this meme. Well, it's a it's a good fellow, bald, <laughs> probably British, staring at a screen, looking in disgust, and he turns and he's he's pitching what? a tent. He's got little excited downstairs, <laughs> little confused, little, little confused, horrified and disgusted, but still horrified. Yeah. Uh, thank you for listening on Spotify. Please, yes. please like, share, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and write a review. Write a review. <laughs> Give us four stars. Thank you. Give us four stars. 
uh, for uh, Aziz Chubb. Uh, the thing that offends me about this is that he's working on a CRT. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this guy's old school. He's yeah. old school. He's old school. Yeah. There ain't no school like the old school. Oh, a lot, of, lot of my porn in four by three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have. Oh, you're that, watching um, vintage. <laughs> I I have that reaction from loading in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crying. So, uh, 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 it turns out a lot of the deals that were canceled, like we said, are not going to get picked up. A lot of them are are luckily being picked up because they had projects like in post-production. So they are going to pick some people up and then they're going to kick them to the curb again. Uh, but we also heard that, uh, like last year, for example, 600 shows were produced. 600 shows. Now that Damn. counts all shows, like all reality shows, everything. That's still that's an insane number. Uh, remember, Paul can remember because we're old. Remember when we could pretty much name every TV show on a network? Oh, we sure. we know what time it was on. Yeah, because you, know, you had like the eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock yeah. slots for a couple shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cable came like along. Three channels. We could still name some channel. We could still name some shows. We at least knew knew the show existed. 600 shows, but now the, uh, they're having that. So they're only going to produce 300. So the Which writers won. Congratulations. So Congratulations. will the shit condense yes. like a neutron star? Is uh, that what's going to happen? No, We're going to get think, way shittier shows? I think what they'll do is, I mean, Paul can correct me if I'm wrong. They'll repurpose some of that money to, to expand it to make more shows, but it'll be just like cheaper shows. It'll be reality shows, and uh, depending on how well they do, right? Uh, you know, even we even with one piece of success, that thing was hella expensive. They shot it yep. in what South Africa or something. Like that. They built all the sets. They did most of them. Most of the f effects were practical, which is freaking awesome. Uh, but now it's going to take them two years, and they hadn't even broken a script yet. So it's going to be two years till we get One Piece again. So uh, what Hollywood now needs to figure out to do with streaming is get shows out quicker because One Piece destroyed ahsoka in the ratings like we thought they would and it's a slow mm. burn I, I it, it, it like it's still in the top 10 it, it in in netflix's top 10 it's still being talked about the witcher season three part two released uh as of two days ago two months ago two yeah, months well, ago i, I had people was in the top 10 for like a minute Four days, yeah. maybe, and it was gone. <laughs> and I, I had people telling me that they, when I compared the uh, number of reviews of Ahsoka on Rotten Tomatoes versus the number of fan reviews uh, to One Piece, they're like, well, you got to give Ahsoka uh, at least till towards the end of the season because every okay. One Piece release. Okay, so now look, it's now it's Ahsoka has 2,500 fan reviews after all of these weeks. One piece over ten thousand fan reviews. Well, so, so, so Ryan, or who's got this up? Go to overall. Go to overall. Overall. Yeah, okay, one that's piece. where it's not there. Uh, it, 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 Ahsoka fell out of the top 10 where did most it go? viewed streaming. <laughs> wow. It did. Oh, oh, gotta no. go to original oh, and it's top but five. But look at, like, the story of the summer, it, we we have to briefly talk about that as Suits. 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 Oh, now, dude, I, I had never watched dude, it. What I've the hell? I recently binge-watched the entire thing, and I could not stop watching it, even though I don't know it's, if it's a good show or not. It's, um, it, it's a halfway decent show. It. It's, yeah, it's, it's not it's, bad. I was I, there was a guy watching Suits in the plane on the way back from the UK, and it was literally hurting me because I couldn't hear what he was watching. But all every single scene is the same thing: two people standing in a room talking to each other. One person <laughs> leaves, another person comes in, they continue talking. Then the other person leaves. Uh, it, it's dude, every I, single every, scene. Every episode is the same, and I couldn't turn it off. I don't really know <laughs> you can't why. Stop. The dude and, watched and, the entire can, series. Like he was can just. I point out <laughs> that's a Canadian show. Yes, it is. Uh, the U the USA mm. shows were like really upper mid shows that did Bro. really fucking well. Like Dude, all of I them loved did. USA. Uh, yeah. They had like Monk. I, Monk. Monk is one of my Monk favorite. Is Monk is awesome. Maybe Monk. Uh, Bird Psych Notice. Which Psych Bird Notice. Bird Notice is went the best. Is the absolute best. Bruce Campbell. Bird Notice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bruce Bird Campbell. Notice was awesome. Psych. I really liked Psych when it was Psych. on Psych. as well. Um, yeah, they got some good shit on there back in the day. I mean, was White Collar also? No, yeah. sure? White Collar was also <laughs> USA. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Linus, can you stop? My Do mind's it. telling me no. <laughs> <laughs> I am so confused right now. Uh, I'm getting that meme again. Uh, Garrett, I want you to describe the meme. <laughs> yes. to the folks this is a beautiful, Spotify. brave man showing his... <laughs> 
God-given breasts <laughs> to the world. I'm glad you saved what, your chest for that size? picture. Uh, yeah. What size do you oh, think you have? Uh, oh, those are those are D's for sure. I, what are, I, yeah. I, I just want to yeah. state that I do realize Chrissy is missing. Okay, I've realized that from the show. <laughs> From the beginning of the show, <laughs> it took a it took a pair of tits for Gary to remember. <laughs> oh. oh yes, Chrissy. I'm a dude. I'm a dude. Wait, you just said I'm a dude. I'm Ash, a dude. you gotta get him on that. Get him on that. I'm a dude. I'm gonna there you notice go. tits. So uh, all Chrissy he means to you, you he now know that that's it. So that's, Chrissy that's uh, currently <laughs> is uh, is building an ark. Uh, so yes. she cannot. Yeah, join she us. Flood. She uh, yes. well because God flushed the toilet in New York, so that's what's going on right now. Too soon. All washed into her. Is it just a lot studio. of rain? Like I, I just it's saw just the flood and like rain. I've seen flooding like that in San Francisco where where there's hills. What happens is the storm drains get blocked up and it just with the shit of homeless up. people. The, yeah, home. Yeah, beat me to it. Yeah. Yep, yep. So where was I? Okay, back to suits. Suits destroying, but uh, Ahsoka, uh, not doing that well in the ratings. And Ryan, of course, did a video. I think uh, about three seconds after the Nielsen ratings came out, and uh, like a good lad. Uh, but you also pointed out that uh, the ratings for Ahsoka are right there around Secret Invasion. Isn't that weird? Huh? Isn't that yeah. weird? Whether you look at the uh, it's personally. I think the Nielsen ratings are the less important of the two kind of ways we have to tell right now. I think the Samba ratings, one, they have a much bigger sample size, and it actually tells you the amount of household something is in, which to me, that's far more important than the overall viewing numbers. Because like we said, Suits, do I think the same amount of people are tuning into Suits that are tuning into Ahsoka? Not necessarily. No. I think that Suits has 120 episodes that are like 45 minutes long each. So it's going to be able to rack up a lot more minutes streaming. Same with anything that's kind of dropped all at once. But the question is, how long are people watching this? Is it still staying pretty sta uh, pretty well over time, over a period of four or five weeks? All these questions. But I think that more, the numbers that give us more value are the Samba TV numbers. You have to extrapolate what Ahsoka was doing, which is how you're able to find out with the numbers they gave us. In the first six days, for episodes one and two, 8.6 million views, 8.6 million people watching. Well, that might sound okay domestically until you compare it to Obi-Wan, 11 million in just three days. Book of Boba Fett, 10 million in four days. And Mando season three, 11 million in five days. Ahsoka is significantly behind all of those and is right on par with Secret Invasion, which even the mainstream media admitted was a fucking disaster. And, I, and I'm, and I'm suspect funny. I, I find Ahsoka kind of like going into a fun house on acid, whereas... And the acid uh, was bad? <laughs> I, I've only ever had good good ass i'm old enough okay to have had what, what i mean by bat fake labeled, acid like it didn't no, no. work i oh. know no. i'm 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 old enough to have actually had sandos labeled acid uh oh, none wow. of this blotter blotter stuff anyways that that's another story wow I'll you sound like you. an acid snob yeah. hey, it's <laughs> a you take it like this a, you, like, you want to you want to hear my I, acid I, I, I was so ghetto i only did the four-way window pane at dead shows man too much strychnine <laughs> 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 yes i want to hear your acid story paul go now okay so we went out uh, in the middle of uh, the winter at a friend's cottage we bundled up we uh, we said okay we're going out for this uh, trip we we dropped the stuff went outside literally walked around till sundown got back into the the cottage uh, uh, went to sleep the next morning we um we got up and we saw that all we had done was go a circle around a tree yeah that was it <laughs> We thought we had visited many forests. We thought we went <laughs> oh, to Erindale and River. Ri <laughs> it was quite You sad. pierced the veil and you visited different worlds while you were walking in that Correct. circle. So your body was in in state here on this planet, but your mind it was mind elsewhere, it. brother. There, there you go. Oh, yeah. I'm fried on acid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have that. a better one, but that's later. But yeah. the the I, I found Secret Invasion in, in, impossible to watch. Like, it was... <laughs> Be beyond horrible whereas somehow ahsoka is weirdly addictively bad i don't know why <laughs> addictively um, bad <laughs> because you i mean it's like how long can they pause between uh dialogue i mean it's it's kind of impressive 
Like they, <laughs> they, they thought that was an aesthetic choice. Like, like Dave yeah. Filoni's doing his best impression of George Lucas making a samurai movie, right? Mm. Cause Dave Filoni is a fat hack. Uh, who has no male energy, doesn't introduce any male energy into his show, and makes he's a cartoon maker. So now he's live action. He doesn't have John Favreau over his shoulder reining him in. And I think uh, Dave Filoni has a lot to do with the the badness of Mando season three and other stuff too. I, I think I, uh, I think you're right. I, I don't think he's the savior everybody thinks he is. I don't think he's very good. He 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 hasn't really spread his wings. He hasn't done much outside of Lucasfilm. He's in this insular bubble of wokeness at Lucasfilm and it, it, everybody's going to tell him he's doing a great job. He's not going to have anybody going, you know what? Could you maybe talk faster? You know, <laughs> or maybe tell a faster? story. <laughs> what, 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 what did George Lucas say? Faster, more intense, Faster, more intense. Yes. We, we well, could use some good old George I, Lucas faster, yeah, more intense. In it. Yeah. So I haven't seen Ahsoka, but like the, the slowness of like Mandalorian season one was very slow too. Really Ahsoka slow. Even yeah. slower. Is slower. Ahsoka but, even slower but, than that? But that Dude, seems slower, slower with intentionality behind it. Right. Mm -hmm. That that seems yeah. slower in service of a story of a guy who's just walking by himself, kind of, mm -hmm. you know, out there, you know, discovering shit. Yeah, it's this, it's, it's it's Rifleman meets Kung Fu with David Carradine was yep. the first season. Yeah, and it was great. I, I loved that pace. It was very Clint Eastwood, you it, know, it, uh, it felt the good the okay bad for the what ugly. they were doing. This one, it, we're not just talking about slow, like. Oh, there's only one character, and they're like going on a. There's like five characters standing around, and they're talking. They're like leaving five second gaps between when they talk for like no, just so they can kind of sigh and breathe and go like, hmm. Th th even their hmm. movements, even their movements, like they'll like go yes. to reach and pick up a cup. It, it's like it's supposed to be like it is a, <laughs> a samurai movie. It's supposed to be, but it's yeah. somebody who doesn't yeah, understand. Right kurosawa and samurai fucking movies it's somebody who thinks that they understand it through somebody else you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Uh, they get the filtered so, version so of the it. good the bad and the ugly works uh because you have three actors who have oh. scream presence and who are intimidating and you're like these yeah. are some badasses this yeah. doesn't work because we have three empty suits who could maybe act in a colgate commercial walking <laughs> around staring at each other easily <laughs> beating uh men three times their size i well, think, the, it's, I think there's like no tension between characters too those long pauses can be used to build tension but that's not what you're getting you're just getting a void you're getting a void of nothing. I, I, you, you see there's there's like a there's a wave you go you have fast paced action scenes and then you have the tension building slow paced this is just slow paced the entire time how about like, everything, just everything nothing comes but slow paced speed bumps. all these how, fights no, how, there, there is no stakes or tension and it just feels like how, it's just an inconvenience there's to the a character scene, there's a scene that they split into two that didn't even need to be a scene in this show when uh god i can't even remember what the context is but uh huang is talking to ahsoka <laughs> and, and, and he's basic oh he's saying uh hey maybe we uh you know he was pointing out how bad the show was basically he was like yeah how do we know where we're going She's that's all, right we yeah. know when we, we don't know the where they're going we don't know yeah yeah which hyperlane are they going on we could end up anywhere so it was like so that it's, it was like that <laughs> it's like that scene was shot a, a day after the previous episode came out, they heard a bunch of complaints. They're like, "Oh fuck, let's record this real quick." Yeah, he has a bunch of questions. We explained it, and they yeah. split it into two. They and they didn't need to split it. They interrupt it, and then they come back to it. Go, oh, we found the bad guy. Mm, that was easy. Well, I think it's great <laughs> because the so universe scary. is so tiny that they no. just happen to have. Yes, it's a tiny universe. It mm -hmm. is. They went yeah. to another galaxy, and they all found each other in fifteen minutes. Yeah, but, but this galaxy <laughs> wasn't so far, <laughs> far away. You see, <laughs> I, I, no, it was I, just kind I, of far that, away. I think it's some of the strategy. Gary, right? You meet somebody who you haven't seen for ten years. Yep. Somebody who you've had a massive emotional connection with for ten years. You, you, you go, you're right, and then off screen, they, you, you say, "How you been? How, how, how? Ten years, crazy, isn't it?" And they say to you, look, uh, so much has happened. The Empire has been destroyed. What? Yeah, the Empire's destroyed. Darth Vader has been killed, defeated by his son, Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker, the hero of the rebellion Luke, who hasn't been Skywalker. mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Who's, okay. Um, the the Emperor's dead. So, well, that's uh, the, what people the say. Republic, the Republic no, 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 no. As, no, as no, that's no, what wait, people wait, say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, a, this is the off-the-screen conversation. Oh, okay. Sorry. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. We're getting to the on-screen conversation in a second. Uh, the Emperor's dead. Uh, the New Republic. We've got a New Republic now. It's it's taken over. We're, we're bringing peace back to the galaxy. Uh, and it's just, this is crazy. I, I just don't even know where to begin with the questions, how to compute this, how to understand this. Um, let's start shipping out with the uh, with the fucking crab asses, and then you just then you just like go five miles, and then you just uh, turn the camera on now, so you're filming for the audience, and then you go, wow, so uh, so crazy stuff happened. Then the empire was defeated, yes, and the and the emperor's dead. So they say. Whew. Yeah, it's it, weird. It, it, it's really <laughs> weird. Again, like for the, these moments where we should get insight into it, right? If you're building this all off Rebels and for Rebels fans, and this is the moment, right? This reunion between Ahsoka, or sorry, between Sabine and Ezra that you've been teasing since the end of Rebels that Ahsoka and Sabine were going to go on this journey to find them. A lot of the general audience isn't feeling it or understand why you should care, but there are hardcore fans out there that do. Those people. They would have wanted to see all of that. They would have wanted to see something other than good to see a buddy old pal cut to credits. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, there's this a is worst the second part time it. now. That, wait a minute. Is that all it was? That's yeah. all yeah. it was? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. What was that? Yeah. Like? Run up and Go hug ahead. him and say, oh my Go God, ahead, it's Paul. you. I can't believe it. Go ahead. Holy Paul. fuck. There's, there's, there's a worse thing. Um, Ezra, when he, uh, when he found out that Sabine had betrayed uh, the uh, rebels to find him, why isn't he going, bitch? She I took told this him. Guy. She hasn't she hasn't told him. He hasn't found that out yet. He hasn't even he fucking hasn't? pushed no. her on it. He doesn't no. know that yet. No, he doesn't oh, know. No. She said, she said he, look he, at my Facebook. It's like my Facebook um, status. It's complicated. <laughs> well, what happens when he finds out? He's going to like flip out. Look, I no, sacrificed my, space my life for 10 years to suck this Thrawn asshole out here, and you gave it all away? Just yeah. so you could pat me on the fucking back, not even a blowjob. Not nothing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. No. Hey, 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 no. guys. Dick. Guys, she she tried to give him back his dick in this episode, and he refused no, it. He, he didn't want yeah. it. That's right. Yeah. 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 You keep my penis. dick. I don't. I, need I just want to point out. This is now the second time that I can think of just in recent memory that super important conversations that these people should be having happen off screen. Uh, the other yeah. one would be Ahsoka and Luke Skywalker when <laughs> Luke and Ahsoka have their little discussion in, in Book of Boba Fett. Now, I'm someone very famously thinks that bitch should have died a long ass time ago. I don't think Ahsoka should be alive right now. I think she needs a walking, talking plot hole. But with that being said, there's a lot of people that were dreaming of the moment where Ahsoka and Luke met, where Ahsoka met the son of Anakin. And in that moment, Luke could explain to her that he was Anakin at the end. Like he turned at the end and all of this shit that Ahsoka has been thinking about how Darth Vader is just the worst mm -hmm. person, irredeemable. How could this have happened? Blah, blah, blah. That's like the moment she realizes so much of that stuff and there's closure for her. Right. But we don't see that. Instead, no. we get a conversation that nobody cares about that they've ar clearly already know each other and are already talked. We just didn't get to see it on so, screen. So what's and then Luke is like looking up to her for wisdom in training Grogu. So, it's pathetic. So what's the, everyone's prediction for what the plot of the uh, plot? Sorry, I use the term loosely. The last episode. Uh, gonna gonna look for no, no, no. Th Thrawn, Thrawn is going to go back. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Thrawn, Thrawn goes back. Thrawn goes back. Uh, Balin <laughs> might. Balin might walk into a temple and find a woman to to be uh, to boss him around a little bit, and um, <laughs> Thrawn will take uh, the Lucasfilm story group, uh, the the group of witches, uh, with him back to the group. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> and their bulls. Don't forget their bulls. No, well, their yeah. balls. That's They've right. got the balls, just like Sabine has hey. Ezra's dick. Say and that Ryan. again, Gary. Say that again. Uh, they have they they them have Ezra's dick. Well, <laughs> they they have the ball. The women have the, the balls. The women have the balls. Correct. Okay, so He's the Lucasfilm story group, which is a group of witches, has the balls. She's got because none of the fucking men do. The balls <laughs> makes a triangle, and if you want to know what the old lesbian symbol was, was a, it was a pink triangle before they just adopted it with the um with the with the rainbow flag. Did you guys not know that? 
I lived in San Francisco. It's the only reason I knew. No. I vaguely uh, remember that. And, uh, hey, Ryan, Ryan. So you know why they won't give Ahsoka closure, right? On all that. I mean, I know because you know they why, need but... to have her interact with Anakin. <laughs> well, that they there's one she more. Can't, she then can't. We're gonna exist. get one more. She yeah. can't yeah. exist without Anakin oh, or the Darth Vader or Jeremy. Any, and they also can't <sighs> give Luke Skywalker his hero moment. Jeremy, no. Jeremy, you, you did, you did, him. you did hear that Anakin Skywalker made more videos than you do. <laughs> I did. I heard that. I heard that on daily the other day. So apparently he made more than me. So. He made twenty I, videos. I, just, I, I bet he accidentally slipped his Soka like the wrong one. It's just him like jerking off with his mechanical arm because it doesn't oh, feel like his. Time, but that, but, but, it's but the that, stranger. But, but and again, I haven't. Uh, I didn't watch Book of Boba Fett. But Ryan explaining that like that is symbolic of Disney Star Wars and it's symbolic of Ahsoka uh, right now is where they they can't tell good stories because they don't know how to tell good stories. And what I mean no. by that is that they need, like they can't wrap uh, this whole story up with Ahsoka and, and Darth Vader and give Luke, you know, that element so she could have that closure because they don't know how to tell the story of, with Ahsoka beyond Vader, Anakin, and all of that because she shouldn't exist in the first place at this well, point. They also, if, if, they had, if they told a story with closure, that means they wouldn't have any more characters to continue to do more stories with so they, they can they draw trapped, this shit they out. They trapped oh, themselves. So. They, they, you know, the, the uh, Disney trilogy killed the franchise. What you Garrett, want are new bed. stories yeah. after the, the, the trilogy. We, we got to stop going in back into the middle of it, fleshing yeah. it out. Yeah. That's because, the because they're telling a story that's yeah. leading up to something nobody gives a shit about. Correct. They can't tell a story. And I'll tell you why they can't tell a story. Because they can't write men. They can't write they men can't because let yeah. men be fucking men. Because of and their slavish the adherence problem. to the message. Well, that well they don't. And this, and this was epitomized in this episode when Sabine tried to give Ezra his lightsaber back and he said, no. no. So she said, no, no. Well, at least take as, one of my pistols. As, well, at least take one of my said, pistols. No. And, and he, he said, said the, no. The force is my ally. And then 10 minutes later, he picks up a fucking pistol. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I, I end this blaster. The force, <laughs> the force is all I need. And then he was, had to resort to picking up a stormtrooper's gun to fucking stay alive. Oh, and and then, that's called bad fucking writing I, I, as, because they can't write a man. They're not allowed to write a fucking man and, and doing they, masculine things. And they can't, There's no and, men and they, there and writing. They can't, and they can't that's do why. any damage to women. They had the Bijan Frise like dead to rights and they fucking let her go. Why? Because oh, she's let a girl. Her go. So well, she's gonna, to they let her go because she's a woman and they let her go because she's going to be a woman who's going to turn and be good. Yes. And go ahead, uh, Chad. Go ahead, Chad. Well, well, just to bookend exactly what you're saying, there's a, a very Keep striking that up, parallel Garrett. that happened in Wheel of Time, the la the most recent episode. There's you a famous line it. that all the fans love in Wheel of Time from a character called Lan, and he says, "There's one rule above all else for being a man: whatever you face, do it on your feet." Right. So he gives that line in this episode, and it's really forced and out of place, but he gives the line to the main character, Rand. Rand goes to see the Umberlin, and in that scene, he is literally shielded, his power is ripped from him, and is cowed, and he drops to his knees for most of the episode. And they, like, delivered the line of, about being a man, you do it on your feet, and then they purposely have him just absolutely bitch-slapped on his knees the entire episode, and not, he couldn't even get up onto his feet to show any level of strength or masculinity because they can't. It's like show Doctor that. Strange. Mm -hmm. yes, it's like Mom no, at the I, end of that I, movie. I, he I, he as says didn't it, do it, anything. It's not as said it, but I want to expand on it a little bit. They can't write I, men. I can say, mm. They can't. They can't write men because they won't. Now I don't right. believe the the, yes. the the story group can't write anything. Okay, not just men. They're women, not allowed to write men. Little little snails. They can't write shit. But Disney's uh, and Lucasfilm are unwilling uh, to do yes. this because that force of female. And I know the argument's always been it was some Nike promo or whatever. Ryan, no, that's yeah. that's that's their mantra. It is MCU. It's the same fucking thing. That's well, why the, it, it would be one thing if it's just a slogan and we never saw it play out in their content. But it's yeah, obviously exactly. I, like, again, mm -hmm. say whatever you will about Dave Filoni when he appeared at that women's conference. Like everything he's said has oh always God. been what's shown up in his like in his stories that he wants to tell, especially right. when he gets control, whether it's Star Wars Rebels, whether it's now here in Ahsoka. The force is female. Um, and the. 
the idea of Ezra not taking back his lightsaber, I think if it was an isolated incident, if we hadn't just seen it in The Last Jedi, I think we'd probably feel a little bit different about it. Uh, I like to go with the assumption of Ezra just thinks Sabine's so fucking incompetent that she needs all the tools she can get and that he can survive <laughs> just by himself. But like, it would be one thing if that was the case. But it just they, is, it, it reminds you too much of a female character with a lightsaber she should not have trying to give it back to the man who abandoned that thing or lost that thing or whatever. But no, he how completely to use it. rejects it and hands it back to that female. And, and, and the oh, thing so. that really drove me nuts was he was using his force power, his push power, up until he ran into Shin, who was able to push him. Yes. Yeah. 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 He was surprised him everybody. He was well, pushing yeah. everyone. Then Shin showed up and boom. Yeah, but the big thing, which we, we haven't we haven't said, the whole big thing about this this stuff which has happened is Balin. Believe it or not, Balin is the most important thing in that fight. He's Balin gone. has had no motivation other than he wants to find Thrawn. Which is horseshit. Because now he's gone off. And the reason why Balin has gone off to do something different is because if Balin was in that fight, everybody would be fucking dead. Yeah. Well, well, he would have well also, destroyed all of them. Ezra, Sabine, the whole lot, everyone would be fucking dead. Maybe, but like we don't know that because we're imprinting so much on a character who's nothing. We love Ray Stevenson. We miss him. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. I met the man in person. He's a great freaking dude. He has great screen present, completely underused, great character actor, one of the yep. best Punishers ever. Mm -hmm. He's been nothing. In he's been absolute and Rome. He's been absolute. Oh, you're thinking about the Roman Empire. Uh, oh, he's been absolutely absolutely <laughs> nothing in this show. Nothing. He, he, his character has been on a stationary bike since episode four. Yes, we are. Like it was really seven. cool. I, I I liked his introduction. I liked some of the mysteries surrounding him. I liked some of the things he said to Ahsoka. And you're like, okay, we're gonna get some payoff on this. But now it's been three episodes since that yeah. happened, and all it's been is more fucking random, arbitrary yeah. mystery man bullshit. Yeah. So speaking of what you're right, it's it's all mystery box bullshit. That's what this yeah. is. Star Wars is still mm -hmm. mystery box bullshit, which is meaningless, vacuous, vapid oh. nothingness. That's it's all writing it is. in it's writing for convenience. So yes. he just says, uh, hey poodle girl, go use and I'm gonna stay here for no good goddamn reason. Oh, Ahsoka shows up here. She doesn't go all the way into the fight. Nope, she jumps out of the plane, does this weird rubber. 3D thing hits the ground. She did the she did the Mario 64 long jump. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and hey. the whole his whole purpose for saying I'm going to stay here was to have a one on one with Ahsoka. It is writing from convenience. Yes, it's it's your characters yeah. following plot through uh, paint by numbers basically. Because uh, there's no purpose. As opposed Nothing, to no purpose. One Piece, which gives you the entire fucking world and Luffy's motivation in under five minutes. Oh, yeah. Under yeah. five minutes of the first yeah. episode. You know more about One Piece than you know about this entire show. Now, one Why did we... Ahsoka keep her poncho on when she was fighting uh, uh, Balin? Uh, so you can't she, tell it's a stunt woman. Male gaze. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, there we exactly. go. yeah. You know you what? Didn't I, see watch, I've, I've, been, I've been watching Buffy, and you can absolutely see the stunt men and women, and yeah. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Uh, so real quick, the one important thing from this episode is this little clip right here. Uh, we referenced it earlier. Uh, let's give it a listen. I'm still trying to process everything you told me. Oh, the Empire Oscar. was defeated. Battle of Endor. Oh. The Emperor died. That's what people say. Still trying to process. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It, is that Ezra? Yes. yes. I, literally, I legit Ezra. don't know. I legit this don't know. This is Space Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's, that's Space Moses. That's Obi Wan's. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like what. Yeah. Oh, I get you. Yes, you're right. Space you're correct. correct. I I Jeez. do like the OTA antenna behind them. Uh, he, I mean, he, I guess if he was shaved, he, I look guess at that. Would, would, <laughs> <laughs> I can buy that Ezra would like have a beard in exile. I think yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, let my people. I want to know go. how many of those crabs he's fucked. Dude, nobody's watching TV. <laughs> All of them. Dude, the actor is so <laughs> bad. Uh, That's I his mean, kid. The, the acting is horrific. Well, hey, well, let's be real. Ezra's a dog shit character anyway. I hated uh, yes. him in Rebels yeah. anyway. He sucks. And well, hated, so is Sabine. I hated Ezra. <laughs> Sabine so, is terrible. Sabine yeah. was dreadful Sabine in, in is the Rebels. Worst, uh, one of the worst but, Star Wars characters like, ever. Like, I, uh, going back to like... It's uh, good because Kanan got some fucking purpose in I season would, three. I would watch three fucking Jar Jar movies over a second of Sabine. Okay? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, going horrible. back to like the whole they can't I write men, and I think Abrams. we got the clarification. But it's <laughs> not about sorry, it's not about Jar Jar <laughs> Binks. It's not about can't writing. It's about actively not. The, the, they don't. Mm. But like again, I think we all hate Ryan Johnson here equally. But Ryan Johnson, it all comes back to leadership. When it's, Ryan Johnson worked on Breaking Bad, he did Rian phenomenal work. Johnson, <laughs> yeah, he did great work when he worked on. Um, you know, Breaking Bad because there was leadership. Uh, involved. Jeremy, you would do a great job on Breaking Bad with Vince oh. Gilligan there. Okay, it, that's my point, though. Yep. It's all about leadership. <laughs> leadership. It's all about yeah. it. This all comes down to leadership. And like, I, I know people like John Favreau. This motherfucker made The Lion King. Okay, if are we forgetting that? The Lion King is one of the worst fucking films I've ever seen. The live action, uh, The Jungle Book is a lifeless piece of shit. So um, as a leader, you're supposed to maximize people's strengths and cover up their weaknesses. Lucasfilm has a leadership problem. Star Wars is dead. Oh, for sure. That is that is my that that's my stance on it. None none of this will ever fi be fixed. Even if Kathleen Kennedy's fired tomorrow and they prance her out in front of hundreds of thousands of people and shame her worse than they did Gina Carano, it's still fucking dead. And they I have do no not bench know strength. if it will ever come back. They have no corporate bench strength. Back. Yeah, well, exactly. and, and in art, uh, in with with Vince Gilligan and and others, uh, it's it's also ability, it's leadership and talent. Uh, Vince Gilligan knows what's good and what's bad. Uh, he's unquestionable. It's unquestionable, like how good of a showrunner that guy is. He is uh, a rarity. He is a unicorn. Yeah, there except, are except a for thousand. El Camino. El Camino was kind of crap. Everybody has a like. Nobody's I perfect. Know. I, I, uh, I know. Spielberg I know. isn't perfect. No. Uh, he hasn't been. For I a long also time. think that that's yeah. kind of one of the problems that all these shows have is. Like we've seen Vince Gilligan in serialized television storytelling as opposed to an hour and a half movie. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Now you got baloney. And now what do we have? Animation these, to live action. Now we have people that have done animated stuff, you know, 20 minute animated shows, very much acceptable to have kind of very, uh, you know, encapsulated little bubble storytelling, whatever. And you also have John Favreau, who's used to doing movies. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden you have these guys moving to more serious live action serialized television style storytelling and it just hasn't worked mm -mm. i think that mando season one well i think andor is is like the most well i think that's the most well executed and competent thing that disney star wars has done yep. period but it doesn't have a broad very broad appeal i think that mandalorian season one while massive fucking plot problems was the best that they've done mixing both of those things but even that feels like it's five episodes that they derived from a castaway Boba Fett movie and like three episodes of filler. I will you know? say this. But, it, but at least it was small. It was self-contained. They weren't relying on cameo after cameo after cameo in place of storytelling. I will say this, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but with the dust settling, because this is, re this is me retroactively looking at it, looking at the whole thing with Disney's live action stuff, because I think Clone Wars Season 7 is the best thing Disney Star Wars has ever had. But live action, That's I think Rogue sad. One, I think Rogue One is the best live action thing. And I didn't like I, Rogue One that much when it came out, but looking back at the dust clears, I think Rogue One's the best thing Disney Star Wars has because ever had. Because people live died yeah, in it. by default. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I still, I still <laughs> enjoy Rogue One. Exactly. They're alive I, again I, now, he's, Paul. Because that Andor's back, yet. baby, Bro. and he's got a more serious. <laughs> Nobody's ever really gone. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so they managed to make one good movie that was a Frankenstein that they had the fire director bring another mm -hmm. one in, and the other fire director, I guess, got so pissed off, wrote another movie that apparently has the same fucking ending as Rogue One. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's more later. like they made one good scene, which was the Darth Vader I, scene. That was the only thing uh, that yeah, people go that to. They like, like yeah. the rest I, of the I, movie I is. Say, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The whole the whole last forty five minutes of that movie is. Pretty damn good with all of the I, action, I, I, the culmination of everything. Of yeah. Yeah. Donnie Every Yen's when he dies, you know, I'm one of the force force of the Eddie, and he goes out like a beast. Like, like there's some good moments in Rogue there Rogue are, and there's, made, there's made, moments, dude, but the it, overall it movie is it. weak as hell. The lead the character's more weak, the story's weak. I'm not saying it's a good movie because I didn't like it. It made a billion dollars. Yes, it, it, like they it made a billion dollars because of the name Star Wars. Force Awakens made two billion, and I think that's a piece of shit. I agree. It made a it made a billion dollars because of Darth Vader. It, it, yeah, it did. Yeah. If that, that scene's not there, it doesn't make a billion dollars. And no Star Wars movies make it a billion dollars now. Like none. No. 
No, no not I, the slightest. I, I would, I would even go so far as to say, if you br came out with a fucking Darth Vader movie right now, it would have trouble making a but billion. You guys, dollars. all you guys yeah. are avoiding the the big serious question, which I need X-ray girls help Ooh. on. This. Okay, okay. <laughs> and that is, how does Sabine keep her eyeliner on all the time? <laughs> yeah, oh. X-ray girl. You can get tattooed eyeliner. Okay, that. Okay. I was gonna say it's obviously that waterproof makeup that they use yeah. at weddings. And I mean, shit. Water, I use waterproof and. I'd still fuck her. Oh shit! Wow. <laughs> I asked the fun. important question. Now, the question is: Are you? Re is that a reference to the Paul's picture earlier, Garrett's or Sabine? We're, we're just curious. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like this, th this episode was. Really stupid. Really like it, it was just, it was a very dumb episode where not a ton <laughs> happened. And it's almost like first of all, they start off with the whole New Republic scene in the beginning. Is Sorry, <laughs> 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 <All> Ryan. <laughs> uh, I feel like uh, the guy's uh, nipples are really close together. Uh, Garrett. Are, Garrett. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Garrett. The middle of his chest. <laughs> Garrett, please describe the meme to the people. Oh, sorry. Spotify. Let me bring it back up so I can describe it. <laughs> This is a a male Ahsoka fan wearing a turtleneck Sweater. with his uh, nipples Those exposed. Nipples are yeah. and he looks very confused. It, it like also he does. seems like that person has like a touch of downs. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he goes around life touch very downs. confused. <laughs> like just just when you a, a, like the head shape. Did it did it move at all for this picture? Or just all no, not understand. You know, okay. I mean, yeah. it's just not my type. <laughs> okay. No? Okay. He kind all of right. looks like Aston from the Lord that. of the Rings. I, res I respect it. I respect it. He's, he's, he's just trying too hard. You know. It makes me it makes me appreciate your 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 taste in boobs even more now. So I can yeah respect. There you go. Like so, the, so I like a Ariola would like a fucking sorry, fried Ryan. egg. You know, Go, sorry, Ryan. Right, yeah, continue, Ryan. Please. We didn't even talk about the beginning of this, which is Hera dealing with the aftermath of oh disobeying direct orders, oh. but which then led led to the death of a couple people, but also clearly the reveal that something's going on there. Um, is facing essentially she, the decision of whether she's going to be court martialed or not. It's a committee hearing with some senators but also some military people admiral akbar is on this committee and mm -hmm. admiral akbar did not get a name thrown out it, it was just like a easter egg that admiral akbar was there and he didn't say shit just let, let that one fucking senator railroad the entire thing mon mothma seems like she's powerless to do anything the the new republic and i get that in order to tell the story and get to the place where they need to be, which is a new republic that is inept and lets the First Order rise and there needs to be a resistance that is formed within, you do, do need to show some ineptitude. But right now, they are fucking retarded. Everyone yeah. would be begging for the Empire back Absolutely. if these people were actually in charge. The new republic is so Bring stupid. Bring back the Empire. Well, the Palpatine did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, the thing that makes me crazy about that scene is the fact that she got two X-Wing pilots killed and it doesn't get mentioned at all. No, you went well, AWOL, you took a you, force of uh, four X-Wings, you got two of them killed. Lady, you're going to prison. Comics, comics, tell me, well, tell me what, tell me why it was never mentioned. Uh, they were dudes. A woman. No, 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 exactly. It's because a woman fucked up. Right. If that yeah. was a man, if that was Admiral Akbar, they'd be draking him over the coals the, for, the, the, for the death of the two you, pilots. You, you know what's the, one what's one of the best scenes in all of fucking Star Wars is actually from the Mandalorian and it's Warner Herzog's scenes when he's sitting down mm. and describing why people still need the Empire I, yeah. like yeah. it was a good scene that mm -hmm. was a yeah, really was fucking good that is everything mm. we were kind of looking for with Star Wars when Disney took over and we got like one mm. scene in 10 years when they <laughs> killed him sorry to interrupt so you as but it made me think of it is, no 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 no, yeah. no. It's, 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 it's just um they cannot get over their agenda to write a story. Uh, this is this is this is uh, meant to be girl bosses in space, and it and it's just it's just fucking retarded intersectionality in space. Yep. Yes, and, and it's getting in the way, and it's getting in the way of good storytelling. <laughs> but more importantly, it's getting in the way of good characterization, because Hera should have been fucking fired, stripped of her position, and and forced out in shame. If not I'd, thrown into the fucking I, brain. I, I, I disagree, though, as because she, she's Wasn't right. she right? Right? Did, yeah, she, didn't she she's prove that there right. was something up? She, she did that because, like, she was ordered not to, but she violated whatever order she was given. But she is right. They've, the they have recordings of... Means. Hold on. 
They have, they have recordings of false Jedi breaking out a Night Sister prisoner. They have that. An entire uh, an entire ship was taken over because of that. They know that. They have those records. Now they have flight records. They have recordings. They have everything of her and those X-Wings going and seeing the stolen hyperdrives that were put in a massive hyperspace ring that's traveling intergalactically. No. They have they, they have all of this. So there's no, no I know, reason I know. that that's not getting I, brought I agree up. with you, but no, they're but acting the like none of that's is- there. The, yeah, the problem that's, that's is it's structure. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the Republic has to have a structure. And they took this to the vote. This wasn't just don't do it. And then she went, I'm going to do it. This was, we took it to the vote. And Mon Mothma, though, the smug fucking fuck ass face, she, she did fuck all. Just, mm, I'm the smug. You, you voted on it. And the your whole fucking council came back with No. We don't believe it's right. But then she said so, she yes, disobeyed she the, his she, orders. Exactly. She, exactly. They tried, she tried to turn it into just against him. But this was the whole council. So the council should have recognized that she was right, which we didn't even get that. We just had a mm. little a side conversation with Mon Mothma. We should have had the council recognizing that she was correct. However, you did disobey a direct order. And as a general in the fleet, we need people who are going to be, you know, follow the structure of the Republic. So there should have been a consequence to the action. The fact that she's well, right could have the, come back later on well, to get was, her out. There was, was right. about to be, and then there was about to be that consequence, and then 3PO oh, saved the day. Well, yeah. through, through layout. So, uh, just he, to be clear, they were about to court martial. So, so, so the guy uh, got double girl bossed by the end. That's the structure that <laughs> that Az is talking about. Yeah. They they kept with the Disney forces female structure to have them double girl bossed. The thing is, Hera, <laughs> yeah. Hera was fucking right the first time she went to the stupid retarded council. Right when she, the, when they had full vi- they had full holographic imagery of two force users killing an entire crew and scuttling yeah. a ship and then losing a prisoner who used to make ships for the empire yes that's Fuck. the girl boss shit to me that's yeah. the girl boss agenda here is that Hera is right about everything she's always been right about everything despite the corrupt stupid fucking politicians that continue to get in the way Star Wars building seven that's good chat yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god as hey, <laughs> hey as framed his camera like john oliver on strike force five that's pretty good fucking spotify i'm also the spotify. Quartering circa 2018 to 2021 i know are you on rumble yet no <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to rumble the quarter and gets my fucking channel name right. <laughs> yeah, I want to call out heel versus baby. Heels, heels, heels versus, versus heels, baby. And to be heels. fair, that's what I called your channel for the first year anyway. So. <laughs> um. You can't even get my country right either. Fucking can't get my channel right. Can't get my country right. Fuck off. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of like, liking this camera. Should angle. stream like yeah, this. I, I heard you yeah. stay like that the whole time. <laughs> I'm just, I'm this floor this is actually bald really stream. Cool. <laughs> yeah, bald perfect. stream. The yeah. bald stream. <laughs> DSP. Do we, DSP do we all need to stream do like this? that too. Uh, yeah, no, the mic, re- um, the mic reaches down here. It's all good. It's all we, good. we did get more of Thrawn in this episode, <laughs> um, which we did. Uh, I, I so I think there was I think there was some of it in terms of him showing <laughs> that like him showing that he's hey I'm gonna direct these people tactically in combat and all that shit I think that was good you know but unfortunately his entire plan is retarded it makes no fucking sense. oh no don't get me started dude <laughs> <laughs> I know we just lost a major battle with our enemy but I'm gonna call it a victory. Because I distracted them from us loading the starship. Because I'm and a thing is, nowhere genius. fucking near it. Starship is walking pot noodles. Fucking what? What are they I feeling? Think, the I fucking think wait. So dumb. As as is imp- oh. impersonating the Death Star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it came out so weakly. What the fuck is that? Are, are this like a nerfed Nerf gun? Yeah, yeah. Like it's, a, a, it's a UK, a UK Nerf gun. Style <laughs> state for. It's, it's oh UK. my god! Ryan. It, needed, it needed pumping. Ryan, it's UK. Oh, it's, it's, I'm sure you're doing lots of stuff. It's UK security. Okay. So, there you go. <laughs> I, will, I will nerf you or nerf you it again. Out, it came out like a water drop. Just like it did. Like, <laughs> it did. So, uh, yeah, C3PO showed up, and then Anakin no. showed up again. 
Um, what you got? Oh, those on your head? No, like that's no, no, where that's, that's where I shot myself. <laughs> okay, that's good. Damn, you're so white. <laughs> you are so white, homie. <laughs> a Nerf bullet. Well, if you've been to his, if you've been to his country, there like I think I was there the only time the sun ever comes out in Yorkshire. So yeah, and everybody yeah. was talking about it. They were like, <sighs> we were worshiping the sun together. It was great. As, as whenever you see a nice pair of tits, is this the perspective they see on you when they're looking down? Yes. Well, I mean, I don't know because I'm just staring at the tits and not their eyes. I don't give a shit about them. Have you, have you guys noticed the pattern uh, starting to set in again with a Disney Plus show where everybody gets excited, some keys get mm -hmm. jangled, but by the time it's over, they're like, "Oh, it was nothing," and then we'll get we'll get ready again for Star Wars to be saved by the next show because. Disney Plus promises you shit is about to jump off in an unspecified series that will come out at an unspecified time later. Well, nobody vaded this week, so no. It was red. It's red. Did she really it's say vader that? Ring. Oh, oh yes, yes, well, yes. He yes. Vadered. Well, Grace Ken Randolph did. said vadered, and somebody else said it's red. It's red. Can't when they Anakin tell turned the shows on are bad while they're making them? Can't anyone see it? Uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't they, think can. they can. I don't think they can. I think they're so far. Uh, they're so deep in the shit. They're all they see is they, shit. Yeah, they need. So they stop smelling it. You know. Talents. I think like, memory. You know, I think one or two people might realize. Wow, what we're making is complete dog crap. Uh, like, I, I, you don't exactly. have to tell anyone. And they're probably well, the afraid to make it because they'll get fired. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they need paychecks, but I'm talking about the people watching it. Like, it's like we go through this pattern all the time with the Disney Star Wars show with the diminishing audience, right? This is mm -hmm. the same reaction we got to Obi Wan. Like, people were saying, oh, this is jumping off as bad as, bad as Last Jedi. And with Obi-Wan, it was worse than with Ahsoka. It was a lot worse because we had we had Moses Ingram and the and the whole fan baiting shit. That's it was that was yeah. five times as worse as Ahsoka. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, and uh, you know we had Book of Boba Fett, which not as many people were watching, but the same thing is like ooh until the Vespas came out, which was fucking <laughs> Jesus <laughs> man, <laughs> holy crap, was awful. Never but, uh, like a bantha. Mods riding Vespas. So we forget like a bantha. That we go through the same pattern every time, and the only difference is the Star Wars audience, the Disney Star Wars audience, just gets smaller. And smaller and smaller. Yeah. Well, the clapback gets quieter active. and quieter every time. It, it, there it, seems to be an Ahsoka audience that they came after me. Oh yeah. Oh, they they're, came after me too. Those are Paul. bots. Those no, are there bots. is. They're not. They're not bots. They are they're Disney Star stars. Wars Rebels fans that probably grew up watching Rebels on Disney XD that are probably twenty three years old. Right. Yeah. That, that is the core fan and still base. Live at home. I, Probably, yeah. And that's not saying it's the only people that watch Rebels, certainly. And more people have seen it since it got on streaming and stuff like that. And there's a group of people that do like it. But overall, the demographics for this, for Rebels and for who this series is geared towards, skews pretty young. They use social media a lot. They might be very present on social media. Mm -hmm. It might drive your parrot analytics numbers through the roof, which is what we've seen for Ahsoka. In fact, Ahsoka's parrot analytics number for its premiere was tied with the highest interaction they'd seen on social media for any of these Disney Star Wars shows, period. But it had one of the lowest actual ratings mm -hmm. because it doesn't uh, equate. Because uh, it's did, did we find out that Disney and, and other corporations are doing bot <laughs> campaigns anyway? Yes, I'm, I'm they, sure they are. There, there are but, through third-party marketing firms. They yeah. are doing. Uh, the, yes, they they have hired bot farms to uh, increase their reviews on IMDb on Rotten Tomatoes uh, because they were accusing us of doing that stuff. And like, who in their fucking right mind is going to like? Hey, I'm going to go get a bot farm, or I'm going to like make account <laughs> after account all day to downvote Captain Marvel. They, they accuse you of what they're doing. Yeah. Absolutely. And they have vested financial interest in doing it. It's probably actually makes them money. It's probably yeah, worth it. They, worth all, the they all do that. But Ryan's point is is very valid that there is a okay. real fan base there, out okay. there. Okay. Let, 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 me give you, let me give you small. an example. Small, let me give you an example. Loud. I, off the top of my head from Disney Star Wars movies, not Star Wars movies. The amount of people that watched a Disney Star Wars movie in America is somewhere around between 20 and 30 million people. Okay. And the amount of people who watched Rebels is maybe two million, maybe two million, maybe like yeah, combined. No. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I'm that's not, I'm your not, difference. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. 100%. what I'm saying is that the the fan base that does like that 
or is the fan bases that is going to be on Twitter tweeting out 200 fan cams a day, spamming Ahsoka Tano Tuesday hashtags. That is like made for that audience. Tano you know Tuesday. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. you might get a lot of pushback on social media for, for a tweet shitting on Ahsoka because they might share it in their Discord servers. They might tag people. They might tweet mm -hmm. it on TikTok, whatever. But in terms of the general audience, it's not capturing people. Paul, it did they come isn't. after you on Twitter or YouTube? Uh, Twitter. Yeah. Hey, but no, no, I, I got it in, in my comment section. But but yeah. YouTube, how's your like to dislike ratio on an Ahsoka video? It's probably uh, oh, it's I mean my like is ninety nine percent. Yeah, probably like upper nineties. Yep. My, yeah. my Ahsoka reviews have typically been around ninety five percent like ratio, which is down a little bit more than usual, right? Yeah. So usually it'd be like ninety eight, ninety nine, but that but that's because yeah. you get caught up in the algorithm my, so. mine's 96.7 yeah, mine. and my first ahsoka review for some reason in the last week kicked in it kicked up to a million views i don't know like i don't know who was watching it or maybe they just wanted to catch on eventually but thanks but yeah it was like 96 percent for me which is a little low a little low mm -hmm. but that's more realistic ryan you've talked about this for youtube is far more realistic uh, reflecting the real world than Twitter. Even now, with oh. Elon owning it, it's still kind Twitter, of a hot mess. Twitter's gotten like worse, worse. from a in the realistic last two weeks, perspective. In the last uh, two weeks, it's, it's gotten bad. bad. No, it's because of, and again, I'm not here to criticize it. Monetization has fucked Twitter. The culture Holy has been shit. completely fucked. Yeah. People are yeah. spamming posts now. Just Dude, it's bad. Hey, oh, what was the album you lost all your virginity all to? All Please post the fucking, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> well, I want to photo evidence. Well, well, I'm even about just like straight up lies and things yeah. that are just absolutely not true. And I mean, stuff like, I mean, I follow a lot of like, obviously, you know, pro Trump accounts. So, like, I see people tweeting out stuff about Trump that's getting massive. About, and I'm like, that's not true oh, dude. but it's got like yeah. thirty thousand likes on the entertainment side there's uh sites now that are just posting fucking news articles from five months ago and well, it's I, getting I, traction i, and, yeah. I, I can like, uh, i can guarantee you i'm gonna take that bra shot and i'm gonna put that on twitter yeah. and and open an only fan site that's what's going to be doing. Yeah. There's a lot of porn oh, accounts I mean, on Twitter I've been, now. I've been, I've been having a lot of fun on twitter lately for me it's been more enjoyable i i mean shit but, but, but what what <laughs> Gary's before the shit now? But, it but what Gary's specific shit. point is, when they did not that long ago, they kind of did an entire demographics breakdown of everybody that uses different social media. And something like seventy two percent of people on a fairly regular basis use YouTube. Like seventy percent of people in this country, and mm -hmm. it's pretty widespread in terms of across age groups, across voting numbers, across you know man, men and women. It's pretty balanced. Whereas Twitter was only used by like 10% of, maybe like 11% of people. And this was again, like a year plus ago. So maybe things have changed that Elon took over, but it skewed heavily female and I'm very young. Yeah, you know, I'm not surprised. So, and like, trans. You're just gonna get, yes, exactly. <laughs> I, somehow a 10% <laughs> trans population on Twitter. I don't yeah, know. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> almost like, it's... almost like a normal CW show. No, um, no. but uh, as, as <laughs> I'm gonna probably take the words right out of your mouth, but more normal people watch fucking YouTube. Uh, and yes. Twitter yeah. with monetization has gotten worse. The monetization ain't that great, to be honest with you. It, you know, we got that initial first payment, but that was over months. But, but since look, then, look, it's like, look at the variety of stuff on on YouTube. You can repair a car. You can watch yep. a car race. Mm -hmm. You can go watch old Carson shows. I mean, it is really an amazing uh, it, uh, uh, place to uh, be. And it's the, it's the second largest search engine in the world. In the world. People mm -hmm. people don't realize that. It's you can watch, I, can stream I can go on Twitter, though. I can go into Twitter and I can have <laughs> somebody call me a racist or I can have somebody call me a white supremacist. <laughs> That's or me. Or I can have somebody call me a bigot. Oh, I did or that too. Or I can have somebody call me a homophobe. There's just so many different As, ways. Are you, on yeah. you going to do this for the rest of the show? I'm just checking. I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of comfortable down it, here. You're weird. How are you <laughs> off right now? Are, are you it, sitting? It's lacking. Right, are, you, are you doing. sitting Indian style? Yeah, <laughs> I've got a, I've got one leg straight, Ryan, and I got the other leg cocked up between between <laughs> the. Right. Yeah, yeah, uh, I don't know how a leg can cock up. No, it's mm. like half an Indian. It looks too much like, like a, a penis. It's like a, it's a coma, but no <laughs> chapati. With headphones on. <laughs> with headphones on. <laughs> it, do people <laughs> still say Indian style? Just a bell in. <laughs> I just say cross-legged. <laughs> just call it red skin style. I, I call I call his headphones oh, no. a cock ring. Cross. I'm a half. I'm a half. Oh my god. Half, <laughs> half, 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 half. Remember, 
Garrett will remember. Remember we used to give each other Indian burns in school? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. yeah. Yeah. Yep. I, yeah. I, I, you probably was indigenous you probably, burns. You probably get arrested <laughs> for saying that now. You probably would. <laughs> He's gonna shoot us. Why? Why did you? I got, why? I, why right. did you? Say, I I would remember Ooh, that yeah. too. I'm not that old. I mean, yeah, it's been like 50 years since I've been in school. But I I assume I mean, Gary, when you like your Indian memories are like watching them on the trail of tears, like going by. <laughs> That's what I assume. So. Smoke signals. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> John Ford movie. The, the Cumberland. There they go. Yeah. I wonder where they're walking. <laughs> what lives was it? Real BBC where the echo is going to be uh, going to be translated in smoke signals. <laughs> that was on daily. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, so do we find? Oh, oh, they. You were you were in that one, Paul. Um, Thank you. Hey, five episodes. I guess we're only getting five episodes. So yeah. and they're dropping it all at once. That's that's great. Uh, Marvel's dropped a, a Europe. Uh, uh, oh no, an Asian trailer because they they really want China to help because China's really going to go for three women, uh, you know, fighting uh, a black woman. They're really going to be uh, really down with that. Uh, well, they're down for the fighting a black woman part. I think they might um, be. It's the rooting for the other people of color. They might have a problem the, with the black woman who has a grill. Has a fucking grill, dude. Oh no, seriously, really? She, she does. She's got wow. my Odin's hammer. She does. And my Odin's fade. She's, Does it fade? That's right. She's uh, she's she's Ronan the the Me Too accuser. Uh, she's got his hammer for some reason. I don't know. It looks so fucking terrible. I cannot wait for this movie. I'm so happy that the strike is over and it's not getting delayed. And uh, uh, it, it's uh. funny that the director brought up uh, middle aged white guys. Like it's in a different reference. But anybody related to Brie Larson or a project bringing up middle aged white guys is probably not a good idea. I'm surprised, Jer you know, Jeremy probably should have made a video, but you know, there time has passed. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, but he can, he can make one now. Hey, the I'll movie's just, gonna. I'd rather just make video game videos that get five thousand views. Fuck it. Um, the, <laughs> the movie's gonna be an hour and forty five minutes long, which means we can watch it at double speed for under an hour to review it, which is fantastic news. I'm so happy. It, about that, that is the <laughs> that's the shortest movie in Marvel Cinematic Universe history. History. Wow. Ryan. Her the confidence. Herstory. Herstory. Please do make not herstory. Breaking Please glass ceilings. Yeah, I heard the Marvels is what? A, a, a buck 45? It's a mm -hmm. buck 45. And, yeah, and, wow. and, and 10 minutes of that is easily credits. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, that's we're the talking... best news we've heard about this movie in a while. God damn. So ever ever since we that. heard the actors weren't going to promote it. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, well, they might be back to do that. They, they might be back. This, oh, yeah. We are out. two weeks away from Rachel, Rachel, Rachel Zegler hitting the red carpet for the fucking Hunger Games prequel. I cannot oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'll be really interested in seeing what she does because she was wretched in Shazam. I didn't know she was in Shazam yeah. too. And then I'm watching, I'm going, oh my God, she is truly awful. And she, she couldn't act. No, she I'd can't. I'd be act. surprised. I'd, I'd be surprised if she found, you know, if, found her capabilities in any other movie what is it that's so, so appealing about it? she looks like a child it's, and her eyes are that's really far apart hollywood <laughs> like so <laughs> she has not right been now. in very many things she's only been in two fucking movies right west now. side yep. story yeah west side story and uh, shazam too uh, both it's, it's financial it, flops. It, incidentally ryan her unibrow has been in four movies <laughs> <Hey -o! laughs> you know. and now it's got she's got hunger games and snow white on the way um well, now she well, she did get dropped from paddington bear uh, sorry no, about she's that. In it. I think she's weird. Still in it. Well, I think she's still apparently in it. a report came out that she was dropped from it. That's Scheduling what everyone was saying. She's fired from. She's fired from a movie. Everyone was trying to pretend it was Snow White. I think she was inside the Paddington Bear outfit. That's what she was <laughs> oh, doing. Okay. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Go. Playing Paddington Bear. Um, Paddington in Peru. It's Paddington. Yeah, three. Oh no! I saw the first one. They're I not can't... bad. No, they're bad. Yeah. They're not bad for kids. They're, they're pretty good. How, didn't the first one come out like ten years ago? Yeah, probably close yeah, to that. Yeah, because my kid was still young. No, it's it, well yeah. that, They're good kids movies. They're whimsical. 2014, I think. Yeah, the first one wasn't. As, yeah, the first one wasn't bad. That's fine. Isn't it a classic British property? Patent no gay yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah sort of, kind of. Yeah, he was. All they had it the all shots. over the UK. I, I, yeah. used to like, I used to like Paddington as a as a kiddo. Right. But, that yeah. that bear that has like a corduroy pullover. Yeah, it's the, it's the yeah. bear that's got a, ma got a, a marmalade the, addiction. Yeah. Get the head. Oh, but, so uh, Pooh's addicted to honey and Paddington got a, Bear likes marmalade. Yeah. marmalade. Yeah, and, and marmalade. Yeah, it's like it's, it's one of the stories that you read to your kids along with Curious George. 
Yeah. Oh, I love that. They're remaking Curious yeah. George. It, they're calling it by Curious George. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. The, the, and, 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 and they've got I'm Lizzo's writing that down banana. As. They got Lizzo's so banana sorry, in it. That, yeah. was, that was good. And this that time it's uh, the they them with a yellow hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be you, they're remaking. Apparently, they're going to remake They Live, which will probably be They Them Live. Oh, don't. No. Fuck that. No, you cannot make They Live. It does it'll, not it'll be they they in themselves. Gary, no. they could destroy everyone. No, in your good no, memories. no. It's going to be they them live. Yes. Yeah. Gary's memory is going to disappear before they have time to destroy all of them. This is true. Is I, I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no. That's no moon. It's a baldy. Uh, uh, that I'm was actually one of my testicles the whole time. I'm just uh, oh, <laughs> impressive. Oh, well, I figured it was just the tip. Hey, hey. hey. well uh, done, comic division. I'm well done, little guy. Uh, the uh, no, thank you. The memers have put a nipple on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You're feeding them a lot of ideas, and with AI art, you have to be very careful. Uh, I might, I might be able do. to do something with that. Uh, do what? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I don't really. I don't want to know. know. So, um, yeah. Anybody excited for the Soka finale that leads right into Loki <laughs> oh, I... season two, baby? No, not really. No. <laughs> no, but the trailer for Loki didn't look half bad. It looked like it was a buddy movie between um, uh, what's Owen his name, Wilson. blonde guy. Until Wilson you find and out, it, it does look like that. That's what the trailer for the first one looked like too. Until yeah. we found out that the story Female ran Loki. through Sylvie, and apparently Sylvie, there's going to be two versions of Sylvie. The older version is going to be Jesus. played by the actress who played Lysa Aaron in Game in the early seasons of Game of Thrones, and she's going to be the big bad, and it's going to be Sylvie trying to stop herself. Again, like <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay, so speaking of Lysa Aaron, though, why why do you need men at all? What about you what don't. about that titty? What about that titty? What? Oh, hey, Robin Air is sucking that thing down to like nine years oh, old. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Make him fly. Make him fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I'm most interested to see what the viewership's going to be for Loki because the. First Loki, first debut of Loki, 2.5 million households, far and away the highest that we've seen for the Disney Plus series, um, oh, especially compared the to the other Marvel series, wasn't it? It was one of the it was, I think, WandaVision and then Loki, I think. Oh, I and it was before WandaVision. Breaking oh, news. Was Sorry, no, breaking WandaVision news. Was first. Well, real quick, I can tell you uh, what um, somebody thought of. Uh... Of of Loki, they they've seen it. a person. Ah, uh, I'm confused and I'm bored. Jonathan Majors wow. isn't going away. That's all I can say. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> oh, I think he's going to be in it a lot, but I think they've hit him from the marketing. He was in the trailer. It, uh, he yeah. was in it for like a f yeah. half a second. They right. hit him or hit him from the marketing, like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, remember, he, it's he, a taste I, of his own medicine. I can't believe nobody's made memes of like Jonathan Majors, and I mentioned this to you, Coda Black Bear, like breaking up every argument in history, every yes, major history. Yes, that's what I was gonna him, say. Like, like, yeah. They should have put him. They should have put his face on Baby Yoda from fucking Mando season three. No, no, <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. Yes, yes. There needs to be skits, uh, lots of skits of Jonathan Majors breaking no. up like historical oh. fights. All the Michael Jackson, <laughs> the modern, like yeah, the Battle of so Waterloo. Good. So apparently, uh, like, no. uh, guys, Ahsoka, Anakin and Vader. Ahsoka <laughs> is, let me see if I can get you this picture, Garrett. Ahsoka okay. screening in Los Angeles uh, uh, in the movie theaters, I guess, October 3rd, Tuesday, October 3rd at 7 p.m. So they're doing the, uh, the screening. Another one? They're doing another screening in theaters. Wow. I, is it uh, going to be the finale? It's good. They're going to do seven. They're going to do the last week's episode and uh, this week's up. Uh, next oh, God. Oh, why, Don't show why? up till 30 minutes in then. Yeah, right. Why do they hate people? Um, I mean, it is free. And I don't know, yeah. like, where it, this is. This one's in uh, the Los Angeles area, we'll just say. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, like, going anywhere else. Uh, Screen Rant says Rosaria Dawson moves with a confidence that can only exist if you know where you're born. You were born to play a role, and and oh the swagger God. of a young black the teenager. Of a young black <laughs> <laughs> she's she moves. She just moves terribly. Rant. She's oh she's it's, 
She's like a it's sloth. The, it's the clips awful. I saw of her and Hayden Christensen, he made her look so yeah. bad in those yeah. fight dude. scenes. Her, her, her dream, training like, sequence dude, he was still got really it. constipated. Dude. I mean, that that is not someone who's been training for dude, years. Kids, that is someone who is new. The, kid, well, the kids in fucking One Piece fight better than anybody in Ahsoka. Yeah. Take a shot every time Gary mentions One Piece, by the way. Yeah, yeah, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm already so drunk. I'm already drunk. Already <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gary, you're absolutely right. Like, like kids actually in One Piece, they they got moves, right? Rosaria Dawson, it, like especially in the Anakin fight, you saw all her limitations. It's terrible. And, and Hayden Christensen, he actually still had the moves. He, he even did the classic Anakin spin. Did the Anakin thing. spin? That was good. Yep. But so Shad, Shad, Shad you're an expert in in this. Even that opening some say, scene. Some say you are. I think you're an expert. Uh, some say uh, I am. Some, some not an the, expert. Uh, Get that mic closer, Shad. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, even the say. opening sequence where she was training with Anakin's, uh, you know, tape, videotape on the VHS, uh, she it was just <laughs> horrible. Uh, my yeah. daughter, who does kickboxing, is like I've seen her do shadow boxing on her own. She has a snap when she does things you can see mm -hmm. the sinews working she was mm -hmm. doing some weird ballet thing i mean i i'm sorry for her because she it, she couldn't even do the like yeah. the shadow boxing training uh, was were you as uncomfortable about it as i was so hang on is is this in the most recent episode yeah, yeah. So, so in, in the most oh, recent episode uh, they it starts off well with after her, the title screen it starts off with her listening to anakin she's going through an actual yeah she she's doing training. some lightsaber training which is intended there's seven different forms of lightsaber combat yeah, right. and there's forms. different and there's different things that you should be doing at uh, different uh techniques that you should be practicing that kind of flow within whatever form you're trying to become proficient in. She was doing one of those and it very much felt like slow and deliberate and supposed to be some sort of samurai-esque moment. You know what I mean? But, it, but it, 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 I, I have, it was Tai Chi. She yeah, was in, but, in but I have yeah. seen 80-year-old Chinese women in, in the <laughs> park do it better than her. <laughs> yeah, I, like, yeah. yeah my, my observations oh, is that her emotions were very constipated. Dude. It, it yeah. looked awful. Uh, Matt, Matt, out of all Matt, the fight scenes I have seen, um, barring this most recent episode, she is not a very physical person. She uh, does not have the speed, the strength to right. really sell the movements, not even close. And then when you put her up against someone who actually has some ability, like Hayden Christensen, in that, you know, um, world between worlds fight scene, wow, did she really right. cut, look like. Right. Yeah. And yeah. he yeah. needed to because slow it's... down so much for her to win at the end. Yeah, uh, and... Ahsoka is a, is an explosive fighter. Mm -hmm. That's been her thing. Yeah. She is speedy. She's explosive. Rosario Dawson. No disrespect to Rosario. I like her, but this this version of Ahsoka a doesn't personality wise match up with Ahsoka. I know mm -hmm. she's older, but it still doesn't personality wise match up with her at all, and it doesn't physically match up. This is yeah. a completely different being altogether. This isn't Ahsoka. I'm and, sorry, Rosario. And also, I just think that for there's a weird power level dynamic because it, it seems like she can't beat Balin. Now, no. whether she couldn't actually beat him or would have taken too much time or whatever, who who fucking knows? They have Hu Yang come in and chaff the place so <laughs> that she can run away. But this is a character who, when she was a teenager, defeated Darth Maul. <laughs> Yeah. Uh the Siege of Mandalore. <laughs> uh wow. This is a character who then several years later faced off against Anakin as Darth Vader and held her own. You know what I mean? Until she, she would have died. Yeah. She was losing, but she held her own. And, and she, she, was she would have died. Captured at the end. by pirates all the time. It was like a porno look. She, <laughs> <laughs> she had to get yanked out by Ezra. She had to get yanked out by Ezra the World Between Worlds or what or else she would have lost. She would have Yeah. I don't feel like for a character that has those feats under her and who's been, you know, practicing the force for all these years, I don't feel like Balin should be as big of a challenger as he is. No, it doesn't no. really make any sense to me with what we've seen her do already. But I, I don't and know. Both, Maybe both Anakin attention. and Balin have used the same move. I don't know if you're aware of this. <laughs> they, the, yes, yeah. they have gone in and I noticed. pushed yeah. both of them. So I think I think there's some connection with Balin and Anakin, but uh Oh, well they're well, both for, they're both about the same age. 
they're both form five practitioners uh, right. in terms of gem. So when you're looking at the power that they're utilizing in some of their uh, in some of their and, lightsaber and Balin's combat, Balin's really absolutely. Luke's father, according to the internet. So. According to <laughs> I saw that. That was just something. That, that was so. Um, I, know, I feel like retarded. that was an engagement farm tweet. It was. It was. And, and maybe, somebody made a lot of money off. No, of no. But Disney Star Wars, maybe <laughs> Anakin and Balin adopted Luke. Uh, so, you know, it is Disney Star Wars. My gay dad. Maybe they're both his fathers. <laughs> yeah. 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 So there's Be multiple surprised. things wrong with Ahsoka. Number one is if you're going to get into a lightsaber fight, then and and at th that second one with Balin, the, her second Balin fight, she should have been desperate. She should have yeah. been just flailing because you know mm. she just wants to hammer that guy because she lost the first one. But there was none of that. It was way too zenny. Explosive, too... explosive, explosive, Correct. explosive. Yeah, there's yeah. no she's emotion. Mad. It, should been, it should have been twins going in together, up in the air, twins coming down on it. Baby should have been on the back foot. Yeah, he should have been one trying to prevent yeah. her it, from it, leaving. Exactly. But he was dominating the fight again. It was. It should have been the other way round. I'm trying to prevent you from leaving. And she's going all fucking in on this. Right. Now, if Balin at the last moment had then blocked and then pushed back again like he did and knocked her back and then said, you can't beat me, then we could have got the sneaky yeah. the sneaky bit that came in. Okay, you know, maybe I can't, but boosh, now I've got away. And that's uh, exactly yeah. what she I, wanted I, to I do. I completely agree with you. The dynamic of the fight was all off. It was completely off. Thank God they don't the seem to tell stories during no, fights. Ex exactly. well, it's like, just it's just action scene to have an action scene. It's not telling a story with the right. movements and with the characters and with the setting and the blocking. It's just action scene. Thank well, God what, the writers came back. Yeah, thank God. Well, when it comes to storytelling, what you're doing is you're driving towards that end, right? Because right. that's your end goal. But the issue with a lot of these D plus shows, it's and then this happens, and then this happens, and then yeah. this happens. Oh, by With the way, every Star Wars, Wars I, I want to tell the audience that it, yes, have a big fucking bottle of liquor because I'm going to bring one, then, one piece, one piece then, all the fucking time. So just be ready time. for that shit. Uh, it, because Shad, have you ever? Uh, sorry, Shad, have you ever looked into lightsaber forums? Have you ever done That's a actually, video about there's, that? There's a video that we want to do about life. Okay, you Wars should. You should. The yep. descriptions that they often give do not match the movements they try to describe. And when it comes to sword fighting, a style is uh, not what people usually try and convey. That, like in a lot of the reading that I've seen about the lightsaber forms, they're just showing different stances, and stances don't necessarily convey style. Style is uh, uh, picking a set of movements and focusing on maybe aggression or, or defense or something like that, that you actually usually adopt all the same ending, you know, uh, stances and stuff, because when it comes to stances in sword fighting, there's a universal group of ones that people usually all default to even when you fight in different styles and stuff that's why we see multiple similarities and stances between historical forms like Maya and then uh, Fiore which is the the Italian uh, um, sword, sword fighting treatises and stuff very similar ones but there's even some um, uh, masters who actually were basically saying you don't even need to focus focus on these core ones and it covers all your bases um, and so that that's a whole video that yeah I actually do want to do and explore Star Wars's description of style versus actual sword fighting. So so it depends uh, where uh, you're looking at it too because there's a lot of different mm. there's a lot of different ways and areas that it's addressed in some of the content. Uh, where would you but, suggest I look for in terms of what the most authoritative uh, description of the Star Wars <laughs> good luck. forms? So I, Star Wars Encyclopedia a, released in 2005. Right. <laughs> like, well, no, Go so I there. would say there, if I'm from the top of my head, I believe the uh, the Jedi handbook that they have out there is decent yeah. for it. It does an overall overview um, and it might be illustrated by, oh, form one and it has somebody in a stance, but that's not really what it's about. It, it's more like, hey, this is a series mm -hmm. of it's kind of to represent the forms, the stances to represent the forms. But when they go into more detail, Form one is like a catch-all, right? Almost for beginners, for more novices, that it's it doesn't have any major strengths or weaknesses. Then you get into other things like form three is a special like defense, almost an impenetrable defense. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi was a master of Sarisu. One of the reasons he was a perfect match to go up against Grievous, who's pure aggression. Uh, you have form four, which is a Taru, which focuses more on um, aggression, but also Having incorporating... A nice 
it, incorporating acrobatics and things like that into its practition. Uh, then you have, but you have different disciplines of each of the forms as well. So like form five, very aggressive stance, very powerful stance, but there's one form called gem. So, which is typically what you see uh, someone like Anakin using a lot of, um, but you also have one that's more for deflecting blaster bolts. If you were to find yourself in that sort of situation, ones that are good against multiple opponents. It's cool. I'm, I like it, but, but yeah, I, right? I, do any of them have the spinny move? And I could, <laughs> I would imagine uh, every uh, one of them. They drive me uh, fucking nuts. If you're, if fights, if fights well, are, spinny, it's like wrestling. Spinny. Fight should tell a story. Yes. That's what a mm. fight should do. Whether you like the end fight in, in uh, Revenge of the Sith or not is is kind of irrelevant. It was telling a story. It told a story. Uh, hang on, hang on. Revenge of the Fist. Uh, sorry. Sith Revenge of the Fist. Fifth, 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 it's, no, it's great. No, it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the best sword fighting duels in cinema. Probably. Well, it's, it's, you know, well yeah, it's, it's not it's, just it's, the it's, fighting. It's, it's yeah, the yeah, setting but, uh, and everything. We, we're, getting, we're getting, you know, there's yeah. a bunch of people that do like it. There's a bunch of people that think it should have just been explosive. And they actually gave us the explosive fight because they did that with Kenobi and, and Maul at the end of Rebel. So they kind of they kind of did do both both the fights there. But the the a fight should tell a, a story. A fight shouldn't just be there hitting fucking glow sticks together. And a story was set up in the fucking show, which was Balin telling Ahsoka when he first fought her. He said, "Your legacy is like your master's is one of violence." And he was the major aggressor in that fight. And so the second fight, round two, is when Ahsoka should have embraced that. And she should she she should have been, you said my, you know, she should have had twin swords out. You said my history is one of violence. You know, prepare for violence. And then that's when she would have she should have unleashed. So Balin would have had to have used his his strength that he has with his form as a complete defensive maneuver. Block, 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 back away, push, move her away. Coming back in again, block, block, it, all, all ton of delay. That was the story for that fight. They set it Correct. up, they blew it. That's yep. exactly what needed to happen. That is the story. That's what I expected of that fight. This, the second round, she goes nuts on him. It's she's got now, her period. Him not beat her not beating him in that fight would have been absolutely fine. No, no, that's fine. That would have been good. I think I think it still should have ended the way that it ended with Balin knocking her back again with strength and saying, You can't beat me. That was that would be fine. Then you have the thing, like I said, like the thing coming yeah. box away. But she should have been, it should have been aggressive, and we should have seen an aggressive Ahsoka. That's what we should have seen a much more a more animated, both physically and probably vi verbally as well. You know, letting out some, some not some, you know, screeches, but letting out some, ah, you know, really war cries. Of, you know, leaning, yeah. yeah, war cries, leaning into it. You know, when her movements, her, her mouth, her, her, her war cry should have matched her movements with the fighting, and, and Balin should have she, she seen that strength, she seen that be, violence. Yeah, she, she needed to prepare to, to exhaust all her energy in this yes. one. Mm -hmm. yes. like completely done. And but she, it was, wasn't. she was like, oh, I know, I know time is all against my side. Yeah, but luckily, hey, let's, let's just chill. Yeah. Luckily, she had a Hu Yang who is just drifting lazily around the sky with three fighters. <laughs> yeah, like, I can't hit him on his tail the entire time that could I never hit him. Never hit Ryan, him. <laughs> Ryan, he said, I hope I survive. Like, I, I, you can excuse away Ahsoka dodging. It's stupid, right? Because she's basically in, in, like, she's not vulnerable at all inside that shuttle unless they happen to need her to go outside to do a stupid EV scene really quick. And then it's like, she powered for like 60 seconds, but you can at least make the excuse. Well, she's force sensitive. She can predict and dodge the blaster bolts, all this shit. When you switch to a droid pilot, who's being followed by three fighters in atmosphere for like 15 minutes, how the fuck are they not shooting him down? It's, it's completely inexcusable. It doesn't make any sense. There's and a then lot Thrawn, here, at the end, me. at the end, instead of just taking those three fighters and be like, hey, we fucking lost this round. You three fighters just strafe the fuck out of these crab cocksuckers and, all, and kill all the Jedi. Yeah. Would have taken care of them. Bomb them. Those fighters don't do yeah. any damage. We've already seen, though, those fighters do no damage. They hit, they hit it, the yeah. shit multiple times, 
Nothing, not even a fucking scratch. You could have taken a couple of those mines that they somehow, you know, put <laughs> 10,000 mines in the atmosphere between <laughs> when they realized no the sun was coming the broker came, right? They could have just dropped a couple of those fucking mines on the turtle people. Like, oh, they'd be done. No whales were harmed during the mining of so the so dude. They were, in no the, they were in the minefield and we saw the mines exploding and then they had to tell Nothing. us it's a minefield. Yep, yeah, like right after that, the audience is retarded. Yes, I, I, I completely understand that. I, I, think, I, retarded. I think one of the things that I don't know if you guys have talked about this yet or not is what we're witnessing is uh, a rule that Disney applied to all their franchises once they bought them, and that's a reduction in <laughs> violence. Uh, yes. uh, up until up until Disney bought Star Wars, you'd have hands lopped off. There was a real sense mm -hmm. that those lightsabers mm -hmm. were dangerous fuckers. I mean, and and that you need that you need that to increase the the level of danger and mm -hmm. and uh, tension and yep. tension yep. in mm -hmm. the scene. And that has been gone. The rule is that you can shove a lightsaber through Sabine. And it's just like she's been toasted a little bit. She's a little brown on the one she got side. A little boo -boo. I'm pretty sure the rule is if it has a penis, it dies from the lightsaber. But but they're more NPCs. A lot of NPCs die. And there's the odd X-Wing pilot uh, dies. But Stormtroopers just, are NPCs. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. And and uh, yeah, they're they're dispensable. You feel it. You feel it across all their properties, the Marvel properties. There's there's no sense of danger because Disney no. has rule 58. Uh, nobody dies, especially I'm, women. You yeah. really saw this in or Book of hurt. Boba Fett where they seem to just be against people using guns logically. Right. People would even, like, wasn't there the, those the assassin people that instead of using guns, they had these stupid weird like sword things and stuff. And so it's, like, it's like they went out of their way because I don't know if we're if they're having, the, and they're not the actual gun, they're laser blaster things. Yeah. But they're, oh, too many people using guns. So, and it just made this show so and Guns are bad. Okay. And yeah, I mean, a lot of the action is just awful because... There's been multiple times where Sabine got hit in the back of the head with the flat of the blade. She should be dead. Yes. Multiple times over. It's the purple I, I, hair that deflected it. Yes. The best guard, too, like with the introduction of Mandalorians in the Mandalorian show and then in this, the best guard is just getting annoying at this point. Yeah, yes. I agree. Yeah. And 100%. That's one thing that I think works when, when you're writing a story or when you're, when you have it on paper. Um, and okay, we've got this very rare fucking armor that not everybody gets, and it's impervious right. to this, right? You, yeah. you get it gets written, and it's not that big of a deal. When you start to see it in live action and see how mm -hmm. uh, well, how the, the issue with silly it are, looks all the time, Best and, could never take a direct hit. It was always a glancing blow. It wasn't lightsaber proof. Well, well it, 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 it is now because she blocks it. Yes. She <laughs> if you just and sit it there not, forever, it's not Beskar You're, armor. It's Beskar plot armor. Right, and it would deflect blaster bolts and stuff like that, unless you're talking about a high-powered fucking e-web cannon or, mm -hmm. or or a high power powered rifle or something like that. But and it would, you're right, it would deflect essentially lightsabers. It wasn't meant to hold against a lightsaber like that. Right. But I think when you see it so often, you just see Sabine getting fucking lit up, and them not shooting her where the Beskar is not, only hitting her where the Beskar is. It's just so yeah, yeah infuriating it's, it's and cheap. not believable. It, it, well, yeah, it's, me, it's very cheap. annoying. It'd be very Shoot easy to actually head. explain that away because <laughs> you see the Mandalorian armor has actual kind of components and technology behind it. If they had, you know, a bullcrap device, which literally attracts blaster bolts to it, I could accept that. It's futuristic technology, but but there's no simple explanation like that. And it's just ultra convenient that every time someone who wears the armor is getting shot, it just magically always hits the armor now and it does, it's coming off comic. I'd stupid. just like to point out that we, over the last hour... Have put more thought into Ahsoka yeah. and Disney Star Wars the writers. than Disney has in the last ten years. Yeah, yeah. right. It, it takes a lot to try to explain away some of this shit, man. It's it like really it, does, it, dude. This series more than any of the other ones, I really do think has been choose, choose your own adventure, but more like choose your own oh, yeah. ambition or personality <laughs> ambition. or or motivation. like reason motivation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's Sorry. been very, very ambiguous with everything, and I think some of it's intentional i i 100 percent believe that we were not meant to have a definitive was she in the world between worlds was it just in her head 
I, I think that was ambiguous on purpose because they don't mm-hmm. want to make a declaration because they know the ramifications that could have and are fine with people arguing about it or discussing it. Not so with the 99% of other things that have been in except, the except the sun could hear the lightsabers. Hey, do you remember? Yeah, but when, does that um, mean that's going on in Ahsoka's head or not? Well, well do you remember she's experienced vision or something? Do you remember when Boba Fett uh in Empire Strikes Back constantly had his helmet off because he wanted his face shown on camera? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Sabine's helmet is in Hu Yang's lap. He's probably gonna give it to her now. Uh I bet he is. Wow, it took it took that Hu many Yang's episodes. A gayer took, with C3PO. Is, it, is that gonna be the big payoff at the end? She's gonna put her helmet on. <laughs> Probably <laughs> the final yeah, episode. No, it's it is gonna be. It's like Ahsoka. I thought you were gone. I've been trying so hard to use a force, but I just can't do it. She's like Sabine. It's okay. I don't need you to be a Jedi. I just need you to be you. And puts her helmet back on. Oh my god! And, and she says, "Right." And she looks at Ezra, and Ezra says a big, big goofy grin on his face. He's like, "This is the way." Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I'm you got any wondering. space weed, bro? Yeah. <laughs> That's or, the way they or, end it. Or you get you the Ezra as he Ezra as he holds on to Sabine lovingly and goes, "Can you put the helmet on first? No, no. <laughs> he'll he'll hold on to Sabine. He'll hold on to Sabine, and he'll say, "God, I'm so glad we're friends." <laughs> 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 no, no, he just says we're platonic friends. There is no heteronormative relationship between no. us at all. But, yep. but if there was, he would ask permission. I, I guess Can I don't I need this that? anymore. Just throws it. That's it. That's it. I don't need this anymore. Gone. God, I'm Ezra sure, don't, I'm Ezra sure don't need Jeremy's it. really sorry he missed all of this show and hasn't. Yeah, I'm sure he all. is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's almost over. And then we get another one right after that from Disney. Like, one more. And we'll go I'm through the same not. pattern. I'm not. We'll go through I'm the certainly. same pattern again. Loki really brings Marvel back. It's amazing. <laughs> after about four episodes, that'll just God, quiet this show down sucks. God, God, this that's show why I, sucks. That's why I want, I really want to see those ratings, the Samba TV ratings specifically for Loki, because 2.5 million households, that first one. What happens if this one comes in and it's, like 1.6 like i think that's a realistic number that we could see yep so you're just talking about a massive drop in interest that still would embarrass ahsoka coming out on the same week and so. again this is a hugely expensive series uh anywhere between 150 200 million dollar price tag uh and it's just going to be a fart in the wind even even if it's released weekly because you know, as Jeremy and I can both agree on if it's good people will watch it there's just so mm-hmm. little good out there that's right it. now that's it well i mean like i think uh i am very interested in why and how this is all like disney star wars is in a really bad place from a perspective of they have three movies that they're going to be supposedly releasing uh <laughs> and please uh, i'm please telling burn you right the money. Now, like this whole filoni movie right now looks like it might be the worst performing one of the three potentially like holy shit i Not mean well. It, it and that says a lot considering one of them's a Ray movie. <laughs> um, and I, I'm really interested to see how they maneuver that situation because I, they have to recognize that they can't cover up the failure at the box office. You know what I mean? Like nope. if, if a Star Wars movie comes out at the box office and it does, I don't know, four or five hundred million worldwide. I'm not sure if that's realistic to believe it could be that low, but that is catastrophic at that point. And yeah, honestly, I think it's I, to a point, but they you're, you're right. You really can't fudge those numbers as much as you can with streaming. Well, now, now that yeah. we, with the strike is over and the writers, uh, if you're contracted with the streamer, uh, they will be able to see the numbers. Uh, according. Good. Now, <laughs> what numbers are they going to see? Is the corporation going to make it as confusing as possible? Like they do now? Probably because, each, each streamer, you know, kind of looks at things differently, but they have access to how many people actually watch their shit. They they oh, know, yeah, they know it down to the they know very, it instantly. But like instantly, like we we can like look. There's certain things that are completely out of my like. There was some show on Netflix that was like some massive hit. Uh, it was, I think it was a chick flick show a few years ago. Uh, One piece. No, fuck you. Um, but uh, I, it was something I don't know. It was a big time show. It was a, a kind of a 
feel like it was a period piece show, but it was a women. Tiger like King. Um, no, no that, that's for grown ass men. <laughs> I bet you're talking about Bridgerton. Is yes, Bridgerton? yes, that one. Okay, I, that show Sad's I never. Sounds like I like, watched every second of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, that show was apparently something that that got a ton of viewership, yep. and it completely was. Mm -hmm. I was oblivious to it. I was oblivious. My wife loved it. But in I our world, in our world, we can tell just by social media reactions and, and other discussions, YouTube videos, YouTube algorithms, whatever, we can tell if something is getting traction. So for instance, um, Captain Marvel, I know it made a billion dollars, okay? Nobody was talking about it, nobody. And that's why it's taken this long to get a sequel. Um, but like Mandalorian got massive traction, no doubt about it, especially the first season, and even into the second season, massive traction. Uh, and or it didn't get any traction whatsoever. You can feel these things. I don't, I feel like Ahsoka is definitely like someone that's not watching it, that's not plugged into it, doesn't care about it. I could still see that more people were talking about something like Mandalorian season two by a mile, mm -hmm. and more oh, people yeah. talking about Obi Wan well, Kenobi by a mile than they are talking about Ahsoka. The discussion is not there. No. Uh, it, Mando season two, the ending, like Luke Skywalker, 100%. I agree. Yeah. And I think there was there more was people so talking. so much buzz about that. Yeah. I, I think the Luke return had more normal people talking about it than the Anakin return. Maybe because Anakin returned a year ago, too. Um, mm -hmm. But <laughs> I, I, I do think it can be a little misleading because I've seen way more discussion and breakdowns and people arguing about. I've seen way more for Ahsoka than I did for Mando season three which came three, out not yes, that long three. ago. Yes. But Mando season three had significantly more people watching than this. Yep. Yep. So mm -hmm. it, it just, but, but it, it, where it are you seeing the discussion? Twitter? X? And yeah, YouTube. Fuck it's called. And YouTube. And YouTube. And YouTube. 100%. I, I see way more people like, doing listen. reaction shows and reactions, period. Like, mm. like, I see way more people doing that than I did for Mando season three, undeniably. Yeah. I yeah. might not be subscribed to those channels, so I'm not. Yeah, I, yeah, there, there are. I, I might not yeah. be either, but I see them. Yeah, yeah. It, it's mm -hmm. out there. I, there I, are I, I see there. somebody making compilations of those. Of, of those the reactions. reactions yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's great. He vadered. Uh, <laughs> did, did you guys notice the fact that I didn't DH Hayden Christensen in this episode? Uh, well, I, he was a hologram, so it's like. I know, but you could actually see the wrinkles on his forehead. Yeah, comics, they didn't de-age him in Obi-Wan either. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Even in the flashback. Was yeah, he, he was, was playing a 17-year-old. He was a 40-year-old, 17-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, fellow Jedi. Hello, fellow Padawan. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Hello, fellow That's younglings. Gosh. Oh, God. Uh, the over poor, his shoulder. poor Hayden. Yeah. I can even say poor Hayden gets. Tr I mean, like he's not going to say no to this. It's not like he's doing anything no. else. Uh, I, I I think he in, I think he enjoys it. I think he I'm likes sure he it. Does. A lot of the behind the scenes stuff I've seen, he feels. I think he feels really appreciative of just the opportunity to go, come back and like play mm -hmm. his character again for the fans that do really like him. He's, he's made his training. money. He's made his money. He's got his farm. He's really chill. He I don't think care. Hayden's like, I don't think Hayden's like obsessed with yeah. being a movie star. No, no absolutely no. not. I think no. he got That's a taste of, of like all the hate and was like, okay, you know, maybe, good, maybe not. Good Canadian boy. <laughs> yeah. Now, one of the things that you got, this is going to be a boring stat, uh, but a lot of the money that of the streamers comes from aggregating the data and selling it to advertisers. Uh -huh. Yep. So mm. they sell their data. That's that's actually a revenue stream for the for the streamers. Yes, and mm. the biggest the biggest move of them all, and Ryan's already done videos on it. We've already talked about it. Was Amazon forcing ads on yeah. Prime members and and not even offering a different tier? Now they're offering yeah. if you pay three more. Is it three more bucks? Is it a month? I think three yeah. more bucks a month you can get so, you can upgrade to the premium status, but they're not doing that thing like Netflix and Disney Plus has done. Hey guys, here's a lower priced ad based mm -hmm. tier because nobody signs up for them. So Amazon said, "Fuck you, we're forcing ads on everyone. Uh, wow. if, if you wake up tomorrow, you're gonna have ads on your thing. But if you don't want those ads, just come and upgrade premium about five bucks more. Is a month. There, are they doing that now? They are doing it now. There's, so what, I don't know if they're when they're well, rolling it's, it out. It's probably yeah. rolling out soon. October so what does that, what does that tell you? 
does that tell you that Amazon Prime is this extremely successful service that's actually generating money for them and income to this no, trillion dollar they're losing to money. this trillion dollar corporation? No, it tells them they're fucking losing their ass on this thing. And uh, this was one of Hollywood's biggest worries. It was brought up by everybody in the strike, by both sides on the strike, by traditional older produce, you know, uh, dis- older studios, the WGA, the SAG, and uh, and me a lot. That this is a side hustle. This is a side gig for Amazon mm-hmm. and Apple. They don't give a fuck. They nope. can shut it down tomorrow. Look what they did to Comicsology. They completely fucked. Oh yeah, they, they Comicsology. Fucked it. Uh, cause they rolled it into Kindle cause they don't give a shit cause it didn't make that much money about them. Uh, you know, uh, it, look what they've, they cancel shows. You know, if, if Amazon had just this, they do have endless money. They could kept, they could have kept the expanse going for three, four, five more seasons. They could have kept tick going, tick going. The tick was, uh, well-received critically. Uh, and it's yeah. actually a really fucking good show. It's a funny mm-hmm. show. Yeah, it is. It's a great it is. show. Tick is one of those few properties where every iteration of it is good. Yeah, yes. The it's cartoon, long. the first series, the second series. Mm-hmm. And the comic. The all comic. of them are good. Mm-hmm. They're all good. So ben Edlin is fucking genius. That guy's a genius. Yeah. He also wrote Smile Time for Angel, one of the greatest episodes ever. Uh, ben and uh, Hulu man. also. And season five prices. of Super, Supernatural. Sorry. What was that? I uh, saying also Hulu is jacking the prices again. But Hulu, Disney Plus, and yep. they're, they're all up in their prices. They are yep. doing a bundle that's supposed to be better. Yep. However, it, it's important to note that all those price hikes are coming in October, and it's all through September. Disney Plus ran a $1.99 per month deal mm-hmm. in a desperate attempt while promoting to get all these things on Disney Plus in a desperate attempt before their fiscal year was over to add basically fake subscribers right to their list so when they come for their fi- end of the year fiscal shit oh, they can be like well see, yeah. we only lost 15 yeah. million subs instead of 18 million guys that's what i think they're doing and before. and uh november disney plus is getting doctor who uh which isn't going to boost anybody because nobody did you think of the trailer cares. i thought the trailer was the... fine it, it, i thought it was pretty good i thought it, looks, it was it, 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 expensive it looks really expensive it was expensive um somebody sent me uh russell t davies did a a commentary letter on watching the first episode of the 60th anniversary special. Yeah. And the thing that stood out was him saying he's not going to erase Jodie Whittaker, which people weren't saying necessarily erase Jodie Whittaker. They were saying erase the timeless children. Didn't yes, expect right. anybody to, re- that's not realistic. You're not going to erase Jodie Whittaker, but if no. you erase the timeless children, that at least gives us a starting point. But he, he decided to make fun of that within the first three paragraphs. Well, if uh, since since tenant tenant is in it, the timeless children are all trans now. They must be. So as it stands out, like it's great to have ten. Like it was awesome seeing Catherine Tate and David Tennant back. Like yeah, together, they looked good. All kidding aside, they looked really, really. They looked like and they it, went and they got everybody back. Murray Gold is back. Every, every producer, every director, uh, and the showrunner. This is completely separated from the BBC. Has nothing to do with this show. It's completely controlled by Bad Wolf which is owned by Sony, which is now being distributed through Disney Plus, uh, which has say over this, which is just... Like and then, the, then what happens when they hand over the show to the new dude? Well, that's the good question, because Russell T. Davies is doing the first season, but I think it really... He made it sound like he's there to kind of relaunch things, and then he's going to F off again. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But the new dude will be under Russell T. Davies... Okay. That's that's a big question mark, man. Shooty Gawa. That's a. Mm. I think a lot of people are going to dip in for the for the special, sure. and then dip out and just go. Okay, that's it. I'm good. Kind of like with Picard season three. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so how are they bringing? Okay, how are they bringing David Tennant back, and how are they going to hand it off to the new guy? Okay, so David Tennant is a different doctor. The fourteenth doctor is a different doctor from the te- from the, uh, the tenth doctor. He's just reusing face. They established that you can reuse a face uh, during Capaldi uh, during Capaldi's run. Okay. So, oh, so. I just totally forgot about that part. So he's the however, same. <laughs> however, he's got exactly <laughs> like as right. well as the <laughs> and mannerisms <laughs> and everything else, but he's so it's different. David yeah. Tennant is probably gives the best performance in Ahsoka. As a fucking droid, he does. Yes. Uh, he does. Yeah. As uh, how do you pronounce Huang again? Thank you, Huyang. 
Our cat. He's called David Tennant's <laughs> robot. Got a huge Hu Wang. <laughs> Hu Yang and Chopper. Like, well, I, he's, huge I, Wang. Bro, Chopper, everything Ooh. Chopper says is a fucking racial or homophobic slur. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I, like, you I agree. Just, <laughs> you can just tell by the way he speaks. <laughs> that, that is the character yeah. that has translated best from animation to live action has been Chopper. Yeah, I agree. Especially isn't when he, that guy he called a him a mere, when, when he's called a mere droid. Yeah. Chopper got all mad. He's like, what? <laughs> is that what you know, about to say? <laughs> I won't say it. You can be like, <laughs> oh, well. I can't say it because it's Chopper. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dave Filoni's voicing it too, and you know what? That's, I, I, that's the yeah. part I hate about it. Well, yes. that, yeah, that's the most masculine he sounds because they, they have to put it through a voice modulator for him to go. Oh wow! I'm pretty yeah. sure when yeah, he Dave does that, when he goes, arr, 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 I'm pretty sure he's got a ball gag in his mouth and he's getting fucked in the ass. <laughs> and he all of his well, voiceovers. I, I agree with you, Ryan. The only thing I would add is I think his Ahsoka blow up doll uh, has a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Ahsoka these nuts. <laughs> and he's wearing a fur suit. Yeah. As a wolf. Wow. Yeah. Obsession with fucking wolves is so weird. Creepy. It is weird. It is very I'm glad very that weird. I feel like I inserted that into this into this fandom, into this group of people. <laughs> but like I feel like nobody had heard anyone say Dave Filoni probably fucks animals before I came along in this side of the YouTube. Uh, now we have the wonderful oh, no account. Idea. We have the wonderful account Dave Filoni's dog who super chats us, begging us to I, baby I, basically I, self to I, I, to kill him. And I'm very aware who runs that account. Shout yeah. out to you. I won't, I won't expose them. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Did you? Oh no! So, somebody sent it to me. Uh, the latest John Campia exposed video is so fucking funny. We what? We can't play it. It's Why? you just have to go. Uh, do you want to pull it up and play the latest fuck John yeah, Campy is exposed? Fuck yeah, I'm All petty right. as fuck. All right. Is he choosing <laughs> on his face again? Woke, woke. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, you want to find it, is Garrett? He... Screw it. Uh, is it on his YouTube channel? No, it's on John Campia Exposed. It's a channel. Uh, is it the world's... I'm starting to wonder... Him. I'm sorry, what if Gary runs that fucking channel? <laughs> no, it's Isn't not me. Henry Cavill? Who has time to run a channel like that? The Henry Cavill one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> has he gone off the deep end again? No, he's all right. He's he loves, never been in the shallow He end. watches Ryan's, all of Ryan's videos. He's <laughs> biggest fan. Does he? Yeah, he does. He, I don't watch any of his videos. I don't either. <laughs> Maybe I should start. If they're unless except when they're on John can't be exposed. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. While we're while we're waiting, I guess I could uh fill in time by what else are we gonna talk about? Found right. it. Read okay. maybe read super chats. I, I can read know. super chats. Like <laughs> the hundreds of dollars that people spend. Yeah, I'm gonna read those now, uh right after this. Okay, let's go. Anybody other than Mama Cavill? As the world's biggest Henry Cavill is Superman Mama fan. Cavill? I don't mind giving myself that title. Fight me. As the world's oh. biggest Henry Cavill as Superman fan. I think Henry Cavill has a very nice penis. <laughs> That's, there's a reason I got Henry in front of me. There's a reason I got Henry behind me. Come on my face. Woke. Woke. Come on my face. <laughs> Oh, that is disturbing. That's why I have Henry in front of me. That's why I have Henry wow. behind me. Okay. Wow. <laughs> right bit of Berlin, take my breath away at the end there. But wow. Oh, man. I'm probably going to get hit for that. Don't care. That's, my gym, that's on my gym playlist. <laughs> That of course wild. it is. That's the, Take the most. Take my breath away. Dude, that, yeah. yeah, that is the most masculine. <laughs> ready, for the drop. ready for the drop. That is the most masculine <laughs> song on your fucking playlist. By the way, <laughs> gay, wow. Az has like the gay bathhouse playlist for workouts. <laughs> He's got a lot of flock of seagulls. <laughs> Fla dude, Erasure, uh, Bronski yeah. beat. <laughs> erasure, not Erasure. Erasure, erasure Bronski beat. Uh, George Michael. Probably the complete oh, yeah. catalog. Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys. Yeah, Pet Shop Boys. Dude, uh, Pet Shop Boys are good. Morrissey's good. Okay, not they gonna are. say yeah. that. Morrissey's great. He's a fucking. The Smiths is good. Don't Morrissey bother, sucks. Don't bother buying tickets to any of his shows ever, because you'll no. get. It'll get canceled, or you'll get about a half an hour. Yes, um, that's what I go. 
Johnny Winter just gave us a half an hour. Ow, we almost tore ow. down the stadium. Fuck. It o- Mountain opened up for Johnny Winter. Oh, they did? Yeah, Ma- it was back in the day. Leslie yeah, West yeah. With, the yeah, big, yeah. with the big fat fingers. It was just a fantastic show. Mountain's great great band. show. Great band. And then Johnny Winter came on, did about uh, half an hour left, and the lights went down, and we almost tore up the seats in the, uh, in the theater, in the stadium. Like, yeah. What the hell? Well, that's that's rock and roll for you. It is. Yeah. Axel Rose waited four hours to come up out after Meta- Metallica had to come back out to play because they opened up for Guns N' Roses and Axel was fed fucked mm. off. So Metallica played, felt so bad that they came out and played. Oh, again, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> wow. And it was still like hours until Axel. Came. I guess he was waiting for his drugs. Un- yep. Un- unbelievably i can i, can I, I like relate. the old days when we used to be able to sneak into these concerts i mean i saw about 50 bands in a really short stretch oh, yeah. back in starting in 79 i saw uh, iron butterfly with the turtles oh, that's that was awesome. a wild that was a wild gig <laughs> yeah you they used to play at like fairs and stuff so you could just crawl under the fence and, and yeah sneak there's in. that yeah, well yeah. when we we saw a friend of mine phoned me and said hey you want to go see frank zappa and i said well i can't i don't have tickets for it he says no way man we just don't worry about it just meet me at maple leaf gardens here so we went down there and he had white sheets let me let me finish don't don't jump on the white sheets and we put them on and he had black <laughs> elastic bands put them over oh, our God. head so we looked like we were arabs wearing burnouses <laughs> we he gave us all sunglasses and empty guitar cases and we just walked in through the artist entrance and the guys are going <laughs> and and the, the the security guys are going well these guys are with Frank Zappa cuz I mean they're they're nuts Mahavishnu Mahavishnu Jama Glock and opened it up we we hid in the uh, dark in the shadows lights went down threw all our shit off ran to the front of the stage and then just sat on the uh you know the plywood covering the ice oh, those are and the days. Uh, just those are great days. And you I saw mean, Frank Zappa. I've never seen Frank Zappa. That, oh, yeah, we saw awesome. the White Album with uh, with the Flores and Leachinetti. Oh, shit. Uh, yep. Uh, donkey wouldn't come anymore until he was going to shove a pickle up its ass. That's right. That was a... <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Jorma Cal Cohen on uh, drums. It was just... No, I mean... None of these yeah. kids know what you're talking about, but I appreciate yep. you, Paul. Paul's Gary, awesome. Gary, so that was... You're only in mid-50s. You've still got plenty of time to see Frank Zappa live. <laughs> as, as i'm in my mid 50s i'm lucky i have 20 years left on this earth i don't have much time for anything but i do have time for a geek grind read because it's national Uh-oh. coffee day oh, oh hey. that was a nice Ooh, segment. that was ben shapiro. that was a ben shapiro uh, level yeah of that a, was good yeah, Wait, i can do my i like coffee when i'm talking about ahsoka even uh, though I'm on vacation in Israel, I still can't sleep well without this <laughs> special blanket. <laughs> I bring it with me everywhere. I'm not kidding. I have wait, it. Wait, I, it's I right over there. there. Even when I'm being betrayed by Steven Crowder, I still have time for coffee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have your my private you have your conversation being recorded. You know, you know when your private conversations are recorded and your friends in the conservative space yeah. stab you in the back? You know what helps you sleep better at night? A Helix mattress. <laughs> <laughs> And you, when you're fucking your wife and only your wife. Listen, I, I, I'm a Jew, and and uh, he's my least favorite Jew. <laughs> uh, you know, if I put on a list of my least favorite Jews, I'd be canceled. I, no, uh, I'm, 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 I, I'm allowed to. Yes, you are. I'm in the tribe. Oh, uh, Paul, I love you. Just to be clear, I do have a list. I'm just not going to put it out. <laughs> He titled it Ryan's Final Solution. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, I'm, I'm wow. so glad this conversation is happening on Gary's channel and not. <laughs> <laughs> I know Chrissy's not here to get canceled. It's so weird. Yeah. Um, hey, my wife is Jewish. Okay, that was very interesting. That was. Uh, hey. oh, oh, no. oh, no. I don't, uh, I don't appreciate uh, I don't appreciate this kind of conversation. Your, your Zanzi's domestic is not Mel Brooks guy. You really? Oh my God! Hey, can can they, Hitler, can Hitler's is, here to claim cultural I was appropriation. Say, uh, <laughs> is Dan Vass Canadian, behind this? Uh, Canadian, I just want to say that some of my best, my my favorite lamb shape. Mine, mine, uh, mine favorite. Canadian Parliament has a message for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, fellow Canadians. I'm so glad that you let me into the country and you didn't notice that I'm a warm criminal. I just want to thank you. Canada's got very lax warm, cri warm criminal uh, act, you know, finding out in this. They, they they're more to... they're more worried about letting trans people get their balls waxed. Oh, that's, uh, right. <laughs> that's right. It's a, it's a great yeah. country if you're a war criminal. I just have to tell you. Oh, no wonder they didn't find him in Argentina. Yeah. He well, was in I, I'm, the glad, time. I'm glad we found a better time to segue into an ad read for <laughs> <laughs> coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, sorry, Paul, because it is coffee day. You you had the mustache there on the side, ready to go. Like, no, good. I just sort of like grabbed it. I just made <laughs> it while you guys were talking. Uh, it, it wouldn't be national. It might come in handy this stream. It, <laughs> yeah. it wouldn't be any stream where. It wouldn't be National Coffee Day without our awesome sponsors at Geek Grind Coffee. <laughs> Shout out to Geek Grind for keeping me caffeinated all year long. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram to win some shit. And uh, yeah, there's Geek Grind Coffee and there's piping hot. Oh. And most of the places in South Wait, America where, they're, where they're going to be, where the coffee is made, is <laughs> yes. one of my fellow countrymen are there right now. <laughs> Oh. If, you, if you want good coffee, ask a Nazi. <laughs> I guess about this lovely Jewish man. <laughs> so, uh, remember how bad Gavin Newsom or Gavin McGinnis was? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> uh, oh, don't. You can't you know, this is getting clipped. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have Jewish protection here. We're fine. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> no. He's one of them. Why would you mean one of them? He can say the words. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, 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 it's... <laughs> well, speaking of Jewish, Super Chats, got to read them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I almost uh, choked on a candy corn. Get them shekels. Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, well, you uh, kind of deserve it, Gary. That was awesome. Mm. That was awesome. Well, and, 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 in a couple it, of weeks of non-controversy, and, 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 <laughs> and here we needed a little breather. And and, uh, and Chrissy isn't here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's too bad. A real Where German. is Chrissy? She's taking care She's of her. 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 Everything is flooded in New York. I know. Buying a I know. boat. That's right. Mm. She's ha she has a heavy flow this month. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Ricky Gervais. Um, <laughs> this is this is Gary. Okay, I'm gonna start. No, no, Gary. Gary this, this is you. This is you talking about Chrissy. The people say she's just a big pair of tits. <laughs> <laughs> the end. That's Gary. To be fair, that's what I say about all women. So <laughs> there you go. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm fixed. I'm done. Oh, You're done. I've had my head off. Yes. Okay, Elliot. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, rolling the wretched. You know what we said in the meeting before Friday night time last week? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> that went out the window then. Well, well that's, no. that's all gone. No, we d we talked about something else. We haven't done that yet. Yet, uh, not yet. I'm willing to oblige right now. You know, we but strive for I perfection. We don't ever make it. Yeah, progress, not perfection. That's my motto. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Rolling the wretched four parts for one hundred dollars. <laughs> He's choked to death. He's laughing so hard. Hang on. Oh, Don't die yet. Coffee. Can you at least hit a million subscribers first? Oh, you yeah, gotta read damn. the super chats oh, first. You oh. have to sing. Me? No, I I'm not to singing. Sing. Shit. I'm gonna win. Spring time for hit. The Marvels is coming. The Marvels is a month <laughs> away, time. baby. The Marvels is a month away. I've got Loki. I've got a Soka ending. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. It's a joyous time. Uh, Roland the Wretched says, uh, Jeremy left the daily in the hands of Gay J and Gay Dan this week. You know <laughs> you don't blame the gay children when they burn the house down. You blame the gay retard who gave them the flamethrower. You owe <laughs> us an apology, Jeremy. Fucking hey, hell. Isn't that I last week? Uh, bro, the, 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 the gold we got from that super chat from Chris Benoit. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Dan yeah. Bass. 
When the, I, I'm, I'm trying to find it here in a minute, but like it was he, so good. He had no idea Chris Benoit's asking for, you know, uh, advice and Dan Vask insults his my, son. Uh, oh, my oh God. My God. Oh, Jeez. No! Yes. He's, like, I'm, he's like, I'm having a lot here of trouble getting is, through to my it. son. Do you have any <laughs> yeah. advice for parenting? Tell your son to stop being a pussy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, here it is right here. Here it is right here. Better than when Simcast yeah, did it. This is, the, the fact that Jay was laughing and he was trying to tell Dan, and Dan's like, shut up. Let me answer. <laughs> here we go right here. Uh, just been yeah. locked for 10. It's for you, man. I thought about getting into wrestling. I could train. <laughs> oh, man. He had no skills. That's there and let himself get choked out. Shame. Yeah. Oh, I'm my sorry. God. That's true. That's true. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Uh, he said, wrestling. He said, I... sorry, sorry that your son sucks. Sorry that your son sucks. Yeah, sorry, that your, oh. that sucks. But yeah, uh, <laughs> wrestling. I. <laughs> What, Jay just let him do it. I said his son sucks. He's the one saying it. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan, do us all. Of, I'm, us all. I'm actually concerned. No, let me answer the man. Oh, He's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get the correct spelling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh no! The, the thing is, I swear to God, I've told Dan this like two yes. times on Tuesday night's main event, yes. and like the second time it happened, I'm like, Dan, I fucking have told you about this before. It, it, he he super chatted on the nooner. Too. Oh yeah, and Chris. Yeah, and Chris Gore. I'm know. trying. Like I'm, I'm laughing through the whole thing, right? And then he gives another one, and then Chris still gives the advice. Uh, and I'm like, Chris. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up, Frank. <laughs> yeah, just search it. Search it. Uh, the best one was Chrissy though, because he's like, uh huh, looking to get back in the dating scene. My son's no longer in the picture. She goes, okay, so Chris is looking to get back in the dating scene. His his son's no longer in the picture. That's good. Um, okay, and <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, I'm gonna finish up this. Uh, this is the disembodied voice returned this week and told me to tell Odin he knows you didn't finish your penance, and as a <clears throat> consequence, baby Sif will be a lover of pineapple pizza and candy corn. Already is, probably. Uh, if Shad blasphemes, he and he let it rain emus for 40 days. The Paul Chato coming on FNQ exposes you to the toughest parts of the culture war. So where do you stand on pineapple pizza and candy corn and waxing your junk? Me, yeah, I you. don't wax. I don't wax my junk. I hate candy corn. Love uh, Hawaiian pizza. Okay, that, that's acceptable. Oh, you fin center. Like... That's acceptable. Sorry, that's it's acceptable. Internet. Uh, sorry to put it to you, put you on the spot. Hopefully, your answers will land you on the right side. Mostly, I mean, I'll accept one of them. I the mean, other. yeah, like hating candy corn. That's a good thing. That's I correct. would. I assume that all Canadians will baseline have a tolerance for pineapple pizza. But it's, so. <laughs> yeah, they're all pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what we use when we get blessed. We there are, you go. We <laughs> part of the catechism. Pineapple. Throw pizza. a slice. <laughs> that's right. Just rings of pineapple. I just I just got a note from someone in the my chat that said, "Please stop going on other people's streams. You suck." <laughs> <laughs> I just fair enough. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> proof, proof is in the pudding. Did you just go nine, nine, nine? Yeah. <laughs> it's lampshade time. Uh, did you say mom stop DMing me during the show? <laughs> 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 Today's uh, read is Psalm nine nine five. Exalt the Lord our God and worship pineapple pizza. Holy it is. Once again, it is time to say hail FNQ, Fellowship Chat, Baby Thor, and Hawaiian pizza. Dan Vask is gayer than ever. Hashtag sub to Nerdrotic. Until next week, so long, gay boys. We need to use that clip, Garrett. I got it. You got it. I got it. So long, gay boys. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, 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 I got it. So long, gay boys. Okay. Uh, we, we, <laughs> yeah, we, we, we know what we're doing here. We uh, really do. I've got, the best, organized. I've got the best producers and technicians on the planet. <laughs> best team on the planet. Uh, you know. Thank God we only make one video a week. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. Where was I? <laughs> That's going to change next week, by the way, Garrett. I'm ready.
Tell your wife she's going to just have to get her ass up and do some suck stuff it up. the house. Suck it up. Get on that leg. Suck it up, buttercup. And, uh, and I just want to mention, when, when I hear Christians quote Psalms, that's in the Torah. That's in the Tanakh. That's in our Bible. Mm -hmm. You've got your own okay. fucking Bible. <laughs> no, we get you both. Know, we and, stole and, yours no, too. No, no, no. J just like America, we took it. We fucking upgraded it. All right. That's right. And, and listen, if you want the Romans upgraded it. Yeah, if Whatever. you want anything interpreted in the Old Testament, stop a Jew on the street. Like, don't listen to your guy on the pulpit. Like, he's just gonna make shit up. Just any old Jew, they know. Any any Jew, we all know it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, part of a cabal. especially Ryan going. Uh, is there a Jew I can talk to real quick? <laughs> oh, he's got a list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, he's well, I don't want to talk list. to those ones. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, as long as I'm not on that list, I'll right. be, I'm happy. Zach Lindquist official for forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Everyone on this panel was both a help and an inspiration when I started my channel to promote my first book, Christian Nonfiction. I only have uh, one hundred and fifteen <clears> subscribers <throat> so far. I feel working on it. Uh, once the dust settles after the birth of my, oh, I'm going to keep working on it. Once after the dust settles, after the birth of my child. Hail. Well, congrats. Right. Congrats. Yeah, congrats. Have a healthy baby. <clears throat> Make more babies. We need more kids in this world. Lots more kids. Good kids. Good kids. Good kids from responsible parents. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Which the Not children the government seems to hate. Yeah. The, the Canadian government seems to have a hate on parents. We had yeah, a million do. parent march and they just laced into us. Wow. Right after yep. the truckers too, and and yep. then and then and then Friday they effed it all up. <laughs> whoopsie, <laughs> whoopsie, whoopsie. That's awesome! Right. The standing ovation was fantastic. It was <laughs> wonderful. Uh, awesome, awesome gamers on the Streamlab side for seventy five dollars. Hey. Wow! Hi everybody, it's the Hi. Sauce Boss here to sit for my good friend Mark who is creating his own war game called Troops in Contact which will utilize 1/6 scale military figures you yeah, have me a 1/6 scale in a mock battlefield setting using real life terrain that's fucking awesome wow. he describes the game as uh, <clears throat> as such at its core Troops in Contact is a game focused on the psychological combat that everyday soldiers experience in a war zone setting and how the setting would make them act or not act Put forth in a rules set that, I got to scroll down, sorry, uh, feels like a marriage of D&D &D and any other standard tabletop war game. <clears throat> I am not making any money from this game. I just really want uh, my good friend to succeed. The Kickstarter is live now. Search Modern Wargaming in the 1-6 scale by Mark on Kickstarter. Good luck. This sounds awesome. This sounds cool. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Badass. I can't Sounds any, awesome. I can't buy any one six scales. I'm I'm searching it right now. One six scale. I, dude, I, I, Gary, I mean, you'd have the biggest army, and it'd be like all superheroes. Oh, so. dude, I have all nine Nazgul. <laughs> <laughs> Put them on the field and their horses. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> um, and I did pre-order the One Piece ones. I shouldn't have done it, but yeah, I, did. I did it. I knew you would. I did it. I did it. Uh, David from Nicaragua has just died of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the update. Thank you. Because we got to take a shot when he talks about One Piece. <laughs> I told you to get a big fucking bottle of liquor because I'm going to talk about One Piece as much as I fucking want to, kind of like I did with House of the Dragon for about a year. I, I, hey, that wrapped filming, by the way. It did. Um, Summer 2024, ooh, oh, I think. Oh, oh, what do you think about the White Walkers being in it? So I don't know how they're going to be used. Um, if it is... It, I, I don't understand how they would be in it other Me than either. when Jace goes up to Winterfell and has his bromance. If it's almost like he's getting explained why what they do is so important, why the wall is so important, and it's almost like a almost like a retelling of the Long Night or something, like that. That I would be okay with that if they do that and like trying to convey how important it is, and someone telling a story and they give you a visual representation. I would be totally fine with that. Other than that, I don't understand how it fits in the story if they do it. I, I don't. And uh, people were like, trying to connect it to Night King. There's no confirmation of that at all. There's just undead. Okay, so in the in the Game of Thrones world, the others don't exist. Everybody's called the White Walkers, and that's that's um, the well, ice. Well, you have the Whites and you have the White Walkers, yes, right? Yes, but it's supposed to be the others. They're supposed yeah, to be called yeah. the others. Uh, and 
The others, I, what I would do with this series is not mention the Night King at all. I would make it a book lore series to where someday maybe you can go remake Game of Thrones. <laughs> you know, like that's what I, I wouldn't connect it directly to that fucking you show already, at all. The problem is you already have the daggers, so it's like it's not daggers, like they're going to But the daggers in the books too. <clears throat> so you yeah. can still kind of play with that. Yeah, I, and I know that, listen, they're going to, connect it directly to game of thrones to the series they are and they'll probably bring in the night king just a reminder the night king is not in the books probably won't be in the books there is no night king there is no night king uh there's no like leader of them yeah we don't know yet <clears throat> there's a knight's king there's a knight's king and maybe john snow could be the next knight's king well yeah because the, well there's the whole theory of there was a treaty that's that's and the treaty got broken so, and there has to be sacrifices and it might uh, have something to do with the Night's King because they're always up in the lands of always winter. They're always there, but they don't really fuck with people, right? It might have something to do with why a Stark always has to be at Winterfell. Yep, it has something to do with that. Um, uh, so like a, a, one of the like one of the first Night com or uh, Night Watch commanders who was a Stark, didn't he basically go and marry a an other effectively? Yes, and, but like, then to, he to had to, to be form a truce between them. by a Stark yeah. and the Wildlings. Uh, right. eventually now um with uh there always has to be a stark in winterfell and the uh the night's watch needs to remain true that's part of uh old nan stories and stuff neither like there's no stark in winterfell right now and the and the night's watch at watch. the end of a dance with dragon just betrayed their lord commander so they are not true they are the first after betraying their other lord commander yes yes so shit's about to go down uh in a book we'll never read because it's not going to come out <laughs> <laughs> but either way, House of the Dragon season two is going to kick out with a yep. fucking bang. Uh, I, did you see the the, the first title episode? For that yes. first episode, yeah. Blood and cheese. Just me, dude. only me and Gary. I Chad don't give a fuck Chad about Gary. Game of Thrones because <laughs> all roads lead not, to the same place. That uh, House, of the, House of the Dragon is great. House of the Dragon is great. This is this is great different. too, but I still fucking hate Star Wars. Now th this is because this is like two hundred years before this. This feels different. It, it, um, yeah, and well, I was does, worried. But, I, like I had, I had so many doubts going into the series. I I, mean, I thought there's no way you're gonna get that bad taste out of my mouth from Game of Thrones. I thought that I, I the idea of them race swapping the Valarians, I hated it, and then I fucking love the series. Yeah, I I, th I was really you know negative on all the press going up, what the actors were saying, the yeah. trailers and everything, and then a from woman for Trump. One, <laughs> I know. Then from episode one, I was like, holy crap, that was actually half decent. I'm like, what's going on? I watched the first episode yeah. and didn't like it, so I just didn't watch anymore. Caught the first I, two episodes. I, I liked it. I need to finish the series. One of the yeah. best shows to come out in the last two years. The only I, one that's better is One yep. Piece. <clears throat> I've rewatched it probably three or four times. I can't stop thinking about it, Jeremy. Well, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy <laughs> obviously stopped thinking about it, so I'm a little disappointed in him. What's that, One Piece? <laughs> yeah. Fuck no, man. I'm obsessed Roman Empire. with One Piece. Yep. Roman Love Empire. it. Fantastic. Well, well don't, don't forget that the, that show was done by the guy who was trying to get Conan the Barbarian going, yes, oh, at, yes, uh, Ryan Conan, and, and was it uh, Headland? Not Headland. Whoever took over at um, Jennifer Salk. Jennifer Salk, Salk took over so and just, axed it because axed it, was, it had involved men because it, it was had too men was in it. patriarchal, too toxic, yes, too toxic, too, uh, and so, too much toxic masculinity in that show. So and and probably uh, would not have a Red Sonia in a in a nice tight outfit. And uh, we're getting a Red Sonia uh, movie. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Is that that's, still that's happening? Good. I thought that yep. was acting. Yeah, no, I thought that got no, canned. No. That's they no, had the bad casting. They so she, she, they she the thing them. is, they they got rid. She got rid of good showrunners. Yes, Ryan Kandel and, and Miguel Sapochnik, and he's yeah. a woke idiot. But Ryan Kandel's good. Well, like Ryan Kandel, like proved himself with uh, with House of the Dragon season one. That probably would have been a pretty fun Conan series that we'll never yeah. see now. Yep. Because yeah. she wanted to have a feminized uh, wheel of time and rings of power, right? That's oh, not working out for them. Not good. And now we'll get uh, Sue Storm oh. will be the main character in the Fantastic. Oh Four. yeah, so <laughs> the rumor goes. A, a report, well, a report really? came out about a report came out about yeah, that four months ago. Yeah. By the way, oh. so I don't know what whatever new that is, but that, that did come surprised. out four months ago that okay. they were looking to have Sue Storm be the center of the Fantastic Four. Yeah, I mean, they it's totally, it's totally, it's totally yeah. believable. I mean, it's yeah. absolutely believable. Yeah. But I think it's just one of those BS reports that came uh, like. Again, we're we're seeing reports recycled because there was some pretty slow news after the strike. So these uh, 
these sites mm. on Twitter that just repeat and regurgitate headlines and been just going back in the past and, and regurgitating 37, again. only 37% of people finish Rings of Power. And I'm like, yeah, I have a video about that. Yeah, so do Six I. Six months yeah, ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all do. Yeah, we all do. And they all did pretty well five months ago. <laughs> Hey, some uh, of that regurgitating news stuff is funny, though. And it like the uh, OJ, there was an OJ story that started making the rounds the other day that I didn't hear. And it was like the reason he said he, he doesn't. Wife? No, he says the reason he doesn't <laughs> live in LA and he's, anymore is because he's scared he'll be at a restaurant sitting next to the person that did it. They, and they I'm like, wife, are you oh, fucking God. kidding me? And yeah, I thought it's, it was it's new. That's and I'm like, funny. I got to make a video hey, on this. That's, that's old, like, yeah. OJ, like eight years old. I thought I was just losing... look in the mirror. <laughs> no. Is he going to say as, thank you to the guy? As what was the video you did that was on like three year old news? I can't remember what it was. <laughs> and you said, oh, fuck it, I'm releasing it anyway. Yeah. It was like, I did put it out in like 2020. The article was 2017, I think. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm doing it. That's so good. You know, all right. Um, it probably Josiah got did that it probably, one time. It probably got 100,000 yes, views. It yeah. probably got 100,000, didn't it, Jos as? Josiah did that, and I was like, oh, fuck. I got to cover this story. And I look up the article, and it's like 2019. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro. God damn it. I've never done that. No, no but I, I've started looking at articles, and I look down, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, well, they sound like they can come from the current year. So. Well, hey, they found Tupac's killer. Yeah. Yeah. All these years later. I saw yeah. that and I'm like, what? Yeah. That's crazy. That is nuts. I mean, I figured they already had him since Shook Knight's in jail, but uh, uh, so did I. I. <laughs> so did I. Um, so they have yeah. one of them. They, they, have, they have one of dude, them. Dude, he was involved. That dude. Was a dead, lot. Though. So I'm a huge Tupac fan. So I followed, I was kept, kept up with all of that back in the day. Like, there's so many stories, and there's so, like, there's security footage of the fight that happened prior to him getting shot. Uh, they had that guy located years and years ago and there's it's a wild story they, man. well they needed somebody to rat and people just generally don't okay yeah uh for Paul, good paul's a biggie guy I didn't want to fucking sit around for this yeah <laughs> <laughs> where'd he go uh, you know, talking about um hitler and and, and like that's but uh, tupac no <laughs> we have a lot of holy crap we have a lot of gifted memberships okay right. here we go yes Eric. orlando anderson that's the guy yes he's, chat. He's go ahead. Back. yeah i touched my mouse i touched my mouse by mistake oh i hate that <laughs> if you do too much you might go blind i love touching my <laughs> yeah. mouse yeah it only takes 38 seconds for us so uh <laughs> Eric uh, Gidwall has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for 50. Very nice. Hayden. Our boy Hayden has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50 out there. That's the Hayden, Wayne. Hayden Wayne. That's Hayden Wayne. Hayden Wayne. Hayden 75. He's our Bruce Wayne. I call him Hayden Wayne. Yeah, Hayden Wayne, Hayden who Wayne. Uh, works the oil fields of America. We saw him in Vegas. <laughs> Hung that's, out just, with that's just that's just what he pretends to no make no i know he's like, batman he's batman yeah, yeah. so yeah we know, we know he's batman hayden's a good dude uh nope. halves 047 is gifted 10 nerdrotic memberships for 50 dollars <laughs> citizen seven is gifted 10 nerdrotic <laughs> memberships for 50 dollars good god you guys are stop button fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I'm Old man feel, yells at technology. I do. <laughs> it, you know what? It makes me feel better. Okay. You, you know that uh, Habs is a French Canadian for Habitant, and they're fans mm. of the uh, Montreal Canadiens hockey team. We call them Habs. There you go. <laughs> okay. Why are they called the Habs again? What's Habitants. Ha Habitants what? are the uh, are the Courier de Bois. They're the Habitants are. Uh, I don't know what the exact you're translation speaking is, French to me. I don't know. They're people. Habitants are people. So they're half people. No, no, they're the oh. happy tones. Okay, it's just people. Uh, it's just and people. Just people. It's and people. So, okay. Les, les Canadiens. Uh, uh, hey, did did you get most of your hockey teams back after the some of them failed in America? Did that work out? Did, no, no, we have no. Uh, we we haven't, and <laughs> no. uh, we 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 keep having a terrible goalie in Toronto. It's it's, uh, and we have an American who's a fantastic uh, forward who just pots lots of goals, but. You need a really good goaltender to get through the playoffs, and we never seem to have how, that. How do you like the Stanley Cup being uh, in close proximity to Death Valley uh, <laughs> right now? Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, you know what the the you know the best teams uh, win as you know we we say you know the uh, 
uh, our Canadians beat your Canadians. And it's like when the yeah. Blue Jays, <laughs> when, when the Blue Jays won the, uh, uh, World you know, Series. Base, yeah. World Series. It's like uh, our Puerto Ricans beat your Puerto Ricans. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is true. Our Dominicans, actually. Our Dominicans beat Dominicans. Your Dominicans. Yeah. Nah. yeah. Same thing. So, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it, it's, it's a Just good game. Kidding. Las Vegas. <laughs> Las, what? Las Vegas. It's hockey's a great game. Have you been to a hockey game live? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're great. Yeah. yeah. It's fast. Oh, I it's, thought you were talking about Blue Beetle. No. Sorry. Uh, hockey <laughs> games are way better live than they are on TV. Yes, yes I, I agree. Yeah. I've seen I the Dallas it. Stars a couple of times. Great, great game. And they're a good team. Yeah. I saw yeah. the Anaheim Ducks. Anaheim Ducks. And they the were good San for a while. Jose Sharks. San Jose Sharks. Yep. Uh gifted 10 nerdrotic. Uh Smooth the DJ has gifted 10 nerdrotic memberships for 50. Smooth. Oh boy. Thank you. You do not have to do that. You do enough work as a mod rotic there, Smooth. Now that's uh, not DJ Smooth, who I can't smooth. understand. Smooth. I can't understand a single smooth. word he says. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. That's so, a good song. It is. Um, Jeremy, that guy that they, they took in for two. Are you? I can't even see. He might be gone. No. I'm here. Uh, that guy they took in for for is that the, is that a name that's been known for a while? You said I. That well, no, no. I was talking about so Orlando Anderson is the guy that was uh, in the security footage of when the fight happened in the casino right before he got shot. And yeah. uh, but this name, I'm not fam too familiar with this name. Uh, I haven't kept up with this stuff in the last five or six years, so I don't know if there's any new. But Orlando Anderson was a guy that they had <laughs> him along with Shook Knight. I'm sorry, Shook Knight. Uh, I'm gonna pull a Chris Rock and say, please don't kill me, Shook Knight, because I mean, if he ever gets out, but. It's, Shook Knight had a lot to do with this, uh, I think, in my opinion. Um, probably just signed my death warrant. Why? But anyway. Why? In my <laughs> humble opinion, you killed this guy. <laughs> yeah. well, Don't come after Shug, me. Shook Knight literally, like, look at the stories of what Shook Knight did to Vanilla Ice. Yeah. Like, it, it, holy shit, man. And there were, like, so Tupac was always a re rebellious type of person. Um, when he got out of prison, you know, Suge Knight was the one that kind of gave him the contract with Death Row. There was a lot of rumors that, Sh that Tupac was wanting to leave Death Row around that time. He was really unhappy. His last album, Machiavelli, um, he made a lot of like comments towards Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. He had a lot of beef with a lot of those guys. <laughs> so there were rumors that he was wanting to leave Death Row. And, you know, Suge, Suge was a gangster to the to the letter of the word i mean he was a rough rider and so um there was a lot of rumors around his involvement with it so i i, I don't know man it's been complicated over these last Dude, years, several just decades. by what you hey. explained i think that two-pack guy better watch his back he, he might want to watch his back, <laughs> he watch his back. Hey, snoop, yeah. uh, snoop snoop like, is is fucking doing like pet food commercials now how crazy is that dude yeah, Snoop yeah, he, like, dude, like, dude, dude, Shook, Shook like, the, the, again, according to Vanilla Ice, Shook Knight went to his hotel room, hung, had his boys by him, his ankles, hang him over a balcony until he signed the rights of Ice Ice Baby over to him. <laughs> like, he, it, very kind of like calculated, cool, calm, and collective. That's what Shook Knight, like, Shook Knight's a bad dude. Uh, so I don't know. Guess we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we can then private he lost the stream. I'm gonna be tried dead to, now. Didn't he try to run over some dude, and that's why he's in jail now? Um, I don't know Was what the actual thing they locked him up for. Uh, it's funny because when a guy does all that, and he usually gets ten, they tend to get locked up for something so small and insignificant. Well, uh, it's like, was was Vanilla Ice part of anybody's posse? <laughs> I I thought really he's not a serious. Was never a serious. I think it was the Nickelodeon player. Kids Club. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he ran with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> ninja, Ninja, Mi Min Ministry, <laughs> go Ninja, go Ninja, Ministry, go, go Ministry of Wrong Think for forty nine ninety nine. <clears throat> wow. <clears throat> hey, but I will say, Suge Knight's son is based as hell because he's a Trump supporter. Fuck yeah, I love the Knight family. <laughs> is All he right, gonna? Is go. he gonna fight with Snoop Dogg over that? Or? Uh, fuck him. Snoop Dogg's a bitch. So, yeah. Ahsoka, the show is. where childless women wear breastfeeding shawls. The main had uh, a guy literally looks pregnant, and Hera, the wannabe bad motherfucker, is just a bad mother. Uh, this trash show's Ooh. plot is so stretched out, e even Logan Paul wouldn't marry it. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. Damn. Damn. That was a rally at Ooh. the end, Paul. Wow. Yeah, that was good. 
Eight that was on that good. one. Ooh, savage. Wow. Fucking savage. That was wow, great. They, you. they should put Dane Cook and Logan Paul together in a ring. They, they might. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I mean, it could happen. I think uh, they've both been in the dude. same ring. I'm doing the <laughs> biggest douchebags. <laughs> Oh, uh, I got that one, guys. Well, <laughs> Logan Paul's what girlfriend and Dane Cook's wife combined age will be as old as Dane Cook. So <laughs> good for him. Good for him, dude. She's an adult. Whatever. Well, I saw the more... funniest. No, I saw the funniest meme the other day. It was just like insurance companies when you turn twenty five and have to get off your parents' plan. It was just a picture of Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking awful. Me, me personally, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what kind of conversations you'd have with a 25 year old. And yes, you need to have conversations, okay? Uh, I don't know what you'd have with 25 year old. Pronouns? My, my, my son finals. just. Suck my I, dick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, my son just turned 25. Our conversations are are around him finishing his 1970 Datsun 240Z. See, that's he's rebuilding. Awesome. Mm. That he's a great awesome. kid. Ah. Yep. Good boy. He well good done, boy. Pops. Well yeah. done. I, I I did okay by basically leaving him alone and, you know, being there when he needed me. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Hel good. Helicopter parenting is freaking lame. Uh, let, yeah. let your kids figure some stuff out. And mm -hmm. I, I've got a kid who doesn't like to cuss. Oh, listen. I, I, uh. I taught my son at 10 how to uh, do wallboarding, uh, soldering with a torch, the, uh, you know, the copper stuff, and also do house wiring. And then one day he was at school and the teachers went, OK, uh, we got permissions from the parents for all of you to play with an exacto blade to cut this out. And my son was like, <laughs> and everyone else was scared to death of touching this exacto blade. That's I mean, it's just insane. It's not, yeah, That's sad I mean, and good for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I have two good kids. Yep. Yep. Me too. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Crowfu for $50. <clears throat> Random game recommendation. The Bloodline by Studio Hook is an open world RPG with Skyrim skill system and so much more. It will be wow. made by a small group of people who care about the project. Please watch the trailer to bring awareness to it. Again, it's called uh, The Bloodline by Studio Hook. Uh, decentralization, making your own stuff. That's what the Iron Age is. That's all it is. Oh. Well, I, yeah. I, I've never heard. I, this is so wild seeing people uh, do the uh, pay for chat and have you read out their ad. Like, it's wild. This is like yeah. crazy. I'll, yep. I'll read. It's probably, probably pretty good bang for your buck. Yeah. No, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Please check it out. And, and listen, it, we we want to support independent creators as much as we can. We can't support everybody. That's impossible. But, you know. Uh, if you're going out there for the passion of it, and that's like that's what you should do. That's how I started this channel. It was just I wanted mm -hmm. to talk about stuff. I had no idea it would end up here. Like none. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, when my the, the co-hosts I started it with had, they're like, we can monetize this. I'm like, you're fucking crazy. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, I've been wrong before. Uh, Hayden, the, the point the point Gary's making is that we are retarded. So if yes. we can make it, you can make it. <laughs> I thought that was, uh, that's exactly it. <laughs> that's what I'm that's stopping what my, just so sincere and the, honest, Chino. I'm, like, I'm yeah, stopping my own OnlyFans channel. I'm going to be on OnlyFans. I'm going to have a stirrup and jodhpurs and leather boots. <laughs> Nine! Uh, Hayden, 75 and two parts for $120. Hayden! What's up, Hayden? <clears throat> a great evil has been released onto the world after being banished for 148 days. The Robin sound, in the hood. The sounds of demonic <laughs> screeching coming from the creatures known as the writers and the four horsemen. Robin in the hood. Fallon, Myers, Oliver, um. Colbert, and their dark liege, Kimmel, were set to assault the people again. Chato! You rocked playing devil's advocate with Chris Gore Star Wars on the trial streams. Oh, thank that you. was the first place I learned of you and have enjoyed your work since. Glad oh, to hey. have you here. Hail. Very sweet. It's nice to be here. This is a good group of people. Cheers. Hayden's a good dude. And you're a good Met dude. Met him in Vegas. Met him in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yep, yep. But uh, hey, I got to bounce. Uh, right. I was only going to be here for two hours, but I had so much fucking fun. I stayed for three. So uh, shout out to Friday Night Tights. I love you guys. Great being on with you, Paul, again. And uh, if Jeremy, this is our last pleasure. episode of Friday Night Tights, uh at least it was a fun one uh but i'm <laughs> pretty sure we've made no not for you just it's, we're fucking retarded uh so we all are um and again that's our best thing that we can do is that if a bunch of losers like us can do something that's halfway successful a lot of you can do a lot greater uh i mean look at as you know he's the most viral man here and uh <laughs> You know, I mean, that's I, I was gonna see. <laughs> I, fuck. As, as you fucked this whole thing up. I was gonna say I'm seeing the doctor tomorrow, and then Ryan was just like, <laughs> Oh wow, uh, did somebody step on your joke? As I'm so sorry, oh, yeah, sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> wow. Never happened. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> you never right. let me. You never let me speak. Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Somebody sit a super chat. Get X-ray girl to stand up. Have a good night, guys. Bye. <laughs> good night. See ya. Bye, when like, do, what when the do fuck? we get? When do we get the review of uh, uh, the uh, Rob? Uh, Ro I mean, that's two hours. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Thank you. As Robin in the hood. It's out. It's out. Put it out. Yeah. As is out. Yeah. No, but here. you want to watch a clip from the from the show? Sure. Yeah. Oh, 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 You get this fiber fucking internet, right? This fiber internet is supposed to be <laughs> this fiber. Oh, 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 he's back. He's back. He's back. Hey. He's back. So we got this fiber fucking internet, and it always like, it what always hell? fucking farts for some you reason. You put your fifty p in the meter. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. So I got to read that <laughs> super chat again because I thought I thought. Are, I, are we live? Yeah. Yeah. We're, oh, we're, yeah, we're, we're back. back. We're back, yeah, we're back right. baby. We're back. We're back. Baby. We're back. We're back. We're back. Gary, uh, the stream has you entering into Streamlabs. Yeah. Yeah. It does. Yeah. 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 It does. <laughs> okay. And I'm trying to talk people because I thought you guys just disconnected. So I kept talking because they can still hear me. So I'm like reading super chats and shit. And then I'm like, oh shit, my, <laughs> oh. Gonna, and I look, my internet's gone again. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen. Oh, again. the internet's really? gone. No. Oh, the internet's oh. been gone the whole time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that would have helped we me. We be robbing, 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 robbing. Everybody um, must eat. Everybody. <laughs> hey, let me see. <laughs> it's gone. You would have dropped out already. We can, we can hear. Yeah, I mean. Used to. Yeah. All right, we good. We good. Yeah, we. we still, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. We're, we're still <laughs> going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you hear you. We good. Okay. Wait, I'm seeing refresh, refresh. Yeah. Tell people if to you refresh. can't hear us, just refresh. Just refresh. If you <laughs> our show just. <laughs> You know. Magnum Norris for two hundred dollars. Damn! Wow! Magnum, damn! Oh. When Lucius Varenas, uh decided to have Titus Polis's life, I cried because uh, to save Titus Polis's life, I cried because he was a real homie. Ray Stevenson is takeover. Mm. I don't know what that means, but Ray Stevenson, a, yes. I yeah. think that might be a meme from Daily where Jay accidentally titled it "Dan Vasquez Takeover." Oh, gotcha. Say. Ray Stevenson is takeover. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Daily lore. I'm sorry. I should have known that. Uh, ass Holka. LOL. Go Paul Chato for fifty dollars. That's Quendo. Quendo. <laughs> um, so we're, are we? Are we? Are we up? Are we going? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're all up. up. We're mm -hmm. all up. Well, I mean, I need a little bit of encouragement. <laughs> yeah. Put that picture of you really? up okay. again. Yeah, hold on. Hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I need the the giant space jumping cock ring on Ahsoka. Is what I. Need. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't even think about that. That's great. Uh, Joy Gal for fifty dollars. Fifty. 
Hi. Long time FNT, FNT fan since the first one. Whoa. Wow. Really? Wow. Hey, that wow. is the longest. Wow. That is the longest mm. of time. What year? What year did you oh. start? Oh. It's had two starts, but it's been uh, like this version of the show is, God, what is it? Three, three years? Three years? Four oh, years? More. Yeah, it's more. like more than that. It's like three and a half, four. Three and a half years. Uh, Friday, I've been more. doing a show on Friday since 2016. So, but it wasn't called Friday Night Tights when I started. It was it was like 7 p.m. Pacific time. But uh, this version of Friday oh, Night Tights. Cold. It was called nothing uh, until somebody oh. named it Friday Night Tights. Yeah, it was oh, just okay. It was just a show <laughs> that like a hundred, couple hundred people watched. You know, it was great. I, had, I was happy to have like that was pretty good for like a thousand subs. You know, it was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, not sure how long, but thank you. Uh, so excited for all of you experiencing One Piece for the first time. It seems like a lot, but once you've caught up, it won't be enough. Have any of you cried yet? If not, yes. you probably definitely will. Yes, when uh, yes. when Nami said, I need your help. That's a pretty fucking good scene. I didn't I, cry. I, I cried on that. That's a good scene. Shad and I watched that scene together. We held hands yeah. a little bit, but we didn't cry. We did. Oh, <laughs> oh when Zoro. I need to finish the, the last episode. Promise. Dude, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, That's when, when a guy eating his leg to save a child isn't Dude, the yeah. most emotional, impactful scene in a series. But by the way, the fact that that's emotionally impactful tells you how good the writing is. Okay. And yeah, that, that was, was a, that was a great really well. twist because yeah. you just got, um, you know, Zorro's like, uh, uh, not Zorro, um, uh, uh, but, 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 blonde the hair, chef, what? the blonde hair, the Zeph, chef. Zeph. So, Zeph. And, and, yeah, Zeph, and and this whole buildup of hate towards. The guy on the other side of the rock. No, it's and not he's, he's it's the other one. What's his uh, name? Uh, oh my god. I would say uh, Sanji. Sanji. Thank you, Sanji. 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 Yeah, Sanji. 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 Yeah, Sanji. And, and they and just Zeph. built built it up that yeah, I'm I'm being screwed by this old guy on the other side. I'm gonna I need my, I need the food. And then he goes around and finds that it's just he's he got all the food. And, I I kind of figured was, that one. I didn't. See did the, you? The, did you? I I I did, I, but I didn't, I didn't see the leg being eaten. <laughs> that that's yeah what I didn't yeah. See. I, so. Same. Like I thought he did give him all the food, and I was already thinking, wow, this is actually a really like significant masculine sacrifice that they yes. give this character. Something that Hollywood is so reluctant to do these days. And then they stepped it up to the next level for him to survive. Dude, he ate his own that's exactly uh, the reason I'm doing a video is because I fucking love this show. But the one of the reasons I love this show is there's positive male mentors mm -hmm. and there's positive <laughs> messages towards male children and female children. But there's positive messages like, uh, you know, what shakes within the first episode is like you can't solve everything with violence. The dude just you know that's about that's confidence that's what real confidence yeah. is mm -hmm. that's True real strength, strength is restraint yes. uh and you say like i just spilled a drink on me i'm not gonna like tear up this whole place and risk killing a guy over just a fucking drink it's lame and you shanks know? is another example of, of a character sacrificing himself to save a kid well, yeah you, later in arms, later babe. you see what the what well, that's what i was leading up to is later yeah. you see like what manhood is he he pays that off later by protecting his family his friends and then Luffy on the boat, you know. It's uh, just an arm. It's just I, an arm. Yeah. I did shed a tear. Um, Nami again. Uh, mm -hmm. When I realized her tight white top wasn't see through, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was I was mortified. Dude, Even helped. more than when her mother got shot, or the woman that was taking care of her got shot. Did she have a mother? Than... No, she had a <laughs> caregiver. <laughs> Uh, that helped me see. I was distracted. <laughs> that helped me see. Is fucking awesome, dude. It's such. Yeah, awesome that's scene. it is. Because you're kind of led down this maybe boss girl path, and, and then that, suddenly she's at the she gets, very bottom, yeah. and she no, needs. She, and, and they pay, and they set it up in the very beginning when like everybody's pretty except for Sanji because he's a simp. But uh, everybody's like, no, she told you she wants you to fuck off, and and Luffy yeah. says a couple of times, I need to hear it from her. Yeah. And then he, and early on in the episode, he's all, if you need our help, just ask. And at the end, she asks. Yeah. And that's yeah. all, you know. And then that, and that's, it, and he puts the hat on her. And yeah. it's also yeah. just so rare, again, in, in modern day, right? Like, uh, this shouldn't be shocking. And it's sad that it is that uh, 
a woman asked a man for help. Like, like that's the shocking thing. And it doesn't make her media. weak at all. Did no. it make her it weak? Make no. It doesn't make the character weak. Asking for help is a strength. That's what it mm-hmm. also shows. Unless you're a man and you're asking for directions, then that's gay as well, fuck. <laughs> I mean, there's always exceptions, and I agree with that, Ryan, completely. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. will fucking die of starvation before I ask for directions. Right. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, asking for help, I mean, that's a recovery lesson right there. Especially that's, from yeah. your friends and your family, because those are the mm-hmm. people who you should be leaning on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but mm-hmm. she had to get there because she had the weight of the world on her shoulders, but she was still right. a strong character who still needed help, and it showed more strength to ask for help. These are, like, yeah, basic. Yeah, yeah. By the way, like, th- th- this isn't, like, uh, breaking any ground here. I mean, th- these are basic oh. lessons that we teach our kids that Hollywood stopped teaching yes. and stopped talking about yeah. for, for a decade now, for well over mm-hmm. a decade. Well, you know what? One pe- one <clears throat> thing One Piece has that many shows don't, it's got um, Viewers? subtext. Yes. Subtext. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. It, uh, yes. Subtext, yeah. And, and yeah. subtext. Yes. Because the subtext of Nami especially was really strong and you couldn't guess where she was coming from and why is she suddenly in Arlong's camp and and uh, it, it's so wow and, and then, you don't find out till till the end but it's uh, not mystery box because you feel no. like you already know her as a character and right. you know, it was just a little <clears throat> piece of the puzzle that gave context to her character and it was just a, it was a great sacrifice but that that but that that scene that helped me scene completed uh luffy's arc in that story mm. and and hers and it brought the crew together and uh that's that's the first time they're like the straw hat pirates are actually just together like we are a crew now like and uh and it happens at the end it's fucking great and like it's, it's, and now we're off on a new adventure yep yeah, yeah. And grand line on your, dude the on be- your point gary just, just on your point, how you're saying that these lessons were just once commonplace. Yes. It's so sad that now they aren't. Like, really basic, like, common sense things about masculinity and purpose and getting fulfillment in life and stuff are foreign concept that a lot of people, a lot of young people, n- have never heard before. And mm-hmm. that's the unfortunate thing. Like, I've been making <clears throat> just a couple of videos sharing some of those things, and an unfortunate sentiment has been coming up where... People are saying, I wish I was told this when I was growing up. And it, hmm. I just I well it's, it's shocking. You to know me what? That there's there's also people. a harsh reality. I agree with you, Shad, that you know, your parents need to show you some resistance to I want to be uh, you know, I want to chop my dick off or, or grow tits. You know, that you need like people showing resistance to whatever your dream is. Sorry, I went extreme there. But if you want to be a comic book artist or something else, and your and your mom and dad are just gonna go, What? You know, they're looking out for you, but the lesson learned through Garp and Luffy, especially, I mean, it's a little harsh, but I love it. You, you know, he's like, could you gone a little softer? And he's all, where's the fun in that? But he also proved to Luffy, like, is this what you want? Is this really yeah. what you want? And at the end, he proved it to Garp, proved it to himself. Uh, Garp kicked his ass at the end. Absolutely yeah. kicked his ass, <clears throat> which was, you know, I thought was great. It actually worked towards the story, but like, you know, dreams, these things you want to do, these are things you need to be willing to fight for. Like, actually, yeah, they you really want to they're hard to get. Yep. The yeah. ass kicking is a very traditional uh, leveling up system in anime where yep. everyone has the confidence to win and then they get their ass kicked, level yeah. one. Then mm-hmm. they come back and they're a little bit better. And then they get their ass kicked again. This is like yeah, an yeah, ongoing yeah. thing. It's actually a wonderful part of anime. Is that it's fantastic? No, one, no one's a Mary Sue. Yeah, you have yep. to work mm-hmm. to earn the um, progress, and yeah. it's an important life lesson. Where you know, I, I honestly think of these Hollywood writers where they are so bad at their jobs, and it feels like they got the job just because they whinge that saying i deserve this job you give it to me otherwise you're a bigot or something like that yeah and (laughs) and they're not going through the process because even when they even when people try and give feedback and even it's harsh feedback we tell them like your writing is dog crap instead of taking it on board and actually being reflective and trying to improve their response is no, 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 no. My writing is perfect. And if you don't like it, you must You're be a bigot. bigot. Well, yeah, that's, the that's problem's the, with you. That's, yeah. the, that's the big difference. We got to get back to Super Chats, but that's the big difference. I'm working on a video. I just read the quote from both the producer and the president of the studio. Uh, the producer of this mm-hmm. show, 
also produced Cowboy Bebop. The head of that studio yeah. also produced Cowboy Bebop. And their direct quote was, we read the comments. We read mm-hmm. the comments on videos. They read the comments on videos. They paid attention to live streams. And they took that feedback, didn't get all fucking butt hurt, and corrected the error because they knew they could not fuck up with one person. And, and let me let yeah. me add one other thing with this network hat I have on. I'm not entirely certain that Cowboy Bebop, uh, the uh, Netflix, didn't force them to include a name person like John Cho. So that is not beyond network <clears throat> interference. Absolutely. Like, I'm not convinced that the producer said, no, we need a brand new face for um, Spike. But Netflix, because they're a network and they traditionally are very risk adverse, I, I heard it a million times. No, I need a name. Now, at one point, Keanu Reeves was attached as Spike. Which what? would have been? He's too awesome. old. Yeah, they're both. Are they, I mean, oh, he wasn't cool. old at the John, time. It was like ten no years ago. With, yeah, but, yeah, but, but I've, got no, I've got no problem with John Cho as a person. But his casting it was, was wrong. wrong. Yeah. Right, Spike. Spike's story is the story of a young yes, man, but not to Netflix. That's what I'm trying to get you to that's understand. That's where you ruin it from the start. Yes, yes. You're trying to tell the story of a young man right. first love attached to Julia. That's it. It's been everything right. he's ever known. Right, fifty-year-old, but yep. but you're yeah. you're a, and an injured one, unfortunately, and too short for Spike. And anyway, yeah, yeah, the, the, the yes, we know all that. But the again, I just want to make it clear: we don't know the story. Uh, I'm just trying to educate your audience out there. It is not beyond hmm. the pal of of reality that Netflix didn't force that. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so that, um, you're uh, you're right, and whatever happened between Cowboy Bebop, because everybody was like, "Okay, right. One Piece is good." Did they learn from Cowboy Bebop? Yes, they, they confirmed it. They said, "Yes, we they did." did. So, so it's yeah. not. Ju- and my point Glad is, it's it. not yep. just the producers that learned it; it's Netflix. Netflix that, that learned, it. learned it too. They both had to learn this. That's, That's encouraging, it. but I think it has a lot to do with uh, with the creator of One Piece, uh, Oda, being oh. in- heavily involved, telling yeah. them to reshoot se- shit can stuff, reshoot stuff. One of the things he really pushed for was the flashbacks. Like the, he said, like that had to be done right. Like I, he, I, he, he was, was yeah. he was down with other changes, but the the flashbacks had to happen um, because it helped a lot. Oh my God! Yes, oh yes. So much yes. story was told through those fl- flashbacks, mm-hmm. and it's such a great payoff at the end when you see the kids say the the, the dream at the end when they do the, the yeah the, the they put their off yeah you put their foot up and it's the kids voicing that I was like that's pretty yeah. good even it, though it solidifies motivation absolutely even though Luffy's kid to. didn't really match up no. No, <laughs> yeah, you well, gotta have, you gotta have creators on board with this stuff. Whether it's Jack Carr doing Terminal List, the first season of Terminal List is a big change from the book, but yeah. the spirit of it and, and the point of it is is very true. Yep. And with Jack Carr sitting there on set talking about how to adapt this to make it actually more appealable to a TV audience, because I liked it. Like the book itself, if you read the book. You know everything. You know the conspiracy. You know everyone yep. involved. It. You know the entire thing from the get go, um, which is fine in book format. It would view. It would play out very differently TV wise. Yep. Yeah. Um. So they they made a decision to change things out, and I think it worked for the better. And that's the book- that's the difference when you get when they have the creators there right next to them on set, <clears throat> approving all this. Thanks stuff. for recommending the book, Ryan, because it was fucking awesome. By the way, it's a great. Oh great yeah, book. he's on the sixth one or something out now too. Yeah, so yep, it's it's yep. solid. Yep. Um, but I I am on that note. Yeah, that's about to get mail. started again because the, the all oh, the shit's starting to end. Hell yeah, yeah. we're so, gonna get uh, we're gonna get Reacher at the end of the year too. So we got Reacher and then Terminal List will come out next year. Yeah. Dune Part Two coming out in March. Hey, so, uh, we got some good stuff to look forward. to. Extraction Two was good. I liked it. Yeah, yeah I, I liked too. it better than the first one. Hey, you got to bail um, out, Ryan. I, yeah, I got to bounce though. It's been good. It's been good talking, to everybody. Paul, always <laughs> a fun time, man. Always a fun time. So yeah, thanks for a coming pleasure. on. And just please do not put me on your list. Well, <laughs> listen, <laughs> it, I will say this: too it's college. It's college ruled paper. I don't have any more space on it, so I think you're safe. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Later, Ryan. Thank Ryan, you, man. Ryan. Bye. Ryan, baby. All right, we got to finish this up and get out of here. Before my internet dies again. Yes. Uh, I need to go too. Uh, do you need to go right now, or can you wait? If uh, you... No, no, I can. I okay, can, yeah, wait, yeah, wait. dude, I gotta jump on my video. I got my kid's birthday party tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be able to record a bunch tomorrow. 
Plus, I might be driving up to Dallas tomorrow night. So, well, I'm 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 driving the RV down to see uh, Mexican Iron Man in uh, Hilton Head. Oh hell yeah, in Hilton wow. Head. Oh, oh, cool. Hilton yep. Head's awesome. Uh, say say hello to Mexican Iron Man. Mar- I will do that. To, 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 tell I was going to go on my own, and then I just told my son. I said, you know, I I needed a break. I needed just to be alone. My wife said, great, go. I'm going to drive the RV down she needs 16 to be alone hours. Too. And uh, yeah, it's good for everybody. And I just told my son, hey, you know, I'm heading down to uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina. And he went, going to come? I went, yeah. Of course. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's great. Awesome. That to. sounds yeah. rad. That yeah. sounds rad. Uh, Jonathan Taylor for $50. <laughs> Hail Fellowship. Thank you all for being so vocal in your defense of storytelling. I recently launched my debut novel, Twilight Wolf which is basically Red Riding Hood meets Norse mythology. That sounds fucking wow. awesome. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. I'd love uh, to send any interested panelists a free copy. Check out my P.O. box. I'll take it. Sounds pretty cool. How long is it, though? I got to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 400 pages. It's going to take me a minute. But uh, uh, The Antiquary. Did I say that right, X-Ray Girl? I think so. Sure. Just say yeah. Uh, for $61, thank you very much, says, I love Chato. I have been drinking, though. <laughs> <laughs> I am an acquired taste. I am cool. sober, and I love Chato. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, You're sweet. W- so you are really sweet. I have to say, you are extremely um, generous and sweet. I, ha- I have to say that, oh. Gary. What, you're going to ruin my reputation. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I am known as a bigot and a racist across the internet. Yay. Sorry. No, that, that's independent. I appreciate of that. that, Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You uh, are you, you <laughs> 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 WG for $100. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Damn it, Friday Night Tights. Wrong on Ahsoka again. That fight scene where she takes it on, uh, on all the bandits in a sword fight was legit. And what? Oh. I was watching something called Kill Bill. Uma, who? <laughs> uh, well, shit, never mind. Uh, yeah. And he's also gifted five neurotic memberships for $25. Hail WG. John Cannon has gifted five neurotic memberships for $25. Thank you very much. John, John Goetz? Goetz? John Goetz. I think it's Getz, G O E T Z. Sorry, John. I appreciate I, I appreciate the fifty dollars, and I apologize for being retarded. Thank you for the fifty dollars. The remake of Barbara, Barbarella rejected Jane Fonda's feminist spin, and Sydney Sweeney seems excited to embrace the sexy and feminine side of the character, saying she's excited to wear the revealing outfit, even if it's crap. I want to support it for that. Hell yeah. Nice. Fuck Hanoi Jane. Fuck Hanoi Jane. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, my father. Fucking absolute her. disgusting. Bitch. Hated her guts. <clears throat> disgusting. Uh, disgusting yeah. woman. Well, because uh, I can't tell the story now. My father-in-law uh, may rest in peace. Told the story of like how um, how she got people killed. Yep. She got a lot of people killed. Freaking. Uh, yeah. Con- uh, even Gerhardt for fifty dollars. There was a successful music fest in my hometown called Roots and Blues. Three years ago, a woke white couple bought it at bought it, and last year they had female only acts. This year was supposed to be only LGBTQ. Big shock! They just canceled and went bankrupt. Wow! Oh well. Good riddance. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Who wants to? Oh. Uh, like, for one. That's uh, that's that's the woke mind virus. It it's it is it wants to be exclusionary. It's not in you can't be inclusive by being exclusionary. Mm-hmm. You can't fight bigotry with bigotry. Uh, it's the simplest thing, but they don't get it. Oh God, Dave Filoni's dog has just donated one hundred dollars. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you poor thing. Did you summon me? I thought I heard you from the gimp box. By the way, <laughs> did you know I was originally owned by Michael Vick? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Had a rough life. <laughs> oh, no shit. <laughs> I have no idea how good I had it. (laughs) (laughs) 
I miss you, Michael Vick. Please take me back. P.S. I never wow. should have been born. Something about the typos in the previous chat, Gary. Hard to type with pause. Uh, you know what's hard? All, all I have to say is he's lucky that um, he's not uh, Ray Rice's wife. Oh. That's true. That's true. Better to be Michael Vick's heard, dog than Ray Rice's slap wife. And, slap and tickle, but that takes it a bit far. <clears throat> oh, God, that Ray Rice story. I'll never forget it. Like, people heard about it, didn't give a shit. The video got around, his career was done. Like, as, he wasn't even it, suspended at the no. time. I think it was suspended for maybe a game. It was nothing. But then the video hit, and he was done. It's one like, of the oh, reasons man, I, people saw him. I stopped watching NFL because of that. I went, oh, okay, the NFL did nothing. The I mean, NFL, that's it really started going downhill the concussion thing uh then the woke thing uh the nfl sucks now it's fucking I, shit. I, see that's what you have me on for bringing back really old stories that's <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to a game this year uh if, but like it's for my kid right my yeah, kids my yeah. kid's a huge charger fan i made him a charger fan i'm sorry i apologize to him every day but we're gonna go to the packer charger game so Oh, I guess we should well, let me get through this poor dog sorry, didn't story. Mean to interrupt. Uh, sorry about the typos in the previous chat, Gary. Uh, hard to type with pause. Uh, know what's also hard? <laughs> Operating a shotgun. I can put it. I can put the barrel in my mouth easy, but I can't pull the trigger with no without toes. I wish Chris Benoit was my dad. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 My this poor dog. Oh, oh my God. Um, <laughs> Chris, how do you feel about dogs? <laughs> uh, maybe you should move up to Canada. They'll take care of your wow. problem. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Press Tiled has gifted 50 neurotic memberships. 50 for $250. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Dang. Uh, Rhapsody yeah. El Gato uh, on the Streamlab side for fifty dollars. Uh oh, it's a virgin. It's a virgin. <laughs> First time super chat. Thirty-eight years clean. Oh shit! And serene today. Hail! Oh my Queen. god! You've been sober most of my life. Uh, as hunted for your belly meeting, Gary, at the airport. Keep up the good work, my brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when the camera goes down, we just got our bellies together side by yeah, side. Yeah, that's right. Oh, did I tell you, As, that when oh. I got to the airport, I left my fucking phone in the cab? Oh, my God. Again? <laughs> What's up Again? with your phones, dude? I, 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 but I, Gary! But, How do you do You need that? a tether. You yeah, need a tether. Need that, that cannot... You need to have it around your neck. You know, yep. like some people with I their glasses. I caught it soon enough. You like soap on a rope, but right? with your phone. Uh, maybe I should tether. What should I tether it around? Uh, um, oh, my God. Hmm. My waist, maybe? Yeah. Uh, your wife. <laughs> yes, yeah. That yeah. actually probably would be probably work better, to be that honest. probably would work. So, but and, I, you, I, know, I, you know those winter gloves? Which, you know, yeah. they always tie yeah. to your wrist. That's what you need. Oh, and yep. you string it through their skin. So, yeah. so, thank God I work out. I sprinted and caught the cab. Oh, oh. 50... Otherwise, you would have lost another phone. I would have lost another phone. I'm like, oh, fuck it. And I said, if, if I lose this one, I'm not getting another one. Fuck phones. Uh, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> It's not the phone's fault, Gary. <laughs> Blaming it on the phone. No, it's not the phone's fault, but it's understanding my uh, shortcomings, which is if I get into a cab, I'll probably leave my fucking phone in there. But luckily... Get... Where, where do you put it, man? I mean, do you not put it back in your pocket when you're done with I, it? I did. I thought I put it back in my pocket. And, well, dude, I've got raging... I don't try to use it as an excuse, but I have, like, horrible ADD. So what I'm... I... I will forget things completely that I don't yeah, need to forget. That does oh, fair, yeah. fair enough. Just put yeah. a white and case plus on I'm your old phone. And I baked my brain with drugs. So, I mean, that's just the way it is. I, oh I lose shit. Okay. Yeah, I have um, a friend with extreme AD, ADHD and he walked into a car dealership and just bought a car. Yeah. Like, like I, no reason. Absolutely no, no reason. Wife had to take him back and, you know, <laughs> return the car. It's, it's, return it's, the return car. There's different. Like, mine is more like I get locked into. I, I, you might have noticed I get obsessed with stuff, so I try to like steer that towards like making videos. It's yeah, kind of worked. Yeah, uh, you compensate. You, you compensate, but it's there, and I don't use it as an excuse. I don't medicate for it, like a lot, because uh, medicating for it is just a mask over it. It's complete bullshit. 
Hey, you uh, want to get that for me? Speaking oh, okay. of phones. Speaking, speaking of president. phones. So <clears throat> long story short, <laughs> long story much, much longer, I chased the cab driver down, caught him, got my phone. Good for you. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, that's good. Hauled ass. I, just, I was like Tom Cruise. Uh, except um, not as not as in shape and not as old uh, and not as Scientologist. Uh, AJ <laughs> Talon for forty dollars. Wow! So Darth Angelus is adapting hair uh, heir to the Empire as a machinima. As a machinima, it oh, has interesting. great voice acting. Please support it. The fandom is not dead, even if Star Wars is. I'm tired of Filoni's fanfic. Keep up the great work, everyone. Love you. And that sounds fun. <laughs> Carry it on yourselves. Uh, as Comics Division and Paul and many of us older fans who knew Star Wars from the beginning, the fans carried and created much of what the Star Wars fandom is. They just decided to That's adapt true. it and use it. But fans came up with a bunch of shit that they actually use. Uh, same with Star Trek. Star Trek, like the fan <laughs> films, uh, egg, yeah. Uh, they they used up and carried a, a lot of that stuff over. Um, the, the, Star Trek the, Continues is pretty damn good. Star Trek Continues is awesome. Uh, Paramount is fucking retarded because they wanted to sue fan films, like telling your fans we're going to sue you, that that carried your franchise and made it a billion-dollar yep. franchise. Mm. And now they have a chance. Uh, they're, I think time is running out to make a good Star Trek show with Terry Metalis, but I think they're going to lose him. I think uh, Terry... Mm. Hit the big time with Picard season three, and he's getting yep. a lot of offers now, especially if the yep. strike's over. That's good. He's a hot uh, Is What's so strange is that the studios don't get it. <clears throat> Fan films are marketing. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. they yeah. They and free marketing, but they're just... Free marketing. Yeah. They don't get it because they're uh, generally stupid. I mean, like, uh, that, I, that post pointed out in an article I, I did a video on is like, uh, we're not getting the best and brightest with producers right now in Hollywood. It's it, We're just not. We don't have Paul Chato there. You know, if we did, Absolutely. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> You're smart. <laughs> Comics Division's ball sack for $200. Damn. Give my credit card again. Damn, I was going to say, was it pay yeah. for the ball sack? <laughs> hey. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, comics, dude, it's been three hours. Scratch us for Christ's sake. And remember <laughs> these three rules of life Bon Jovi and Springsteen suck. Pineapple pot, uh, pizza is God's pizza. And man buns are for soy boys. Comics Division's nuts have spoken. Yep, can't disagree with them. John I don't Hicks listen to nuts. For $50. This 50. is why Goku is inspiring me. When he loses, he thinks how great it is that he has room to grow and that there's such a higher ceiling out there instead of getting down on himself teaches us to uh, greet challenges as chances for improvement. Cause that's what they are. Um, one of the better lessons in one piece, there's a lot of pain behind everybody's story and they're not a bunch of fucking sad sacks about it. They're inspired by it. I mean, like Usopp hears his dad abandon him and hung out with Luffy and he goes, cool. <laughs> you know? he's like you, you met my dad he's like he actually exists you know like uh that i thought that was like i thought that was a cool moment i mean it's not great but and it's not great that they kind of race swapped the character to make him black and then had his dad abandon uh, him. he's actually uh i believe he's puerto rican is he puerto rican in the com yeah yeah he's we looking. had this conversation in the chat corrected us he is like he he doesn't look black though. Come on, when you yeah, see he's got the light skin. Character, he's pretty. Either way, it's fine. It, the the guy who played him was Chad. Was, was I good. don't look black. I know. I never would have picked it, Garrett. I I yeah. I would have thought I would be Puerto Rican. I, you know, Chad. Us Australians have a very different vi view into like how we. It's just Vegemite. Race. I yeah, like right. I'll, That's all you see. So, you know suits. The, the late, like, oh, Markle, the horrible, like, no, I didn't, Megan I didn't know. Like, I thought she was white, and I had to be told. She like, is. Okay, well, oh, yeah, I thought right. she was Hawaiian. That, yeah. yeah. That's a white girl. <laughs> Garrett, Garrett looks more black than she does. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her, love... man. She almost got Jeremy Clarkson canceled on my favorite fucking show, canceled. Fuck her in every she, hall. She is awful. She's an awful person. Don't care. Uh, it was so funny watching our tour guide dance around the whole thing 
at Windsor <laughs> Castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all, she's uh, had her issues with the royal family. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Jay... I- Oh, something? sorry. I was just saying, like, yeah, when we went into, uh, I think it was, might have been, was it, I mean, it was one of the castles I went into, and you're going through the thing that has the royal family, and uh, there was a, a lot of the representatives, but Harry was, he was, he just wasn't there on the wall. It's just like, nope. I, I noticed Ooh. that he was conspicuously missing. I'm like, good on him. <laughs> Screw him. Get rid of him. Wow. He'll be he back. He will be back without her someday. Probably soon. Oh, yeah. She'll either. dump him. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Once, oh, yeah. once his use when, when she runs for president. And fame and no. Everything. Yeah. Well, isn't she in suits? So, like, if they bring yeah, suits. she's in suits. She's probably, if they bring suits back, because it's so fucking popular now, she'll probably just bail them for suits. They're going to break <laughs> up. There's there's just no way they're yep. going to yeah. stay together. No, no. Oh. I, I mean, he'll discover that he might have a testicle left and yeah, get the hell out of one day. Yep. Uh, one Jay, day. Jay Cha Cha for $50. 50. Hey, look and see. Have X-Ray Girl find the photo of Oda sneaking into the premiere of the first episode. Perfect picture of the creator and the interest of his work to the fans. Oh, I need that for my video. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Well, it, all the behind the scenes stuff that was shot prior to the show coming out is all like a hundred percent positive. There's no diversity, inclusion, them, yeah. Yeah. nothing. Everything is gratitude. We love this. It's all just love and mm. and and happy. People are happy. Uh, uh, the the actor who plays Luffy is like uh, really really <clears throat> cool and doesn't get in like does what you're supposed to do like i am representing a piece of art that i am very enthusiastic about why would i alienate anybody like this is just joy come and enjoy it that's it on that note there was criticisms to um one piece leading up into it like i i I was not sold on the trailer i wasn't either i thought the trailer sucked like I thought, and I was looking at, you know, the, the casting photos and I was like, they don't look like a characters. I wasn't sold on the casting for Luffy. And so there were criticisms there and you could almost say similar types of criticisms for Cowboy Bebop and, you know, Faye Valentine and stuff, but there was no like, well, oh, you're racists and, and misogyny, all that stuff coming back from those, you know, actors and everything in response. <clears throat> they, they, I didn't hear any response. And like you said, they've been focusing on the positivity. And because that that actress who played Faye for Cowboy Bebop, she just destroyed so much goodwill and attacking the fans. I know. And, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And she's cute. She's like a cute girl until she opened mm. her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it always the same? It really is. She's a cute yep. girl. She definitely is. Da- I forgot what her name is. Danielle something or other. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, Pinata. Uh, but, but yeah. And, and, she, yeah. And, and she wasn't. Um, she she has done kind of. Let me of see that picture again. A se- sexy. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sexy roles where oh yeah she oh, has yeah she has yeah. you know, where, no, no, where, where clothing was optional so it's it's not like she might not have been able to pull it off but they didn't dress her well I remember an interview with the person who did the costumes and said oh we can't put uh, Daniela in the and Faye's outfit instead we're gonna put her into a leather outfit covering up everything I mean it was they, they, even the costume current day yeah. And in the, like, yeah, current it, day, it contradicted her character. Faye was a character that used her sexuality to manipulate yes. people a lot. Yeah. She was okay? the femme fatale, exactly. Yep. Uh, and now she was a lesbian. Well, <laughs> now she's a lesbian. Great. Yeah, they made her a lesbian yeah. in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they did. Yeah, she, the show. yeah, yeah, they did. It's stupid. She she, uh, she humps the uh, repair girl, the one yeah. who repairs the furnace, who's God. just a completely new introduced character uh, for her to fuck. Correct. That's correct. Well, and the thing that sucked about it is that the character, because she had amnesia and and she couldn't remember her life because of the way she was victimized when she came into the world, that really impacted her personality. And it's like at the end of the of the series, she becomes a very relatable character, and they just totally fucking destroyed that arc. Yep. So that's obviously what they learned from. Well, I mean, it was axed immediately. Yeah. And uh this couldn't happen with one piece they i'm for one i'm sure they paid way too much money for the rights mm. to do it and they probably had to sign off a lot of uh creative power to oda uh it, for him to even consider it cuz i mean before fucking opla showed up that guy was ma- that guy's making like 30 million a year 
Minimum. Like he's, he doesn't, uh, uh, George R. Martin can learn a thing or two, but the, the guy's so obsessed that he's still like, you know, I, I had, by the way, I'm a fucking normie. I had to look this shit up. I didn't know it. Um, So like, he's so obsessed that he doesn't see his family very much, but he feels obligated to the fandom to, to finish the story. <clears throat> oh, oh, Oda? Yeah. Oh, he's out of his mind. They yeah. he got hospitalized for yep. o- working too hard. Yep. And then the artist behind oh. Naruto ca- went in to console him and tell him to relax and stop. And then he re- he saw him still drawing in bed. And he went, you know, the only way I can help this guy is actually do some of the drawing myself. Yep. <laughs> So, you know, you know he was he was obsessed, you know, and so, you know why, oh, you know, and he has a Oda has a sorry, has a quote. He said, do you know why I don't uh, spend a week with my my daughter and my uh, wife? I because I I'm afraid that I might want to spend more time with them. Yes. Yes. Damn. <clears throat> So I don't so know how not, healthy that that's is. That's not a healthy no, attitude. That's, 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 that's not that's super healthy, but George yeah. R. Martin doesn't have kids. <laughs> yeah. that Here's the difference. That ass doesn't fucking do anything. <laughs> or, or a six pack. Uh, or yeah. Um, uh, but oh yeah, it's it's. I mean, he'll at least finish um, outselling everybody. And it's it's pretty, but that's not a healthy. That's not yeah. He had a, he had a unhealthy uh, competition with the guy who did Bleach. They're very nasty little. Anyway, yes. Uh, See, I'm a weeb. God, <laughs> weeb. <laughs> well, I'm a famous weeb. People come to this channel for for my my gaming. Uh, yes, manga for, hot takes. For, for, yeah. Well, manga gaming. and anime hot takes maybe second only to my gaming. Uh, yeah, I would say yeah. Right, guys. I mean, totally. Yeah, oh yeah, totally, totally. totally. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm an expert. Definitely. That's about. right. Common writer. That's me. What what is that? You know what's you know what's, you know what's sad? <laughs> what, what, is that? what does that mean? You know what you know what's sad is I sold Shonen Jump and One Piece in my store, like tons oh, of wow. them, tons wow. of them. Uh, wow. Yeah, and uh, never cracked them open. My staff tried forever, dude, forever. Uh, one of our customers will um, translated a lot of that stuff. Wow, never touched it. Oh, that's He's like, cool. you really got to read it. Well, no way, looks gay. Yeah. <laughs> well, manga, manga's never gonna uh, <laughs> look scary. How's those manga's... American comic books working for you, Gary? Well, I was gonna oh. say, manga, manga's never gonna catch on in this scene. No, uh, the no. no. It's, a, no. it's a flash in the Japan. Come on. Hey. <laughs> oh. You want a really good manga read solo leveling, although that's Korean. Hey. It's a manhwa. No, after, 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 after one you piece. You said words then. After one piece. <laughs> Berserk. I'm back into Berserk. I'm like, yeah. Dude, oh, that what, series is so good. Yeah. What, what's your thoughts on uh, Macross Plus there, Gary? Some, you know. Oh, uh, uh, it's fucking great. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 <Fucking great. laughs> I think the metaphysical imagery is really quite yeah. effective. I really like how they counterpoint the surrealism of the underlying metaphor. <laughs> With the subtext. With the subtext. <laughs> I really saw what the author was doing there. <laughs> God. Has dropped... Did you like the Veritex? Uh, God has dropped it. No. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Uh, God. <laughs> God. You, you, Jeff, you, you must have a Neon Genesis Evangelion taker, of course. Oh, of course I do, uh, but I have to get to a Streamlabs chat. Sorry, you know. Um, <laughs> we'll save That's that for large. later. Because God has dropped a hundred dollars. God. That's it. God, come on. Sounds like an imposter here. Uh, oh, what if God was uh, one uh, of us? <laughs> Dropped a streamlab chat just like one of us is hail my children. It is I, the Alpha and Omega, first and last, beginning and end. Please hold your applause, Odin. Anyway, I'm usually on Ryan's case, oh, yeah. but tonight let me weigh in on one thing. Pineapple pizza is a one-way ticket to hell. No, God! I, you. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I knew you were real. This sounds true all of a sudden. I, yes. Yeah. It's been canonized. <laughs> I don't know how long. It's God. over 220 days since I've had a pizza. 
that's uh, by the way, that's fantastic, guys. Uh, yeah. In celebration, I'll have a pizza for you tonight. I go yourself. John gets for fifty dollars. The last one got to go after this. Yeah, Still- go eat your pizza. You fuck. Yeah, and then I'll review One Piece. My job sucks. But do it. Well, well, what are you waiting for? We're waiting. Oh, are you trying to rush me like I rushed you today? Uh, yeah. Well, um, it's going to take time. Because yeah. my shit takes time. It just does. Then it's off to Perry. Oh, oh is, that a, is that a fucking sly dig? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Your video was magnificent. I gave it a like, and I'll watch it, it again. Okay, as <laughs> Stories for Final Fantasy 16. When are we going to get the final fucking Final Fantasy? I'm tired of hearing about this Final Fantasy for the last 30 years or whatever how long it's been. It felt like 30 years. Uh, it's, 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 not so final. it's getting close. It's, it's like, like 25. It's slightly over 30 years. Ago. Over. Wow. Yeah. From Kotaku. Late 80s. Late 80s. Really? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Finalist of Final Fantasies. The well, it was called Final Fantasy because if the game failed, that would have been it for the company. So uh, they called gotcha. it Final Fantasy. Uh, from Kotaku included uh, saying the main female lead should be more bossy and stop needing help, that the gay characters weren't gay enough, and that it uh-huh. didn't have enough black people. Game yeah. is a 10 out of 10, by the way, and epic as fuck, by the way. There you go. Which game? Uh, Final uh, Fantasy 16. Yeah. Oh, okay. you mean that European setting? Yeah. yeah. That just- pseudo-European setting. Yep. That Yoshida said, we're going for a pseudo-European setting, so it would be ridiculous if we had... Never mind. Forget it. Don't worry about it. Uh, Andy <laughs> Mion TV for 10 Canadian pesos says, ah. hey, hey, Paul. Glad to see hey, you here. And Dimion, yes. And Dimion. Great, great show. And Dimion. And Dimion. And Dimion. Dimion TV. Yeah. Yep. Hail. Says, have a great time. We love I Paul. say and Dominion knows him. I say Dominion. aluminium. <laughs> Eminemonin. Yeah, that's it. Eminemonin. Eminemonin. All right, we got to get out of here. I got work to yeah. do. Hey, Gary, so, I want to show you something before we, before we go. God. Uh-huh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I saw them. Getting wow. them comics out, I have, man. I have like three sets of those. I gave one to my kid. Because my kid hasn't read it yet. And I'm like, he's he like Batman with that's a gun. Tragic. And I'm like... This is uh, as good as year one. I think this is as good of a story as year one. I think I like Great. it a little better. What? Great story. Yeah, Batman year two is really I, good. I, I prefer year really one good. because it's just seminal. But, it's seminal, uh, but like for more of an entertaining and impactful read, uh, I think year two is a little more fun. Uh, and it explains the gun. And really, it just uh, explains yes. the gun. Yeah, which is cool. Which is good because the, the gun was yeah. used back in the 40s. So, you know. Yep. Late my, my kids, I'm glad you went and got your your Batman. And now I'm gonna have to because all my Batman are in storage right now. I might have some that are outside, but uh, well, I came back kids. today with some more tech that I'd left, some more Batman that I'd left, and Catwoman, Robin, Legends of the Dark Knight. Shit, I saw the long boxes. Yeah, you couldn't have some bought just Superman. like one at a time. You had to bring seventeen. No, I'm going back tomorrow and getting the remaining. Right. Well, do what I do. It, it just it used to do is have your co- long boxes be like a, a mattress. You can put your mattress on top of it. I used to sleep on my comic books. I have a duvet. <laughs> really? You have a duvet? A duvet? Yes. Yeah. A, a duvet. A duvet. A duvet. I thought a duvet was like a hairpiece. Don't you? Have a duvet. A, don't you have mm. a fucking bed? Yeah, a duvet is a is a is a it's a like a hard base with drawers. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then I got my. I couldn't afford that one. shit because I was too busy buying comics. So I'm just like, fuck <laughs> that. I'll just put my mattress, uh, my, my mattress on my comics. Okay, uh, comics. What you got coming up? Uh well, I'm gonna be uh, reviewing the Continental next because, uh, like I said, really good show. And I actually want to do some comparison between the fight scenes in this show with what we saw in Soka because we actually do have a female who's fighting a guy twice her size, but it works. Because it's not about brute force. So she uses her, her her guile, her cunning, and the environment. And it's a fantastic fucking fight scene. That's what I got coming up. You mean you're not going to compare it to Robin Hood and those fight scenes? 
Those oh, were I'll, the I'll best be scenes I've ever seen. Too. But yeah, you know, that, 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 the choreography was hard. magnificent. Yeah. Work apart. I need to finish right. watching it. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I got to get the hell out of here. So uh, <laughs> what you got coming up, quarterback? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Forbidden Frontier on Sunday and Sunday Funday's coming back. Oh, yeah. that's right. We're playing uh, a spooky game. Uh, Forbidden spooky Frontier. Season. We'll watch Encounters if you can. At watch least, it. At least an episode. Encounters on Netflix. Yeah. Perry shared it. We'll watch it. Yeah, it's, a, it's a new series. Yeah. Doing homework for Forbidden Frontier. And, I don't know. I, it's a documentary about UFOs. So, so. a little bit. Oh. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully it's a little that. scary. Uh, what's that? That's Reddit, what's that Reddit thing you just dropped? Oh, what? Picture, oh, it's the picture of a, of a oh Shad's the book? creator of oh Oda. Yo, oh, oh yeah, gotcha, Oda. gotcha. But um, okay, so Shad, yo, yeah, check this out. Oh, that's I saw that. Oh, so sick. Nice. Take a look at this. No. This is the Shadow the Conqueror leather bound final version. Wow. That's what I've ordered, Good baby. To go yeah. Printing. Mm -mm. Look how sexy this has turned out, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, do you see the leaf pattern on the My leather? mind's oh, telling right. me no. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing is uh, like, a, wow. it's, it's taken too long to get here. But the reason why is because I was absolutely determined that we were going to get the best quality books possible. And uh, this is the result. And I'm very, very pleased with. Um, this is very nice. Oh, it looks look? so beautiful. Doesn't it look yep. great? Yeah. And so this is very exciting. And this is, that's the leather bound novel. There's also a leather bound graphic novel, which is got a different image. And I'll, and so that's going to be, that's already getting through the works. And I have something to show off a bit later for that wow. as well. Uh, and so the, the projection is printing is going to hopefully wrap up in a couple of weeks. They have told me. Uh, so then we're going to handle fulfillment, but that's a huge update and what a massive achievement. And, and by wow. the way, like it wasn't cheap either to, to make the um, press to get this like pattern in. It, it wasn't, it wasn't cheap, but I was like, no, we're doing it. Cause I friggin' want it to be the best quality possible. And it has turned out so good. Oh, I can't wait. This looks great. Shad. It, it, if it's too bad, you're not Jewish. I would buy the book. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Race war! <laughs> well, good luck. A, He's got a lot of swords. I think it's more of a religious yeah. war than anything. But uh, yeah, well, I mean, right. <clears throat> like a crusade. You, you, you can sort of play with both race here and well, war and religion. If you're from Hollywood, you sure can't. Yeah. I identify. As I can't say it. <laughs> wow. You know, I can't I almost, finish the joke. I almost had a response to the, you know, uh, X-ray girl. Going there either, Gary. What you got? I'm not going out. there either, as <laughs> uh, um, no, it's Chad Chad's still going. <laughs> no, no, I'm done. Yeah, people know where to find me. Uh love you guys. It's been great. Love you too, man. Mm. Looks awesome. Can't wait for the book. Uh you can that find me X-ray girl. Um, YouTube Rumble Locals, also uh, Poor Choices. Um, we have another dad cast next week with Epic Mike, so that'll be fun. And Shad, I still have to get to you about the next yeah. time you'll be on. Yes, yeah, yes, we'll, we'll figure. Well, we'll have him back. We'll have him back or on first. Mm -hmm. But anyways, um, I'm I'm, I'm listening to uh, exorcisms, and that's really creeping me out. So uh, I can't wait to talk about it on Sunday for Forbidden Frontier. So yeah, erotic live. Yeah, hopefully I have my work done so I can actually do the homework. Uh, I'm way too busy with One Piece. It's, it's really rough, by the way. Okay. Uh, as. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Okay. Thank you. Uh, as released a video today. Watch it three times. I will do that. Yeah, you should. Uh, I always do. Paul, the great Call Me Chato. What do you got coming up? Uh, well, I... I uh, loaded up the Canadian Nazi, sorry, Canadian Nazi video. So Canadian Nazi video is up right now. So oh, go no. to Call Me Chato and uh, watch it. Or we are going to come to your house and eat your cat. And wow. And then apologize. 
And the it's an X-ray <laughs> girl's job. <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah. oh she's into small dogs. Wow. Low hanging fruit. I don't discriminate, okay? No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know what that's from, right? <laughs> Paul, Whoa, what, was and, uh, what, what movie? And I'm working on my next TV guide. Uh, this is Oh, I love those. So 1986, I'm working on. Oh, this take me a long time. Speaking so, of 1986, them. that's a hint for what that sound effect is from. What movie is it? I think it came out in 86. Maybe it was before 86. It's got six in the title. 16 oh, Candles. What, what sound effect? Oh, really? Oh, from 16 Candles. I didn't know that. My, oh, I my no guess idea. was something Asian. Long oh. Duck Dong. Long Duck <laughs> Dong. <laughs> yes. Just so you know, something. 1986 was head of the class. Oh, oh look, it's got a. That's it's Dan got a, Schneider. Dan Schneider. It's got a. It's got a freaking. Anyways, thank you God always like inviting no. me on this uh, zoo. I, I really do appreciate it. You guys are great. And, uh, and the comments afterwards are hilarious. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll be really good this week. I never read them, so I wouldn't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah. Love you all. Talk to you later. We love you too. Thanks to the chat. Thanks to the mod Rodix. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. The square up will be Monday or Tuesday night. I've got a lot of videos to do in the next week, uh, but uh, it will be within a week. So pay attention to the community section, and it will be on Nerd Rodic Live. Uh, you know, I just need to correct one thing. Sorry, could you share this? Mm, that's yep, mm. the book isn't bound yet, people. People will th say no, no. That's just uh, so separate. The internal page is uh, sitting separately, it's laid and, in, and, and uh, it's not actually connected yet. So that's why you know um, we have the full jacket right there that we're able to splay out and show people. So before if people are thinking that that was the end quality of the binding, I just wanted to jump in. It's like no, 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 no. That's just sitting in there, so it's got the. It size. looks great. It looks, it looks yeah. great. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. No apologies. Don't worry. Your book will look like a book. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's yeah. That's the whole absolutely. point. There you go. All yeah. right. Uh, we'll be back next week with Disbrew. Disbrew. Wispy. Or Ahsoka ending. Talk about Gary, you have controls. Ending. Oh, I have the controls? You have Why? the controls. Yeah. Because you yeeted me out. I did. Oh, I yeah. didn't do it. My very expensive Google Fiber that's never ah, supposed to die did it. Great. So what do I do? I hit the outro? Uh, I mean? Yeah, you just hit that outro there. I'm just saying. Bye. 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 God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet sh What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs>
Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come.